Ugh. Marvel and Star Wars and other popular media that's bad, eh? Why? 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 Oh my god. Why? I can't, my I can't goodness, why shakes spent... fist. I can't believe we just spent 10 minutes saying the N-word. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Well, generally, before an EFAP, we want to get it out of our system. And 90% yeah. of it was coming from me. Yeah, 93. Uh, I thank think you, I did Jay. the science on Ver it. Very cool. Um, there you go. It's already, it's already someone in chat. I mean, is this working? That's good. Progress. Hey, wait. Jay Longbone, <sighs> you don't have a Twitter? Yeah. Oh. You, you, you have two of them, right? Because you got freed on the other one. You're all oh, dumb. yeah, yeah. They they tried to punk me, but then I came back. <laughs> yeah, I, I've been bonked a few times on Twitter, and I tend to, like, whenever I do, I'll, I'll refollow, you know, the, the Sargon crew, and I'll refollow Kibbs, I'll refollow, like, Lilith. I'll refollow you guys, you know, Mahler and Fringe. I know, Rags, Rags, you're not on Twitter, right? I don't think so. No, I'm not. Yeah, yeah. that's a good use of your time, Rags. <laughs> yes. It is a good use. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Twitter. Who here is meeting for the first time? I'm always curious about that sort of thing happening. Disparu and probably all the rest of you. <laughs> like, yeah. Wait, who, wait, who's here? What for the first time? I didn't hear. Who's meeting here for the first time? Got a oh, couple, right? um, I oh, think yeah, I haven't just... met Weekend Warrior or no, Disparu we, we, before. Yeah, we have that's... been acquainted, Mr. Otaku. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. No, Listen, screen. aside from. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, I know, yeah. But it was my first time talking to you, I mean. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Well, um, yeah, because it's like we've had you all on for, you know, ripping into other things individually. But now it's time you all experience the movie, Bob. Um, or at least <laughs> you will, eventually. Which, <laughs> to be honest with you, you know, there's no reason not to just get into this, this, this amazing topic we're doing today. Which is pretty much just looking at people's opinions on what, what the fuck Phase 4 was and where we're at now. Um, for mm. Marvel, because it's an enormous company making all kinds of big old movies, but feels like things aren't quite right lately. That's all. <laughs> uh, especially with Guardians coming out, that's going to be a real, real interesting one. A lot of it. I don't know about anyone else, but point for some people. I've been seeing people pick over the um, the TV spots, trailers, and clips and stuff coming out for that quite well, a bit on Twitter. The relevant part for Guardians is going to be how much of an effect does all of what's been happening with Marvel have on something like Guardians that has a good reputation, or did, anyway? Like, what is the, uh... What's the effect? What's the knock-on effect? How long has like it been Marvel's since family? Guardians 2? Uh, it's been six years. Yeah, I feel like that, that goodwill has um, evaporated oh, a little bit. Well, right? Yeah. And I didn't I like mean, Guardians hey. 2 either. I like Guardians 1, but 2... I've I've seen it. a lot of people have said Guardians Two is the one they're not as hugely fond of. I like both of them. I'm pretty sure I prefer one. I can understand why people wouldn't like two as much. It's a little bit um, one is like a really straightforward beginning, middle, end. Like a lot of uh, a lot of the standard beats hit well. Two is a little bit more uh, experimental. A little bit. A, a little bit, bit less conventional. Yeah. Story structure. Yeah. Still fond of the character work in it, and it still felt like more of um, a movie. God, I hope three is good. I really do. It's, it's like, like the, the only thing note. I care about anymore. That's it. Because I don't care about Daredevil at this point. Like, I don't really have any expectations for that show. Why? Um, <laughs> man, Why would know. you say I, that? Yeah, I don't know, man. It's Yeah, I know. It's pretty crazy. You don't like the yellow suit? No, I actually <laughs> like the yellow suit, but I don't like... Uh, uh, that She-Hulk was making fun of it while profiting from it. That was annoying. They do that all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a stupid name. Ha <laughs> ha. While you're raking in money off of it. While we call so our show mean. that and we... Yeah. Yeah. Can, can, while can you we chose not talk about that. She Hope, please. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> well, I mean can, can we not, can we not talk about come up. Well, you picked the wrong because we're talking about. I'm pretty sure <laughs> everyone here was triggered by that show, okay? So you're not the only one. <laughs> I just hate it. I just fucking hate that show. <laughs> Many do. Did you watch the whole thing? Oh, yeah, I did. Um, I was about to say, well, you got no one else to blame but yourself, but no, I don't know. I guess. <laughs> you, did, you did the Lord's uh, work. You got in there and, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 had to, I had to witness how bad it was, and uh, <clears throat> it was really bad. Well, so did everyone else. I mean, any video about that topic while it was out just hit every time. 
Yeah, because yeah. every that fuck, even the episode one, right? That one scene where she just explains to Bruce how wrong he is about everything. It wasn't it didn't go over well. <laughs> yeah, crazy. How far it sank after that, though. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> could have predicted what was why. coming. Ripping well, off that uh, band aid. It's really awkward because nobody seems to talk about it very favorably anymore. Well, um, you almost wonder with how it went on, like the season that they felt when making it. Like, wait, people are people are hung on watching this still. Like, we're we're just fucking around at this point. Like, I would have thought you'd left by now, and it's like, no, still here. <laughs> Thanks for that. Yeah, for this, because that first episode was meant to be like episode four or five. They said. But they were forced yeah. to put it first because they thought, well, no one else is going to stay around otherwise. Yeah. We need to hit them with something big. It's pretty obvious that episode two was meant to be episode one. It's like the episode that's all about laying down the groundwork for the formula of that show. But, like, they figured that they needed to throw Hulk in at the start. Ugh. Less I see of him, the better at this point. Uh, yeah, it's kind of, um, yeah. <laughs> Remember, like... <laughs> When he was a rage monster, <laughs> that, that was a yeah. Long Professor Hulk. Ago. Was, that was that was just like a bad idea, um, or maybe it wasn't a bad idea, but like we we skipped over all of the most interesting stuff, which was them actually sort of like fusing together and like dealing with you know what are the implications of that in terms of their personalities. We skipped over like the most significant piece of development that character ever had to turn him into like a goofster, like a jokey, quippy character. It was just a. That was just misguided. There were a lot of misguided decisions in the game. Yeah, that was one of the more summer. overt and obvious like losses of uh, potential. But it really feels like there's just a lost potential with every single thing they've done at this point. Oh yeah, like look at yeah. Thor. God damn. You can say that about Phase Four. Wasted Whatever potential. Well, okay. especially when you think about the sheer quantity of hours of content that you got for Phase Four. More than, uh, I think, Phase 1, 2, and 3 combined, or, like, something thereabouts. It's like, what'd you get for it? What'd you get for it? Like, could you even, like, list five great moments from, like, all of Phase 4 in the same way that you probably could for, like, any individual uh, earlier phase? Yeah, and... I like it when the credits roll. Excluding Spider-Man No Way Home. You know what? Like, oh. it's done. Excluding that, like then... Four would be <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that... That's the hard carry for Phase Four, you know. What's well, the thing, yeah, right? It's really like, did was. did yeah, Phase Four um, destroy the MCU as much as all of Disney Star Wars destroyed the Star Wars IP? It's like uh, which one did more damage to the IP? Mm. It's interesting question at this point because now, right? It's more or less like Ant Man Three failed. Like that film didn't perform. I don't know if it lost any money, but there's no way that they're like, yeah, we were expecting about $450 million. Like, that was what we were expecting yeah, no. to kick off Phase 5. Yeah, no, that movie no looks like it's definitely a film that they would want to get $450 million from. That On CGI a what, $200 nightmare. million dollar budget? $200 million mm -hmm. budget. Who knows how much marketing. Yeah, and it's like... So yet another what, one what... of those movies that looks so expensive and so bad. Mm -hmm. It looks expensive and terrible at the same time. It's interesting. It's kind of like Shazam, a little bit. Oh, uh, Shazam was cheaper though. No, of course. It's just yeah. that uh, there's still stuff in there. We're just like, yep, that would have cost. That would have cost. That like you know, just yeah, yeah. Like, yeah like, power taken... dragon, that big dragon. Yeah, dragon. Cost some money. And that film came in at what 120 million, Ugh. like on a what 125 million dollar budget. Yeah, and we were some of the only people on Earth that saw it. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I mean... nobody really. Nobody, it, it was it was kind of like a joke movie movie before it like came out, like it was to the point that they were joking about it on like late night television shows where they go to promote these films. Do you remember that John Oliver clip of him like making fun of Shazam like before it even came out? Ooh, and I think like that? Seth Meyers, Damn. yeah, because he was on Seth Meyers, and I think he was like saying Shazam Two looks great, obviously sarcastic. Like even Seth Meyers was struggling to like play it off because you know that's not great. That's not great for your movie. It's become popular with the, uh, I guess, culture now to just shit all over Marvel, yeah. like new Marvel superhero movies, just superhero movies in general. Yeah. Wow. And then what's it going to look like when the Flash comes out? Because that's, hmm. you know, that's, uh... that's, that's, that's <laughs> well, I mean, it's, one. It's almost like we've all become, um, I don't know, stockbrokers and people who just pay attention to how everything is received and how it's all falling apart now. Because it's like we're oh. all resigned to knowing it's all shit, but we're just curious how, how long mm -hmm. it'll take before it can't make money anymore. 
Yeah. It, it's like a train wreck. It's, it's like we're at the point where th- we know there's a train wreck. We don't know how big the train wreck's going to be. It's like we're going to, we're anticipating. Yeah, it's like that Call of Duty World War Two. The, the, the train wreck. It's just like, damn, it just, it just keeps going. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It just keeps going. <laughs> Can so, I just I'm say? I'd like, wow. like to hop in here for a second just because, um, I, uh, I don't follow the Marvel stuff, the Marvel stuff, the way that you guys seem to. I, I definitely follow Star Trek and Star Wars, though. Those are those are my things, and I kind of feel the same way. Like it's a bit, things are getting just a bit old, a bit tired, a bit. You know, we, we've seen too much of it. What, what is it called? Is it audience fatigue or is it like franchise fatigue? It's something like that, right? We're Where looking to find that out today, actually. So when you say right, that. right, that's a good question, Dev. Yeah, that's an excellent way to set up our topics of conversation today. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I was gonna. I was gonna. Wow! <laughs> right, Dev. Once again, <laughs> once again right. your incredible <laughs> humility shines through. <laughs> it's that's something I'm known for, apparently, Rags. Yeah. But listen, listen. Um, no, it's it's just you mentioned um the Flash. Uh, you just you guys just mentioned the Flash, and that's something flashed in my mind. Um, <gasps> uh, oh my goodness. So there, there was some drama about Ezra Miller being some kind of a creeper, right? Like something I don't I don't know the whole story. Strangling people, uh, just kidnapping yeah. people. Oh. There's lots of things that have been said. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. Okay. So the I creeping go, strangler. <laughs> being, being a Hawaiian right. terrorist. Yeah. Yeah. He choked right. slams and someone to the floor on camera. Wasn't there something about basically it was all kind of it, people were trying to brush that away? It's like oh it didn't happen. Whatever. Let's just put out our movie. I think most people come around to just concede it It was that video of the strangling kind of made it impossible to defend any of the video of the strangling made it really difficult. (laughs) (laughs) That'll do that, you know. It was really, it was really a wrench in the whole thing. I was that video of the strangling. (laughs) I have to admit, I haven't seen the strangling part, so that's that's news to me. Um, Yeah. It, Good if any of you want to want to show that to me at some point, I'm I'm really curious now. There was actually That's, a fucking strangling. Oh, okay. well, now we know what oh. Dev's thing is. If anyone wants to <laughs> find that video of the strangling and send it to me, just so I have a, a I just need to know how way to avoid it. You know? I didn't like it before. But... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Um. Well, no. So so before I uh, before we started, my um my editor asked me, "Hey, you're going on EVAP today?" He's like, "Yeah." I said, "I, I said, yeah, I'm going on." And we're here. We're talking. Here's what we're talking about. And he said, "Well." Isn't there a current thing happening that's Ezra Miller like? And yeah, like, kind of. He's. I think. I think he sent me something. Where is it? Fuck. Let me is just it, check my. God damn it, it Jonathan it. Major. Yeah, Mr. well, yeah. that's what it is. Yeah. If you want the. Isn't that a similar situation? The quick vision of that is they've just introduced in Quantum Mania definitively that Kang, played by Jonathan Major, is going to be a big dude in in terms of everything that's happening in the Marvel storyline going forward. For phases five and six, mm-hmm. he's going to be a big part of it. He's a guy who right. can travel through time and multiverse, and so you see like bazillions of him. And he's played by Jonathan. All of them are played by Jonathan Majors. We've already seen like I was about to say like four visions or whatever. It's like well, no, we've actually seen thousands of him already, which has just become like canon. And then he's he's gotten a bunch of accusations, and he's been dropped from a bunch of projects and agencies and stuff. Mm-hmm. So Marvel right now are probably panicking like crazy and trying to figure out if they should recast him or not. Um, that's the big thing that's happening for him. Don't know, of course, whether or not guilty or innocent, and everybody's hoping that that will be the most important piece of information once it's finally figured out uh, as to what happens to his career next. But the, unfortunately, we're on Earth where that doesn't always happen. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. Okay. Um, so that sounds good to me. I, I just didn't know the context of that, so. Yeah, well, that's like the short vision, and of course, uh, if you're just invested in how this company's going forward and how things are happening, as much as you should be more concerned about the humans involved, I understand that. But as commentators of like how this will go, it's like that's a really bad thing for Disney to have to deal with. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, as awesome. as would any company, and it's kind of the same for you know, didn't Warner Brothers have to announce like their final decision regarding Ezra Miller and stuff? They were they. I remember there was a rumor saying that they had three options: was like fire, recast, or keep, and they went with keep. Um, but of I never course... even liked. I never even liked the Kang idea to begin with. Like every movie you're going to see is just going to be the same guy with slightly different powers who's supposed to be a different person. Yeah, that, um, that sounds repetitive and dull to me in the first place. You might be able to make it work, but like, why would you go with that over you know Galactus, Doom, Mephisto, all these like very famous and very very character driven villains that have like all the built in stuff to make really interesting stories instead of. Well... A person that basically, even all the people who are familiar with media here, I don't even know how many of us had heard of Kang before this had happened. 
No, oh, he's okay. going to turn into a joke because he has to lose. He's already a joke. That would be the end of the universe. No, he's yes, already he's a joke. <laughs> it, then, no, he's then already he's a keep joke. On losing. Just don't laugh at him to his face. Yeah. <laughs> like, like we got this guy that's supposed to be like a Thanos level threat, and he just gets beaten by Ant Man. So uh, how he got beaten by ants? Yeah, yeah actual and... ants beat him. Uh, to be fair, <laughs> yeah. they were hyper. Hey, they're a type two technocratic, technocratic socialist. socialist. They fell through a time travel somehow. <laughs> yeah, time dilation. Time like traveling that. ants, you know, <laughs> they could be a bitch. From the, future, <laughs> from the future in a pocket dimension. Okay, whatever. Like, okay, okay, movie. It made like, sense. Why are you saying it like that? God. <laughs> <laughs> their future ants come back it's to the future just, events yeah. their ancestors. It's just a little yeah. dismissive. Yeah, and then. Yeah, oh. You get no, that? I, I'm, I'm gonna say uh, mega dismissive. Fuck that movie. Oh my god. What? <laughs> I, I don't what like this ant hatred. But yeah, uh, the, he was introduced in that movie as like having been beaten by his other Kang people, and then he's beaten again by Michelle Pfeiffer, and he's beaten again by Ant Man. It's Oof. sort of mean. It's just like, oh, and what about the guy from Loki? It's like, well, he was stabbed by real Loki, so. so you know what I mean? Like, all the. Lo they've just sucked. All, all the Kangs. But he's coming back at some point to be beaten again by the Avengers. Yeah. Da, 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 da. And, and the one in Loki was the most powerful one. He was the one that won the first fight across all of them. So he, he should have been the scariest guy, and he, he immediately lost. Well. Oh. <laughs> Shall we well. find some way to segue into our first video today, which is going to be from the uh, a Cosmonaut Variety Hour we haven't seen in a while, who famously really enjoys a lot of uh, Phase 4 stuff, but he's got a video called The Current <laughs> State of the MCU. And no, I remember him no way. setting no this way. up as like, you know, the MCU's in trouble, and it's just like, ah, oh, really? You know? And it's, it's curious how discussion has moved on, because basically, like, a lot of commentators will stake out their position, and then the tide will just go a particular direction, and they'll just absorb into the tide anyway, right? It'll be like, you know, like, this is what things are like. And then they see how everything's going, they're like, oh, actually, that is. This is what things are like now, actually. And it's just like, oh. <laughs> it doesn't feel authentic, is kind of where I'm going with that. Because mm. um, uh, a lot of the people from our, so to say, spheres of the internet have been fucking doomsaying the, uh, well, Star Wars and the MCU for years, and it's... Finally, like actually hitting them hard in the box office, which uh, we pretty much figured would happen. It just took some time. In any case, you all ready to watch some fun, Vidya? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Indeed. I'm, I'm ready. Is it fun, though? Is it? Are, are we sure about that? Yeah. Yeah. Of course it's fun. You're with us. Oh, okay. <laughs> we'll take care of you. We'll make it fun or else. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. Phase four, more like phase snore. <laughs> that, that, <laughs> I know it's like he's he said literally like five seconds of things. It's like yeah, but was phase four's problem it being really boring or just being horribly bad? <laughs> wait, but, <laughs> like, but he's wait, wait, Muller. You already said that he likes phase four, right? What, why he's gonna are, explain why it. He's gonna he's gonna explain oh. it, okay? Because is, is he gonna inhale massive copium? Well, so the the problem is. As as individual projects come out, it's like yeah, project, woohoo, that was fun, yeah. And then you look back and you're like, I don't remember a thing about that. That was shit. <laughs> that, that, that's how the the cycle goes with a lot of people. Um, oh, <laughs> I came oh. out of Ant Man, oh. traveled home, and forgot the movie. That's how fun that movie was. <laughs> Dude, I was making a video like I can't remember most of it. I'm sorry. Um, Ant Man of the Wasp kind of replaced Thor two as the movie no one remembers in the MCU. I guess it's just like oh. there's one per phase at the very least. But um, yeah, no one remembers. Ant Man the Wasp. So Quantum Mania, it's like, will everyone forget that one? It's like, well, no one's gonna forget Modok, at least. So you, you wait, know. wait. I hate Quantum Mania more than the second film. Does that make it a better experience or a more memorable one? It's up to right? you, really. It depends on how you. Do you find movies are worse the less memorable they are, or do you find they're just worse for like you know how incoherent they are? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I will take both. That's right, guys. This one's been a long time coming. I was gonna make this video last year after Black Panther came out, but I kind of got a little busy. And you know, Black Panther 2 left me a little more optimistic about the future of the MCU. Ooh, geez. <laughs> oh, I, I, legit, Why like, it's, it's like, publicly? how the fuck? <laughs> Black Panther 2 was awful. <laughs> I yeah. can't believe that. Jeez, that movie was such shit.
Oh. I'm trying to remember the fucking plot. <laughs> Something about a guy with wings in an underwater on his, city. On his feet yeah. underwater. <laughs> it's like, what? It's like, yep, that's that's what that was. Um, I always forget the name of the city. It begins with a T, right? To knock to claw to knock to not to not to click on. That's probably yeah. close enough. <laughs> Tough act into acting. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> there was some tough acting in that movie. That's true. I remember, um, what's her name? The queen drowned because she was like, just, you know, face down. She drowned in her tower. <laughs> yeah. Uh, she, she, she saved the strong, independent inventor lady. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Riri Williams was in it. She was awful, too. Yeah, in terms yeah. of just, like, basic characterization, she's just like, she's just a genius. She's in an Iron Man suit. She's blowing everything up. It's great. It's just like, okay, that's happening. Um,. Fuck, I'm, I, I was, I was going to try and compliment it with something, but I'm trying to think. Uh, no, you don't have to compliment it, though. Some of the I, performances were good. Yeah, Angela Bassett uh, gave a shit. Yeah. But I, I mean, think. that's generally what can be said for a lot of these productions, is yeah, the performances are good, but the writing, oh. Hmm. There's one, one scene the... with music that was pretty good. There you when go. She, you know, she comes in and arm wrestles Mbaku. That's about it, though. <laughs> we got that. So, you know, appreciate it <laughs> like, as it comes. Better movies in Phase 4, but then the movies got bad again. It's bad again. got bad again. I, my, my Unlike Wakanda forever. Be, my question for him would be, could you just, like, run through the plot from beginning to end for Black Panther Wakanda forever? I'm just so curious. No way you could do it. <laughs> that's no, that's too difficult. Good, I don't know. I don't we know. have we have a better chance to do it because we went through it meticulously, and I have actually like forgotten. I, I know we hold that. Kind of tough. Once we were, once we were done with it, it was like, yeah, I don't want to ever it's think. It's like about a six-hour movie, going. and I just can't remember. It, it is insanely you know? long. <laughs> so here yeah. we go. It's I, maybe, maybe this is a maybe this is a hot take, but I haven't liked anything Marvel since the first Avengers. That is just. Uh, 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 you know, have you seen uh, one? I tried. I tried. Let him cook. Let him cook. <laughs> like I, I enjoyed some of it, and it was like okay. I kept watching because it's like an ongoing story. Right? So I, I want to see it up to the end. So, but what like it was, it, it, didn't, it didn't really capture me. And but then what as soon seen? as um, wait, sorry, what? I'm, what have you seen? Which films what have, have I you seen? seen? Yeah, oh, like since think about Marvel, it since uh, Avengers. Well, yeah, because like since uh, the first uh, Avengers uh, movie. Yeah, imagine yeah. people are gonna well, want to ask like, what did you think of Winter Soldier, for example? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I can't remember. It's been so long. I only saw. So I'm going to be honest with you. It is an interesting take, but if you can't remember any of the movies, it becomes yeah, a very boring enough. take. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, tr fair enough. Fair enough. Right. Like, I remember liking a lot of the stuff before the first Avengers, and I remember liking the first Avengers a lot. And mm -hmm. then after that, it just it just didn't hold my interest. But I tried to kind of keep going with it. And then after I saw um, Endgame, I was like, okay, I'm done. This seems like the end of the of the story. And Oh no, <laughs> they've got another cool. 50 hours at least, all good to go. Get excited. I'm going to talk about the current state of the MCU and how I think that things should change pretty soon, or else I don't see people sticking around for much longer. <laughs> this too feels late, like such man, a, like, after, after the fact yeah, commentary. Yeah, when everyone else did all yeah, the Yeah, like, what mm -hmm. do you mean? Yeah, yeah. People are already fucking falling off, you know that. Why are you pretending like this is a mm -hmm. prediction? <laughs> like, the, the, the fucking box office shit has already come out. See, when I look back on the fourth I... phase of the MCU, I do not have strong feelings about most of the things that I have watched. It's disappointing that right after Endgame, they chose to just flood the market with a plethora of mediocre shows and movies. The common word I hear around the MCU nowadays is mid. And I... Which is uh, that's generous. That's not it's not even mid. <laughs> it's How can you watch something like mid. Quantumania mid and say it's mid, it's a you know? safe thing to no, say for it, your it YouTube is, uh... video. It is remarkable how low quality the storytelling has been in yeah. like phase four. Like it's kind of incredible. Like every single like new project was like, oh my god, I think we've discovered like a new way that something can be like about as bad as it can get. It's kind of crazy. Imagine calling Love and Thunder, MOM, and Quantumania mid films. Like they're, mid. they're chill, yeah. they're fine. They they got some good stuff yeah, in there. Some great mid. stuff, maybe even you know among them. It's just like fucking hell. Yeah. You guys I have a confession. I have a confession, guys. I have not watched Mom. That's Why? okay. I wouldn't recommend I mean, it. Yeah, yeah. Because, <laughs> yeah, yeah. because well, from what? Oh, go ahead, man. Go ahead. I was gonna say that's the point. It, mid should still be entertaining. Like, how low so. is the bar of general yeah. entertainment if Mid's the average show is trash, six out of ten? Right? You know. 
Yeah. So yeah. You, you literally the middle of the scale. Yeah, in the background or something. And Multiverse of Madness, you, you just you never want to watch it again, like at all. It's <laughs> mm. in any way. There's always something better to watch than that show. So it can't be average. I imagine yeah, a lot so of people are like, uh, oh. These people think it's average. These people are like, oh, well, they said that. Uh, well, well, there's, there's like memes about how like mid to... means bad, but then he's just said like no. mid, it, it is fair to say they're mid because they're like mediocre. And it's like, no, they're not. They're really bad. Mm. <laughs> I wish they yeah, were mediocre. Mean, a, a, mid, a mid movie, a, a mid movie should be one where you're, you're sitting in the theater and you have popcorn and you're like kind of falling asleep, but when you're awake, it's like good enough. I, I'm not even sure about that. Like, shouldn't Hollywood be where the best people in entertainment end up making movies? And so, shouldn't even the average movie be quite entertaining? Mm -hmm. uh, maybe in a world that made sense. We're not in that one. Yeah, we're not in that world. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you're actually hired the best people for every job, there should be enough people in the world if you're gathering the best of everybody. Yeah, that make... was 20 years ago. <laughs> well, exactly. <laughs> this is what, we've already lived through this era where that was true, so it was possible. Honestly, what? I think it's probably the most accurate use of that word. Because <laughs> mid doesn't yeah. really mean bad. It just means mediocre. Yeah, sorry. Falcon the Winter Soldier was awful. Um, it was a, one of the worst will, movie. It's one of the worst. I will grant that it gave us Walker and it didn't destroy Zemo. Fine. But it was still painful as fuck to watch. We have an 11 plus hour EFAB episode with Jay Longbone on that That's one. right. Yeah. I guess it took a while to get through. It's like... Yeah, the most accurate way to describe Phase 4 is mid. It's like mid. You think the the best way to describe Phase 4 is like, eh, yeah, it's okay. That's like what mid means. It's like, yeah, it's okay. Name a bad show, then. What do you think is bad? Oh, well, we're about to find out what he thinks is good I, out of the... Oh, boy. Yeah, well, he said good. Wakanda Forever awful. gave him hope. Oh, it gets better. Just... <laughs> yeah. boy. Oh, my God, you were right. That's like... Oh, oh, going back oh my God. Even though it has, that like, a lot the of the same, killer. the same problems as, like, every other thing that's yeah. been in Phase 4. Tons of, like, really wonky world-building, confused plotting, like, in Riri Hopes Bane Williams. Hopes Bane. Or middle Oops. of the road. And yeah, the recent MCU entries usually aren't horrible. No, Every once man, in a while, you watch something pretty fun and cool. But most of the time, it's just fine. How is Love and Thunder fine? Love and Thunder fine, jeez. I, I, I called it in my head that he was going to cite Spider-Man, because that is like the, the best thing that came out of this shit heap. I mean, oh, it's yeah. one that anybody really has anything to say about, you know? Yeah. Everything else is, like, just sort of One of the big things phase. that movie benefits from is not destroying Andrew Garfield or um, Tobey Maguire. Like, the mm. having them there and having them in a way that people really enjoy them, that's what gives that movie quite a bit of uh, protection from the same sort of vitriol that a lot of the movies in Phase 4 will get. But seriously, Love and Thunder, like... Isn't that notoriously one of the worst MCU movies now? Like, I thought. I think so. To the point where people don't remember it because it's just. I mean, that had the. Did yeah. it have the shortest um, memory shelf life of all the movies? I think it was. I think Quantum Mania had the shortest. It was Thor, and then it was Quantum Mania because like M O M was like. I think Moon Knight was like two months, like before people turned on that. Multiverse was like a month or so. Thor: Love and Thunder was like maybe a week. And I feel like Quantumania never got it. Never. <laughs> never actually got never to the point it. where it was liked. Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. Well, maybe, like, you know, before it came out, maybe. Well, do you remember, like, everyone making fun of the clips, uh, not only for tone, but also, like, the animation of the run? And uh, Modoc yeah. obviously got leaked before, because it was, like, one shot of him in the trailer that people picked out, and then everyone was like, that's not real. And it's like, it is, and you mm -hmm. can find it yourself. Oh, but it is. Oh, yeah. but you can it is. see his butt. Yeah. <laughs> and they... his face. Did, did someone mention that they'd, like, blurred that on, like, future versions or something, his butt? I can't remember. I think um, it got censored for a country, but I can't remember which one. Was it China? <laughs> That's just so it funny. Modoc's little butt flap into the wind. It's like, oh, I can't begin that. It's gonna upset Never the for censorship before, but jeez. <laughs> it might be entertaining in the moment, but usually it's nothing that will blow you away or... Leave. That shit pissed me off in the moment, Love and Thunder. So... <laughs> Oh, also, like, away in the you morning. know, you know, I don't agree with you, but it would be worthwhile if you like substantiated these. No, like, he's claims. got ten minutes to talk about an entire phase for you. <laughs> mm -hmm. But if you say a bunch of so-so meh things that are not well, I, I think or it's, it's just then it's just you've got appeal like, for everybody. It's just something of one in, in mind is like you're not like actually substantiating these things; you're just saying it, 
and then just hoping that people well, go accept watch the, it. Go watch the individual videos if you want to know more, all right? Which is funny because okay. they're probably going to be a lot more positive than the summaries are. Uh, I'm sure they are. It might be worthwhile to even take now a Now we've seen where the winds have shifted, so it's safe mm. for me to mm. come out with my final verdict. Except for us, the pioneers who take the arrows in the back every time... When we come out and we say what a movie is, everyone has to catch up after we've already wow. set up His our name homestead. Is James, James Cameron, the bravest pioneer. That's Except us. It's us. Hey. <laughs> Leave a lasting impression. The Infinity Saga was, for the most part, well planned out and well executed. Uh, and of course, I'm not even sure yeah. I give it that. I'm not sure. <laughs> for the most part, well planned out. It's no, like I'd say that yeah, I'd say that there are about six like movies from that f that era that I'd say are, like genuinely good, like good, and that come um, across as well to land out because a lot of it feels like hot potato sort of stuff. Um, well, it's 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 uh it's a much more loose sort of uh it, it's all leading up to Thanos, sure, but like it's it's really easy things to sort of keep track of, of like oh there's a stone there and it does that there's a stone here that does that yeah and but like it's not it's not super tight you know like it's not. Take Guardians, for example, right? It'd be like, oh, that fits in so well. It's like, well, does it? It's just a bunch of new stuff, and then they've got a stone. It's not exactly mm -hmm. had to, like, adhere to much of anything. And I'm not even, I'm not well, shitting on Guardians. I'm just saying, like, to say that it's really well planned out, it's like, hmm. I, I mean, it's it's an accomplishment for sure. It's never been done before. That's got to be worth something. But, like, it's not, it's not that well planned out. Like, there's no way that when they were making, like, Iron Man 2 that they knew what Endgame was going to look like. Oh, no, no, no. I don't even think they knew what Endgame was going to look like when they'd finished no, filming it. I don't... I don't think they. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, th I think when like the first Iron Man came out, they weren't they weren't planning all this show like twenty movies or whatever. No, that wasn't happening. No, it but wasn't it, a sure thing yet. There, there does seem to be a a, a pretty extreme difference between uh, Thanos and post Thanos. It's like now well, it seems like they're just kind of st they're struggling to get any sort of coherent long term story, storyline. Or near, I'm not sure how much character. you know. Uh... I'm not sure how much you know, Dev, about like the way that they make these films, but there is a shit ton of compartmentalization when it comes to the writers to where like they might not even know what year their film is set in uh, because they don't know how their story well, fits into the broader plan. Well, we talked about Falcon and the Winter Soldier. They didn't they weren't allowed to like they didn't know what were, what, what was going on with Catwoman America. Yeah, they asked they if he was them. dead and they were told they, they, they're not getting an answer on whether or not he's dead. Also, Cosmonaut might be worthwhile to crop out. Like the the logo there at the bottom left, like for the channel. Hey, he's you say uh, that grabbing them clips online, okay? And some people, that's the uh, that's the way to go. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's I I'm more interested in the idea that he uh he would like consider it meticulously well done in some way, and then just like phase four is just been like you know it's shocking their planning is starting to fall apart when there's been so much shitty planning in the earlier phases, just stuff that doesn't get as much attention. Like, um, different things crossing over, things they forget about. There's loads, there's like videos on all the plot threads that never got resolved. The, one of my favorite ones is, um, <laughs> Darren Cross creating the, his own pin particle that's gonna change the arms race of the world forever, and he says, like, you know, you can have the suits, but I have the fuel and you have to get it off me. And at the end of that sequence, we see a Hydra agent running off with the pin particle. And it's like, ooh, what'll happen with that? Nothing, I apparently. Dropped, I guess they lost it. Yeah, he must have dropped it. He must have uh, fallen and it broke. And it's he like... And it's like oh, that's fortunate. It's like, in, it's like in Arkham City with uh, Joker, you know, dropping the thing. It's like, ah, damn. Oh, well, shucks. And just, uh, the end of that. Maybe they will bring that back someday, but it's like, it's been a while. No, <laughs> no, are they even going to make a fourth Ant-Man? Well, dude, the or actor who picked it up will be dead by the time they <laughs> like, pick up all that shit. No, they're not going to make another Ant-Man now. I don't think, anyway. Uh, no way. How about the Guardians part where we're at the end of the Guardian, the first Guardians movie, Drax goes, I have to kill the, the main <laughs> person responsible for the death of my family, Thanos, and he becomes like a joke character that disappears in Infinity War. So Yeah, that was that, a huge that, fuck up they was... forgot about. They did not give the, yeah. uh, Drax his payoff. We were, actually, yeah, that's another thing I'm waiting for in Guardians 3, to see if uh, James Gunn can seal that off. You know, you have a scene where he has to mm -hmm. acknowledge that he never got that, you know, that revenge, but does That'd he need nice. it? You know, something like that. I'm guessing that, yeah, that would be nice. But you have to, I mean, you, X'd I guess out. you could, he could be like, well, I, I helped take down Thanos and, you know, that feels like, you know, killing him. You know, I, I don't know. It's something, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> the Hydra Pim I... particle was used on the Eternals, huge rock guy sticking out of the air. <laughs>
That's, that's how they justify that plot line. It's like, yeah, they threw it on him. It makes sense. Shut up. I, I guess in a more general sense, I I don't entirely grasp how they make such huge mistakes with their own lore sometimes. And this applies to Marvel. It applies to DC. It applies. Like you can look at something like um, that's more my wheelhouse, like like World of Warcraft. Right? There's like 25 years of Warcraft lore, and they're constantly contradicting it with their new games or their new whatever. And I'm just wondering, like, don't you guys have some sort of lore Bible where you can, like, um, see who's still alive and who's dead and, like, what certain places look like and what certain things do? And either they're, they're just incompetent or, they're, or they're, actu- they're, they're purposefully violating their own lore for some reason. If you unfortunately delve into the opinions on maintaining lore for a lot of the writers behind this, like we have, you can find a lot of them are like, well, it's time for new content, it's time for new things. And you shouldn't be restricted by the old. You should be able to. Yeah, the grow. old is. I mean, this happened. Uh, this started happening when the TLJ kind of came out. This idea of you know, basically fuck canon. Uh, it's it's really restrictive and it's holding back creativity. And you should be able to break free from all those rules you've established. Well, yeah, when they use the force the for brand since. new crazy things, people are like, "Well, yeah, you don't want the same thing all the time, do you?" And it's the idea that, oh, I've got my own single artistic vision and you're so, somehow limiting me because I'm obviously so much better than this person that came before, so yeah. I can definitely do something better. It, well, even it's very egotistical. The vanity is fucking frustrated when they like pick up you know, older works and they're like, huh, you know what this is missing? Way more force powers. <laughs> like, whoa, look at this. I got the force power to fucking just summon lightning as a ghost. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's fucking cool. See, if, if I... If I were to steel man that position, it would be that if you just tell the same story over again with with no change, it does get old. That's not even. But there has to be uh, some middle ground between like respecting the foundations of a thing and building off of it, and then just changing it. Well, that's kind of the George R. R. Martin position. He he came out in an interview and said, "I don't understand why people don't like these properties anymore. Everyone used to like them, now they hate them." And he says that uh, maybe it's because it's changing. But you would go insane if you didn't change it somehow. I'm like, yeah, but you're the author like you're working with your own stuff so you have the right to change it if somebody else came in with a property you don't have the right to go back and change something that they did just because they can't defend it anymore um especially something that so many people like love and care about it's that gives it a sort of value that you don't have the right to change whereas if you're the original novelist i'm like okay you you can change your law in a way that still makes sense and because you're the author no one can really stop you um yeah yeah I, I think probably the most blatant example of that was recently was um lord of the rings the rings of power uh-oh. good mm-hmm. god that fucking show oh, oh nobody here likes that show <laughs> really okay terrible. good I, I, at least we're all in agreement <laughs> oh yeah that show's really bad I, I think that was some of the worst tv i've i've seen in a while might not be as bad as picard season two but it's it's pretty up there <laughs> Listen, we got a lot of competitors for that top spot. She Hulk came out at the same <laughs> time as Rings of Power. Is, uh, many oh. hands are trying to get their hands on that trophy. <laughs> there are a lot of mid movies in that collection, but there are also a lot of iconic action adventure movies in there too. And if you want to follow that up, you kind of have to go bigger and bolder. Oh, and- not no. true. Oh no, yeah, that's awesome. such terrible. Incorrect. Advice. Wrong. <laughs> You have yeah, to go bigger anything, and that's, older. That's the biggest problem with Phase 4 is that every single film is like this crazy world ending, massive implications, like bombastic bullshit. It sucks because this attitude is probably why they actually did it, where they were like, yeah. like check out this guy work. walking around and say, oh my god, the end of the multiverse! You're like, uh, uh, mm-hmm. again? It, it, <laughs> we could have used, used some like low-stakes stories. It's funny, crap. um... When I was on, I think it was an open bar catch-up, or it was open bar, but you, you, uh, Drink was just asking me, because I'd seen Ant-Man at that point, and he hadn't. He was under the impression that Ant-Man Quantumania from the trailers was actually going to be maybe not entirely cringe. And then I was like, what do you think the stakes are? And he, and he was like, well, I, I'm assuming it's going to be between just Kang and Ant-Man and escaping the quantum realm. And I was like, nope, end of the multiverse. And he was like, oh. Uh, again? <laughs> again. Uh, <laughs> I was like, yep. No. Always I don't want to hear the word multiverse, multiverse again. I know. Oh, it's, wow. Get used to it. It's so nuts that Thanos' story is tiny compared to the stakes we're dealing with in Phase 4 all the time. Like, good mm-hmm. for you. You're trying to wipe out half the universe. That's really not much compared to the multiverse, I guess. Like, uh, but yeah, um, would have been really cool and perfectly timed for Phase 4 to calm the fuck down. 
Yeah, I'll go man. back to establishing all of our characters so we can get those big old payoffs later in the phase. So, you know, humble beginnings, smaller stake stories that are personal, but that would require some talent and, God forbid, a little bit of discretion. Chill. Everybody chill. Bold. Yeah, everybody Marvel chill. Marvel is not doing that right now. I will never understand why they followed up the most popular you. movie of the 21st <laughs> century yeah. with this. <laughs> Well, wait, but this no, has nothing not to do with <laughs> not going big enough. It just looks like shit. That's all. Well, yeah, what? this this is yeah, this is a this is a really it. lame what perspective, did, isn't it? Like, oh yeah, following up Endgame with that notoriously bad visual effects clip that everybody already knows about from. Yeah, people Black clowned Widow. on this like immediately, yeah, but it's like, not. What has this got to do with how big well, yeah. Black Widow is? Which, by the way, this Black Widow is absurdly is, huge stakes as well. It's well, basically the fate of the world's countries. What it, yeah. what does he think Endgame should have been followed up by? Like, what does he think should have come after that? Maybe we'll it's find out. Uh, wait, wait, thing, hit, uh, wait. Okay. Oh, can I just say before you go on to Spyro, that isn't his logic. Guess. Isn't his logic like you shouldn't you shouldn't go big? Or it, you should be as No, his big argument as is that you should be big. Bigger. You say go yeah, bigger than Endgame, yeah. But this is fairly big. It's not as big as Endgame. I, I think I, it almost feels like it's stemming from the meta. It's like, well, it's a Black Widow movie, which, I mean, it's an expensive, big budget movie for a character who was a participant in these films for like a decade. So seems sufficiently big. Yeah, but, but it but, almost yeah. feels like it's the meta rather than what yeah, I know actually what you mean, happened in the story, which in the story, the stakes were insane. Well, it was the end of the world. Uh, yeah, basically, it would world. it would be Drake. Again, of, if you, essentially you run takes through the list of these of films, countries, like and government. Black Widow yeah. was you know end of the world. Shang Chi was end of the world. It was wait. end of the world. Because you got to yeah, be a little bit more end of like, Earth, you know, in a sense for Black Widow with uh, with Shang Chi. I don't even know if it goes further than because it was like they were in a different dimension. It was, so it was the end of that and the end of Earth and possibly more. Yeah. I don't really know what the limits of the Dragon Monster are. Eternals was Eternals was the world was going to blow up. Yes, so. And then, uh, you know, No Way Home was potentially the end of that universe. Like, possibly. That mm -hmm. was crazy. And then what was next after that? Uh, Moon Knight was the big kaiju fight, so that was, like, yeah, potentially That would have been the, the souls of all humans yeah, on the planet. Yeah, that's the end of the world. Mul multiverse of Madness was end of the multiverse. That's where so the like stakes the started getting real everything. big. Yeah. Thor Love yeah, and Thunder the... was the end of the universe. Mm-hmm. He, he's Black looking Panther at this from an Robert. objective perspective of, like, the universe whereas if you what? go from the individual hero if you if you actually get the audience to care about the character rather than treating them as someone disposable so you care about this person and their feelings and stuff then the end of his world would be like his family his yeah, children yeah, the people yeah. he knows so it's still the end of his world it's just that they don't look at it from the position of the individual everything is from this objective almost like materialist-esque um idea of yeah, like ranting, ranting it in terms of statistics the end of almost, itself. as opposed yeah, to m more numbers. Like a uh, Black Widow, if if the final fight was her versus her sister who had been corrupted by whatever thing, and it was just those two, and one of them had to die or something, it's like those stakes to her would be enormous, but yeah. not big enough for the audience. It's so funny that like this was shown after saying like we got to go bigger than Endgame. That was the problem. It's like yeah, because no? right after this clip, like right after this clip is. The Red Room floating, like, secret station blows up, and Black Widow <laughs> yeah. free dives to grab Yelena, parachute, and then has a mid-air fight with Taskmaster. It's absurd, <laughs> but very funny. <laughs> yeah. That's what they were going for, funny. Well, this was very funny. No. Yeah. <laughs> it's still funny. It's still funny. It's still funny. It's so bad. A lot of people don't know, but this is actually this is precisely how explosions work in real life. Yeah, <laughs> dude. I'm not gonna lie. The multiverse saga has potential to be more interesting than the previous overarching. Plot. I mean, sure. why? Well, but like, why? I, I potential. Is like, yeah, yeah. Well, I was that. I'm only asking why because it's like I'm so curious what your explanation would be for why that's the case, instead of just sort of leaving it up to the imagination of the viewer <laughs> to figure that one out. <laughs> that 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 statement is basically this could be good if they wrote it good. 
It's like, well, well actually, yeah. it takes away from <laughs> Pretty it. much, yeah. You know, <laughs> if it were better, then it would be more interesting. You're like, mm. sure. Yeah, it would be less bad if it was gooder. Mm. But I'm not even... sure it is. Like, you, you defeat true. Kang. Oh, look, there's another Kang over here. I actually think it removes all stakes from everything. You, so you no longer it gets harder. Yeah, it's it interesting you say that. Normal, One of the things but... I'm very curious about is how badly written it'll be that they stop him. How are they going to erase the Kangs of the world, like, forever at the end of Phase 6 or whatever? Probably oh, no. some stupid spell or some stupid, like, nonsense thing where they're like, he's gone now. He can't return. That's It just works that way. Mm -hmm. Shut up. Or they Somehow reinstall him in charge. Returned. Well, so I mean, it'll probably be the, the same. Position. Position. Well, it Could might be. be the same. I mean, remember, it's Michael Waldron's right in Secret Wars, and what was it with the Darkhold? All of them in all the universes got, like, deleted by Wanda somehow. Right. Well, and and let's, let's not forget Bioshock Infinite that decided yeah. that all of the bookers <laughs> and Comstocks were killed by that scene with the drowning. Like, they could do something like that. They go back to mm. a, a young aspiring Kang who's about to make the first invention, and they very tearfully have to kill him because of what'll happen in the and somehow they just tell us like trust me this solves all problems and you're like oh <laughs> okay <laughs> sure whatever you say time uh -huh. traveling mastermind with multiple incarnations well, of himself mind. yeah he's pretty sh he's pretty dumb uh in he, he's the... kind of a kind of a retard a little but, bit you know he it's not like he's had a lot of time to you know think why couldn't about they make this? a real helmet why did it have to be CGI. The CG helmets are cool. They go shweep, shweep in the middle of first uh, because it's because it's like his head, like the helmet doesn't track properly. Like it kind of like moves around. That like makes his it head better. Moves around in it. Yeah, that just shows <laughs> okay, that's that's sure. supposed to show the instability of his state of mind. Yeah, it's, um, yeah how right, he is yeah, different. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's very deep, brain. actually, and it's kind of embarrassing. Yeah, you didn't notice, pretty, but pretty you know. clever, pretty yeah. clever, uh, pretty yeah. smart writers. As yeah. Hank was yeah, and as around him can't quite keep up with yeah. who he is as what, a You know, the Kang <laughs> Dynasty, I'm sure that's going to be a great movie. Uh, well, yeah. movie. Is Whatever it, you just say. Isn't, yeah. isn't the idea of Kang self-defeating in the first place? Like, so, because there's an infinite amount of universes with an infinite amount of people in them, <laughs> everyone have an infinite amount of the, uh, themselves as Kang? So, like... Uh, you. Why would, even, Why would you even? Why would you even? Yeah, even there wouldn't just be Kang. There'd be an infinite Mies, and there'd be an infinite everyone yeah. here, and we'd all be fighting everybody you, in every universe. If you said that to the writers, they'd be like, "No." What? <laughs> like, <laughs> this is the problem with infinity. Everything happens. Mm -hmm. and with multiple incarnations of himself trying to stop the Avengers, is a much more interesting story than. Purple Man wants to. Oh, get don't, it's not don't do it. Oh. Shut oh. If I call, <laughs> well, no. He's if I call him, you're gonna be uh, that reductive. Yeah, look, if he's I call a big him purple, purple man. man. Ha ha ha. Yep. See, I'm right. If I call, why him can't you just man. call Kang Blue Man with his stupid helmet yeah. on? Like, Blue Man why wants to destroy Cal everything. Well, why would you? Why? Why? Why so reductive, my man? I just, I, I don't know. Just don't get upset if by you know if people refer to you by your skin color, man. But all right. Yeah, leave people, <laughs> people, people alone. It's just kind of, it's a little strange that we could to... story that leave grimace <laughs> and. Purple yeah. man wants Grimble. to kill everybody, but that's only he doesn't want to if. kill everybody. Yeah, he doesn't even. <laughs> he wants to stop. <laughs> he, wants yeah. to stop. He, wants to stop. he wants to kill like, half of he the had body. One aim <laughs> he had one job. You execute it well. You kind of have to plant seeds for this story at every opportunity. And so far, um, about it's not half a seed of the... that you're planting, really. That's also sort of like the why, thing. that's a weird thing to say as well. That you need to plant the seed in every story. No, you don't. Yeah, not only that, but like, do you think that if there was just an off mention of Kang in every Phase Four project, that suddenly it would be good? Like, no. What? Why? Why is the notion that every single story in like a broader interconnected universe has to feed into that main story? That you can't have stories that are off to the periphery. Oh, like we said, we we're, we're dying for a story in Star Wars of just a whole ass planet doing their thing, and someone's like, "What do you think of mm -hmm. the you know the Empire being brought down and the Republic taking over?" They're just like, "Don't give a shit." Yeah, no. sometimes things happen that just have nothing to do with, like, the big, crazy, you know, world-ending stuff. Like, I mean, look at comic books. Like, they're not all feeding into, like, the big end-of-the-world crazy stuff. Yes, they are. I, I, I think that was probably the most enjoyable part of, let's say, the first episode of the third season of The Mandalorian, is it was just quiet, just back on the planet again. Not oh, you talking about the crocodile fight? <laughs> <laughs> no, first... Hold on. Wait, was there a crocodile wait, fight wait, in that episode? Jesus. Wait, no, first I, episode I, I remember of the those third scenes. season of Mandalorian. So the yeah, premiere the season, of yeah. season three. Yeah, that was yeah, the crocodile yeah, fight. That happened was the crocodile That's fight. That's the crocodile one, yeah. Oh my god, that's so <laughs> retarded. Okay, no, hold on. 
what okay. I was what I was thinking of it, or the, the scenes where he, he goes back to Navarro and he's like, you can have a little homestead here. Maybe we'll maybe we'll have like a nice quiet story on one planet for once where just small things so happen. Were you Navarro like a big fan funny. of the them recreating the IG unit and then it went crazy and tried, tried to, to kill him? Kill him? <laughs> <laughs> and he um, missed him on the floor it, two feet away. It was kind of funny, but I mean I am gonna <laughs> Yeah, I'll give you that. What are your what are your broad thoughts on Mandalorian season three? Uh, I didn't. I didn't like it. Aww. I just okay. That's I just okay. Didn't like it. Okay. Cool. So we like. Well, did it, you guys so... like it? Oh, yeah, no. man. No. Oh, no. no. Uh, yeah, we love no. it. It's really good. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, yeah, no, I mean, man. if you yeah, read I mean, the internet, it's, is it's a, a record uh, of how much we, how much joy this show brings to us. Yeah. I've always, dude. Uh, we've been saying this for years. I've been waiting for three Praetorian Guard versus a baby. That's been kind of the payoff we've been edging toward, and <laughs> we finally got it. So that's pretty cool. Kill that puppet. <laughs> Yeah, like... I was, I, <laughs> I was watching the third season with my girlfriend, and she just said at one point, "I missed the first season," because the first season was actually really enjoyable, at least in my opinion. Like just small stories, traveling around, you know, solving little puzzles. It was a fun time. What I will say is, season one is better than season three. I would it's agree. Over. <laughs> it's still very good. I just want Lizzo to flip over someone with a lightsaber. That's all I want. I wanted to do a Grogu. I want them to stop. Just stop it. Stop Star Wars. Stop. <laughs> Enough. Stop it. Half of the movies and shows from Phase 4 have had nothing to do with Kang or the multiverse or anything That's like fine. that. That's fine. That has nothing mean, to do God with how know. good they are. Nothing to do with how good mm -hmm. they are. And honestly, Marvel's running out of time because everybody's got a fucking multiverse now. That doesn't even... Do... <laughs> like... Yeah, okay. <laughs> Just because the Flash is coming out doesn't mean they need to hurry up with Kag. That doesn't... I don't even... <laughs> Kang needs to hurry because there's a multiverse like a where in the DC, EU... <laughs> This is what I mean. Like these, if you listen to these videos, it's like, what the fuck are you saying? Like the, like mm -hmm. uh, they see the Flash coming out, they're like, oh shit, we haven't even got our Avengers movie out yet. Fuck, we're gonna lose the, the fight. Flash movie's coming out. They better get their shit together. You know, you want to see Michael Keaton walk around in his crunchy ass Batman suit? <laughs> <laughs> Now. And Marvel started this train with Spider-Verse, which wasn't an MCU thing, but still, it led to No Way Home, which kind of got us in this position. But after that uh, movie, Again, what, this what is, is happening? Sony, so what? it is worthwhile to, like, keep that in mind. I don't even know, but, like, what is he saying? Like, like the multiverse as a concept is something they need to hurry up with, even though they kind of introduced it they first. It, like, and what, they didn't start yeah. it because it was a film that wasn't part of the MCU, that wasn't made by Marvel Studios, that kicked it off. It was a Sony animated film. You, I, I can't underestimate how fucking lost I would be if I was trying to gain information from this video. Like, you see, the problem mm -hmm. is they've not banked on the multiverse very well because they didn't set it up properly, and they need to hurry because the Flash movie's coming out, and, you know, yeah, the MCU and Marvel and stuff, they kind of were there first, but... Except it wasn't actually the MCU. Yeah, and it's like, what the fuck but is it... happening? What are you yeah. saying? <laughs> Re it redraft, dude! Like... They needed to slow down. It's too, it, it's too quick. It's all happening too quick. Well, it feels like he didn't actually script. He's just sort of chilling out, and he's like, yeah, it yeah. was the multiverse stuff, like maybe. Maybe. They've kind of just been dicking around. Normally, I'm okay with having a standalone story every once in a while. That doesn't affect so what changed. Let, let me help you yeah. out. You, you're okay with them when they're good. You're not when they're bad. Mm -hmm. That's it. And when, and when they're bad and good, you don't say that those films are bad or good. You say it was a standalone movie, and that's who the, bad. That's what you'll blame. Who the fuck said, you know why Sid movies in the MCU are so good? Is because of how they set up Thanos. That's why they're so good. That's why. It's not... It's not the end of, like Guardians One is so good because we got that glimpse of Thanos. You well, know? No, but what does that even matter when it was just setting up the story about the big purple man who wants to kill everyone, right? I haven't forgotten, and I will hold it to the internet that when Infinity War's trailer came out, a lot of people were like, "Who the fuck is Thanos, really?" Like we've gotten a couple of clips of him here and there. Mm. Apparently, he wants the Infinity Stones. I don't know him, and I remember comic book fans being like, "Oh, well, he's um." You know, he's blah, 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 blah. And it's like, yeah, but I, pff, it's not in the movies, so, you know, whatever. I don't think they can, this is his movie. How are they going to give us enough information to make the stakes matter, to make blah, blah, blah. And then Infinity War comes out and people are like, oh, shit. That was pretty good. It, you know, a lot of people really liked the individual scenes where he was explaining what he was doing. It was enough, anyway, to make it all feel like it mattered. Um, so the idea that, like, Phase 1, 2, 3 set up Thanos really well, I just, I don't buy it. Not even close. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine a world where a story like introduces a character and like it's a neat character? 
like in the film that the characters introduced. That's, that's kind of a wild idea. I don't think they they. I can see why they're not doing that anymore. I mean, that's crazy. You know what's oh. kind of funny is there's probably more Kang information in Phase 4 than there is Thanos information in Phase 1. Yes, there is. Probably. All we had really for Thanos was that end scene specifically. Yeah. And like some references throughout Avengers. Like a few Granted, references. Granted, Phase 4 is larger than Phase 1, but I mean, really it's... It could have... In terms of... It could have been as large in terms of, like, overall timeline. It's just a matter of they have more money and can make more projects and show more characters and more places doing more things. Um, mm -hmm. I guess we're just trying to say it's got nothing to do with setting up Kang. That's really not the problem. Yep. Well, okay, I think you could do it with the Kang thing. It's just that they already fucked it up by having multiple Kangs get being beaten every single time. What they should have done is have a single Kang that we see throughout and he keeps beating these avengers so that he feels like a credible threat instead of what we get well um i think most i don't know if most people here agree or not but uh it was certainly an idea that was floated that seems valuable to me that you should have killed ant-man in uh quantum mania yep. ah. yeah definitely yeah or kill yeah. someone kill the wasp kill someone i think it would have been a solid exit for Paul Rudd's Ant Man, and it would have been yeah. you could have the film being relatively lighthearted, and then something like you know the third act is quite dark or whatever, and, and it yeah it just sets Kang properly instead of Hope shoots him with her wasp blasters and he falls into an engine and dies. Can I just I say think... the, the ending also feels weird because it feels like they reshot it because they really did. Yeah. yeah. They oh, because it. it's like it feels like. Ant Man confronting Kang and he sacrificed himself, that would have been a good ending for it. Or he's trapped there and Kang somehow manages to escape and he's stuck yeah. with the wasp. Yeah, I think. Yeah, they, right? they said uh, he was trapped there originally, but they didn't want to repeat the same story beats as earlier movies, so they changed it. <laughs> that was their actual reason. And you can tell <laughs> there's the moment where um, Scott, when he's like been beaten up and Hope goes up to him once they've beaten Kang. And he's like, you know, is, Ka is, Cassie, is Cassie okay? She made it. She's like, she's okay. She's on the other side. The, the, the idea being, of course, that that's the last of, you know, Cassie didn't get trapped down here with us. We're trapped, but at least she's out. And then they're like, let's go home. It's like really weird oh that he's God. like, oh God, is Cassie okay? Yeah. Did Cassie make all of that? Like they come well, back through the portal, like nothing ever happened. And you're like, oh, okay. I mean, it's really right. clunky as fuck, that whole finale, because it, they are chewing together like two different uh, storylines that they were they were running with. But um yeah, another thing that Chad been saying is like, well at least kill Hank or Janet, right? And it's like Hank would probably yeah. be the best option. And it gives Michael Douglas a fucking exit from this insane shit. Nightmare. <laughs> like, <laughs> and and uh, the way you do it, it's it's all set up if you want if anyone here remembers the Ant Man movies, uh, the whole reason he wanted Scott and didn't want to use his daughter was because he can't go in the suit because it's uh killing him at this point. He's he, Michael Douglas says he's used it so much that it's like tearing him apart, he can't use the suit anymore. It's like, so you have him use it one more time, right? To help save the day, and then it kills him to do so. That would be the, the payoff, and then you, you're good. You get, you, the original Ant-Man gets to be Ant-Man and sacrifice himself, and um, you know, Kang killing him makes Kang feel a little bit more threatening. Um, well, I don't think it's just about Kang being threatening. You've got to give him some depth. I mean, even Thanos, right? He, was, yeah, he wanted to wipe out half of all people, but he had a reason behind it. And you didn't get the feeling that he was doing it out of pleasure. It was like, this is almost my duty to, to save people. So yeah, I'm doing horrible things, but there's a reason for it. He didn't explain his reason. He's angry. Well, yeah, but uh, Kang, <laughs> actually, you, you, when he was blasting people, Have you he ever was been enjoying angry before? it. Yeah, this like, he's, this he's, was... he's, you don't understand. Like, he's real angry. Well, it was, it was a power a... trip for him. And yeah, yeah, he had the excuse of, well, everybody else behind me is worse. But if you're an ass, I'm still not going to root for you to defeat them in the first place. Just be like, oh, you, you, if you think I'm bad, you won't believe how bad they well, really are. They'd so, fucked it. Their chances when you talk to Janet, right? And they fucked it when she said something like, um, you know, what about the trillions of people that are going to die? And he says, I wish that mattered. It's like, yeah, uh, okay. It's <laughs> just maths. Like, no, you, you've got to give him... It, Either he's got to struggle or... Because even when he was in, like, Loki, it, it was basically... He was still on a power trip. He just thought that he'd won and that was Rice overall. But there was no real depth to the story or the character. It was just well, like, dude, yeah, he was, this is how things are meant to be. He was bored was in Loki, so. right? That was, like, the whole deal? He was like, I'm fucking bored. I don't want to... I'm going to stop me. controlling the universe and now and the cosmos. And, oh, I'm so curious to see if you'll stab me. Because yeah, he says, like, uh, their choices were to take control and do the things that he's essentially been doing but their own whims, or kill him and release the whole world for freedom of the timelines. 
Because and, and it's like, well, why, why isn't there a third option of him just continuing? It's like, because he's bored. He just doesn't want to do it anymore. He said that he's just fucking bored. Like, wow, this is a really interesting character you got. Yeah, I, I, th I think it's just earlier things that they used to, the villains used to have either reasons or they'd have sort of a different moral structure. Villains used to have reasons. <laughs> it it well, felt yeah, like well, that, that's yeah. that's true, they don't anymore. <laughs> now they're just, well, they're evil, but at the same time, you should probably feel bad for them. It's like, yeah, but why? But <laughs> it's why? Like, oh, well, his, his dad died and that means he can do anything now. It's like, no, that's not how that works. Well, it's, it's crazy, dude, because... Like, oh, he was really upset. He's really sad. He just hates the world. It's like, okay. If everyone rolls their minds back, even... I don't know, it's probably, what, 10 years now. That used to be what the problem with the MCU was, that the villains weren't detailed enough. They had motives, they just weren't, they were pretty thin. These days, you can barely tell what the fuck they're, they're doing. Like, why why anything's happening. It's like, well, there they are. Remember, like, uh, Gore? You watch the movie, and it's like, uh, he's got a god, World that god record. is a dick to him, and he's like, right, time for me to kill all <laughs> gods. It's like, <laughs> what? <laughs> That doesn't even make sense. And, power. and then he, and then Thor's like, "Wow, he's been killing good gods." It's like, why is he killing the good gods? What, 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 what? <laughs> because Fucking movies. gods. And then he's, he's like very terrifying children by decapitating things, and you're like, "Why? <laughs> what has that got to do with anything?" So far, the last like dozen entries really haven't had any connecting tissue. Everything. That's not a, that's honestly not a problem. If they were all disconnected superhero movies that were good. Uh, I think the the public wouldn't mind anywhere near as much. People really get hung up on like it has to be in a, a, a cinematic universe. It has to be all connected, not in the sense of a lack of contradiction, but in the sense of it all needs to have constant references and cameos and all that shit. Yeah, it's like, like it's you... the most important thing to their minds. It's like I can't just watch a from... movie. No, it's like they're looking at it from Marvel's perspective because. Marvel wants them to be connected because it gives you a reason to see that movie in the first place. Which is but pathetic, right? you shouldn't right? care as long as you're entertained at the time. The thing, I remember um, in She-Hulk, I'd go on Twitter to see what people thought about it, and all I saw was, picture of this thing, that's a reference to the Eternals. Do you see what a phone yeah. screensaver is? That's a reference to this. So, I, I can see why they did it. There's definitely a section of people out there that just want Easter eggs everywhere. At the expense of anything else. And... Because it's funny you say that. I remember a tweet from Movie Bob, of actually, of all people, of a screenshot from a trailer where in Thor: Love and Thunder they're in this like big room near the end. It's where it's where all the big fighting happens, and uh, there's like four statues, and he like identifies all four, explains what they represent and what they will mean going forward in the story. And I remember thinking to myself, like, no way, no way, anything like that happens. It's just going to be literally just statues in the background that they took from the comics, and that's it. That's as far as it'll go. And like they didn't even mention them. I was just like. Fuck me, the fans have to do so much work to make these movies more interesting. And the real sad thing is, yeah, like, remember the sentiment around uh, Shazam? It was like, why would I go see Shazam when I know that it doesn't lead to anything? And it's like, fucking yeah. hell. Imagine Shazam was just a good movie, though. Imagine movies were just a movie with a start and then a middle. And, and that you want to see it. And that was it. Because it's and the continuation it... of characters you liked from Shazam. Like, you're like you want to see what happens to those guys, right? And it's like, no, not if they don't end up in a third movie. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. It's such a weird culture that they fostered, but it's killed them now. Because, uh, yeah, as you can see from this video and many others like it, a lot of people cite that the problem with Phase 4 is that they're not connected enough and they don't lead into anything enough. Which is so far away from the actual issue as far as I'm concerned, but... Sure. Any connecting just... tissue. Everything right. has been a standalone story. Kind of feels like Marvel was just kind of throwing oh. shit at the wall and seeing what sticks. I what? fucking wish that's what we were doing. Like, giving it out to all kinds of artists and saying you don't have to connect yourselves, but stay low stakes. That statement has nothing to do with the prior statement. The story is a standalone. Marvel's throwing shit at the wall. It's like, that feels like two different... <laughs> yeah. It's like two very different claims, you know? And, like, the notion that it's, that compared to, you know, the other phase where it's like, yeah, they were a lot more interconnected. It's like, damn, man, I feel like, uh, I feel like it's a lot harder to keep track of what's going on in phase four if you're not, like, watching a good portion of the stories. Mm -hmm. You know, like, if you miss Guardians or if you miss, like, Thor the Dark World, you're not going to be lost in, like, Age of Ultron. No, of course. <laughs> what did you need to see before you see Eternals? Nothing. Uh, Nothing. <laughs> Well, did you need to see yeah. Eternals? And then do you need to see Eternals to see anything else? <laughs> Not really. Um, and, and so does that mean that they're throwing shit at the walls? Like, no, actually, because the Eternals will come back at some point, I imagine. Um, mm -hmm. But at the same it's time, it's like, like, it's just a bad film. I haven't even seen it. I'm going off of what Fringy said, okay? <laughs> but it's a shitty film as opposed to, oh, you see, that's the problem. 
didn't connect enough with the before and after. Yeah, because like if it was good, you wouldn't care. It's just like, well, that's a good story that I got to see. You know, how much did that's Guardians it. connect with the MCU? Yeah, uh, and Guardians too. They're like their own off, like very much off to the side. And they're one of the most well received of the all the movies in the MCU. Like, explain yep. <laughs> how does this make sense? And obviously, the thing that everybody thought would be popular was the most popular entry. People very clearly what, what, react- What does that have to do with anything? What is that, well, how does that link to anything <laughs> that you said previously? Spider-Man is the most popular Marvel character. Yeah, like, he's Spider-Man. <laughs> it's like, okay, I, I don't, yeah, sure. Their entry. People very clearly react well to the multiverse stuff. No. no. Clearly. No. Clearly they do. No. <laughs> That's why we're having this conversation. What people reacted to was the appeal of like, oh, damn, we get to see like those characters from those other stories that I like. Like that was what we had before. But then like, matter, the films came out. In a matter of like three movies that really tackle the multiverse, you already see very strong sentiment of, I'm very tired of the multiverse. I don't like the multiverse yeah, because good. it ruins stakes. You know, the multiverse kind of sucks because you see like, oh, character X, and it's like, yeah, you're just going to see character Y, and they're the same as X, but different, or and you're just like, yeah. Like, you see that everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> and it yeah. was only, the multiverse was necessary to get those characters back together, but it's very simple to, um, similar to like Picard season three. People just wanted the characters back. It's like, yeah, okay, so you had to make a story where they could come together, which required a multiverse. But if you'd done it another way without a multiverse, no one would have cared. They they just liked those characters and wanted to see Yeah, them like, if, if they oh. said it was a spatial vortex conducted by yeah. Mephesto, and it caused Flim Flam, and then they appear, you're like, yeah, fine. <laughs> I mean, it reflects uh, the stories that people liked the most and didn't, right? Because in No Way Home, it was the continuation of those characters from their original stories, where it's here... With, like, this Professor X. It ain't, like, the Professor X from the X-Men films. He's a different guy. You can pretend he so is. It's like, <laughs> it just like, oh, so it was like Patrick Did Stewart. you see it's the like, video of him, like, on a ramp? And he's, like, skateboarding around the ramp on his <laughs> Yes, face. yes, I saw It's that. awesome. <laughs> it's great. But they're all just, like, awkwardly sitting there watching him do it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's his intro. But I don't think that's going to last much longer, it, especially... It, it's already falling apart. It's done! It's that's already done. done. <laughs> they wasted all of it already. Thanks, Since Internet every... Explorer. Everybody's copying it now. Instead of following up Phase 3 with stories people want to see, we have a movie about a dead lady. We have a movie where... Don't... I... Why? <sighs> man, just reductive. A dead lady. A purple yeah, a man. Dead a dead lady. <laughs> it's funny because... Like, the most, like, liked Star Wars content from Disney at this point is probably, uh, Andor. That's a show about a bunch of dead people. Like, it's about, yeah, like, it ends with a dead lady talking. So, I don't know, man. It's really strange <laughs> to present, like, as somebody with any level of investment in Marvel to describe Black Widow as a dead lady. <laughs> what is that? I, it's it's, of the, it's the classic... This feels like a classic cosmonaut reduction. Isn't it? Pretty much, yeah. Cosmonaut reduction. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if I can, if I can well, so, know, demean it by, you know, calling it a certain thing, then it's fine. I don't have well, to be substance. Who, who oh, said, man, like, my brain. when the prequels were announced, and even to this day, who says, like, the prequels suck because it's about a bunch of dead people? Well, it's just, it's just not a good, it's not a good argument. Like, that, that there's no reason to be interested in the story because, like, a character is dead or you know how it ends. It's like, oh, well, depends on what the story is, right? Or what we're going to learn about them. Once like again. Like, a Black Widow prequel story could have been really good and we got some new insight into that character but yeah and shit. fuck it as uh, gary said it again and again make it r-rated go nuts have a bit of risk mm -hmm. lower budget smaller scale Carl Joe oh, with uh jeremy renner scale. i know right and uh yeah just do the things and oh it could have been it could have been real success he wouldn't be saying this if it was good that's the point uh, yeah, exactly. And he's never he exactly. hasn't talked about that yet. He hasn't talked about the writing or the storytelling yeah. or the characters <laughs> or any of that. Nope. Mm -hmm. We have a movie about a dead lady. We have a movie where Thor kind of fucks around for a few hours. We have a movie that tries to introduce <laughs> a bunch of characters that have no personality. These are all very strange uh, and different problems. Uh, like we oh, can't sorry, we can't have it about I, a character who's dead, a character that fucks around, or new characters. That's not Eternal's problem, is it? Well, it's just like all similar? three. It's not any of those yeah. things. It's really badly. If we had a movie about a superhero who's fucking around for the whole story, yeah, sure, that could work. I mean, yeah, if it, it was good, 
I'm yeah, trying to like a good. character doing good things that were fun to watch. Or if they were like a, a established character that's gone on, just like getting drunk and just given up and doesn't feel like the need to save people anymore and hates like the world or something. You know, just, you could run any story with that, of course. I, like, I mean, why are we what shitting John Wick on? Is. A, ca a character beats people up for a few hours. That's literally the movie. Pretty, you could actually argue he's fucking around in that whole <laughs> franchise, but the uh, the yeah. you know, because isn't that what Hancock is like for the most part? Yeah. I'm not gonna say it's good because I haven't seen it in a million years, but I'm still yeah. Someone just said you're describing Hancock, yeah. A movie so bad that Marvel's basically pretending it never happened. Gee, that's a. You don't want to do that with the whole phase, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nice you're multiverse saga, right but tell me. How does Cersei the Eternal fit into all of this? That movie ends in probably the funniest way, with her getting kidnapped by a giant space god, and it's just- To be fair, that's not even that funny compared to the shit we get in, the, in Phase 4. Yeah, that's not really funny at all. You got Modoc. That's, that's just weird. Modoc's <laughs> <laughs> way funnier. Thor turned Modoc's a load of kids speak. into little Thors that fought people with teddy bears. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's oh, a thing no. that happened to everybody, if you remember. That's so Crazy. retarded. That not a single character in the Marvel Cinematic Universe has brought up the fact that this. So they have actually. Hey, she Hulk brings it up. Wow. It's uh, yeah, it's subtle, but it is there. Shit. I was oh about God. to say it's like he's actually. It's like oh, that's like a point now. Well, to be fair, yes, Fringy, you this is bad world building. When you uh, you were saying like he he's kind of stale with a lot of these things. Isn't this one pretty stale at this point? Uh, it, it is because it's such an obvious thing. Everyone's brought this dude, up. Yeah. A giant celestial poking out of the Indian Ocean, <laughs> and nobody <laughs> talks about it. Just goes to show how much people care about the Indian Ocean. Yeah, it's man, oh. it's commentary, social commentary. Dude, we didn't even notice it's been there for years. We like we just literally never noticed. When was the last time you guys went to the Indian Ocean? I don't know. So Indian yeah, Ocean is uh, It's actually a hand. Uh, yeah. just, <laughs> it's just a big golden hand. <laughs> <laughs> this shit happened. Like, is that just sitting there forever? No one's ever going to talk about it or bring it up? Yeah, no, actually, I don't, yeah, I don't, right. I don't that think, is a, that is a pretty I don't think the problem, kind of... I don't think the yeah, problem is it be, I don't think the problem is it being there. I think the problem is the movie was just bad, and I think the script writers also oh, forgot no, it it's, it's, it's a relevant point, right, from a world-building perspective. That's insane. There's a giant mm -hmm. cosmic entity poking out of Earth, and nobody seems to mind. Like, it's kind of like the blip. Talk about their... It's just not yeah. getting addressed. It's getting ignored. Well, let's put it this way. If you were living in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, like, talk about cosmic horror. My god. Yeah. Every other week, there's some okay. crazy shit that's we've... gonna, like, destroy the yeah. world, and you have no control or power over it. Whether we've, it's a giant celestial poking out of Earth, well, or, yeah. like, demons from another dimension. Or like these rifts and like breaks in the fabric of reality between multiverses. Like, how do you every year you, like, there's like three or four existential every year, threats every, to every, the entirety every, of the cosmos every month? <laughs> every month. <laughs> like, I, I, imagine imagine that you're terrified. like working at, uh, imagine you're working at a McDonald's or something or a Starbucks, <laughs> and you're just like you're just trying to get through school. You have student loans to pay off, and you look over and there's like aliens invading. It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, there's like an yeah, alien like, whale squid deals with firing lasers all <laughs> yeah. over the place. There's, there's just flying people shooting at you. just like, ah, do you want fries with that? Or do you, wanna... <laughs> you know, I kind of so, understand. Um, there was something that was said earlier, and I've been, the past few minutes, I've been trying to like mull it over in my head because I, I can't quite, I can't quite get it. So he mentioned um, that they're trying to throw shit against the wall and see what sticks. That was maybe two minutes ago or so in the video. Mm -hmm. It seemed like you guys disagreed with that, but... I feel like that's correct, and I can't quite articulate. Well, no, no, I he's, don't think he's, we're he's it's the, the, it's okay. the problem. Like, I don't see that as the problem. If, if even if it's definitively happening, the problem is like the shitty writing and execution. Not like if they gave out a whole bunch of projects and said make some stories to a whole bunch of creators. Like, that process is, um, I mean, it's one way to go. I, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it compared to like a big plan, um, but that could still produce some awesome shit. It hasn't. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I, I guess you, you could you could like get five different directors with five different styles and have them make five very different movies, and see what's actually good. Well, yeah, and, and to, to they're be fair, that because they're all the same style, they're all just like big world-ending events. It's it's the same thing. In a well, sense, we, that we they we have always been doing about it. Though. The Marvel formula. That's mm. what people talk about all the time. Oh, it's the Marvel formula, or oh, it's just like we call it the sludge, right? Oh, it's just. It's just a different kind of the same sludge, right? Yeah. Nothing yep. seems experimental. 
when, um, some start to verge on that like like maybe like we got that like it was episode five in moon Knight, which was like oh this is like a story with like things happening and like, okay you every <laughs> once in a while you get like an episode that's sort of there like a story but yeah. it's all just surrounded by the sludge of what the formula is wonder well, like, algorithmic well, wasn't, yeah. wasn't that wasn't that everyone's take on um uh, was was it called WandaVerse or WandaVision? WandaVision. Yeah, WandaVision. Yeah, I, I couldn't remember the name of the time. But yeah, wasn't that everyone's take on that? Because it was kind of like a, it was something new. The first, something, mm, something I want to say two and a half, maybe three episodes were like, uh, not only acceptable in terms of like, oh, this is this is kind of neat, but also like, oh man, imagine how good this could be if they managed to nail the middle and end. They did not. Mm -hmm. didn't come close. Uh, and yeah, yeah what I was yeah. going to say is um, phase two and three, I think you could argue that Ant-Man and maybe to a lesser extent Doctor Strange are kind of like throwing shit at a wall and seeing what sticks in terms of if Ant-Man failed, they weren't going to make a second one. But if it succeeds, well, we will. And you can argue that attitude is like similar to phase four where they're like, I don't know, fucking throw out a uh, throw out a um, Captain... Wait, no. Captain Marvel's phase three. The Marvels will be phase five. She went through the whole phase and Got nothing, pretty much. It's crazy. Oh, can you imagine uh, if we had a Marvel entry in this? It's just what we need. It'd just be what the, we need. The, the little cherry on top of this is Captain Marvel. I think it's because earlier, what they were throwing at the wall was different superheroes. And that was enough because superhero and Marvel itself, the way they're making movies, were new. So people would go, okay, because I, I did it. I, I like his powers. He seems like an interesting concept. I'll go see what his movie's about. Right. But eventually, you need more. You have to change the formula of what the actual show is, not just the superpowers involved. But they stay with that, because it worked. So they, they kept on doing it way past where they need to... It, it, they, they need, they, I think it's right in a sense. They need to make something bigger. But it, it's not the stakes of the universe. It's You have to expand your actual way of making movies in the first place and evolve out into other genres or something. Um... The the seeing what sticks sort of thing. I I just uh, I don't see it as the reason why things are falling apart. I think it's okay as a as an idea in terms of what what character should we pursue, what storyline should we pursue. But if anything, the reason why I'm like pushing against it almost in my head is because phase four, nothing is stuck and they're continuing. It's like what are you doing? That's not. It's like um, it, it's very fast foody. It's like if you drink a whole bunch of soda. Like yeah, today it feels really lovely. Is oh, I, I love soda. It's yummy, delicious, mm. sugary. I really like it. While I'm thinking about it now, while it's really fresh on my mind, I really enjoy drinking all that soda today. And then tomorrow you're like, I don't really feel all that good. My stomach's a little upset from all that soda. And also when I look back. I mean, like, uh, I mean, I mean, I don't really, I probably shouldn't have done that, you know? And and that's kind of what the MCU is. Nothing, it's not like you look back and say, gosh, I, what is it a good that day? was a meal that I'll remember. You know, I'll well, really yeah. remember that delicious meal that I had. And maybe I didn't appreciate it at the time, but man, it's really sticking with me now that I think back on it. And another way that I'm, I'm uh, to put what I'm trying to say is like, if a restaurant put out five meals and one through three are really popular, four and five aren't, so they kind of retire four and five and try something else. And keep one, two, three. That's how it felt. They were doing it in phase one, two, three. Like put stuff out if it works. Keep putting it out if it doesn't. We'll paper it back a little bit. Um, but phase four feels like they put out one, two, three, four, five, and maybe three had a lot of people ordering it and saying it was okay, but the rest of them are hated. And then they're like, hmm, tomorrow try one, two, three, four, five. Like, but you already oh, you need uh... to do something else, maybe. I'll. This might be relevant for us later, but uh. A, a friend, a, a buddy, a pal in the Discord, a, a chum, an acquaintance, an audience member, a fan, has compiled a list of Cosmonauts rankings for every Phase 4 project. So maybe when it is appropriate for us to bring this up and reference it, we can go down this list here. I thought his Falcon Winter Soldier ranking was higher than 5. But uh, fair enough. Uh, Loki is 8.5. Jesus Christ. Shall we, <laughs> shall we go down the list? Uh, Why not? Uh, I think yeah. We talk about it. <laughs> I think All right. We well, I, I I suppose everyone keep this in mind as we continue with Cosmonauts' video here of the current state of the yeah, MCU. And to be here fair, are his rankings. I just want to know, like the the reason why this is interesting is because he's doing like an overview of the state of the quality, but this is what he said about the quality of these things individually. Mm -hmm. All right, so we start off with Black Widow, five out of ten. Very generous. Very generous, but I guess by his standards, that's quite bad. But whatever. Uh, Wandavision is a seven out of ten. Falcon and the Winter Soldier is a 5 out of 10. Actually surprised me, but 
Yeah. I guess I'll probably be surprised by a lot of these. I don't think he has like any sort of system other than what his whims feel at the moment. Um, what if was a six out of ten. Loki was an eight point five out of ten. Very uh, high. Uh, Oof. And that's like a for anyone who doesn't know, Loki was the moment Efat pretty much decided the MCU died. Yes. yes that was that it was, was the, the first end. episode. Uh, pretty mm -hmm. much. Uh, that I think it was, was like 10 minutes. I think it was about 10 pretty minutes. Much. Like, Damn, yeah. all right, we're done. That was a 1 out of 10, I think we gave Loki. I think, was that yep. our first 1 out of 10 for the MCU? I think it was. Yeah, I want to say so, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is one of yeah. our first 1s out of 10. We don't have many. Mm -hmm. uh, but, oh gosh, are, are, are all of our 1 out of 10s in the MCU? They might be, Do you yeah. have any <laughs> 1 out of 10s that are not in the MCU? I'm trying to think. Oh, of I know the MCU has my only 0. 0.5 out of 10, so. Come on, which DC film could have been a one, but I don't even think, like, I don't even think Nothing any of them would lower Nothing that low, yeah, right? They have some so. redeeming qualities, surely. <laughs> but, yeah. uh, anyway, we have Shang-Chi, 7 out of 10. <laughs> Moon Knight, which gets a 6.5 out of 10. That's kind of surprising, honestly. I would have thought you'd give it more, but yeah. I thought he'd give it more. Episode 5 alone is, like, hmm, interesting. Uh, we have Doctor Strange 2, 7.5 out of 10. Now, it so. feels really <laughs> awkward to do, like, your video on the current state of the MCU talking about, like, all of its problems when, like, Multiverse of Madness, in a lot of ways, is, like, a great representation of everything that went wrong in this phase. But but it's, like, one of his highest thought, rated. Yeah, yeah, at the time, you thought 7.5, that's, like, pretty good. That's pretty good. That's not even just good, and that's pretty good mm -hmm. by most that metrics. Um, let's see. We, Moon Knight was a 6.5. I'm tallying these up right now as we go to get an average. Uh, Doctor Strange 2 is a 7.5. We did that. Next, No Way Home. He didn't give one. That's weird. Why not? But that's like the that's... highest one. Mm -hmm. Surely he would... I would have thought he would not only give that the highest score, but also cover it. My guess is that my guess is that what he said is like I can't like give it a number because like I don't know. There's no way that oh, I okay, can look at it impartially. Uh, That's my guess. That'd be my okay. guess. Okay. Uh, right, anyway, it, it just ruins his grading system for every other Marvel movie. That that's why he doesn't yeah. want to grade it. <laughs> Maybe. He'd have to give it a ten compared to the other ratings. He'd have to. <laughs> yeah. There'd be nowhere else to go. You'd think, I mean, it would logically follow that if he gives, you know, like, Loki an 8.5. Jesus. Um, all right, next, Eternals. He gave that a 4 out I of guess 10. I guess I, I find that one interesting because it's like, I'm not sure what it is that would make somebody look at Eternals and go, that's bad, but then look at a bunch of the other ones and go, eh, that's good. Well, not to mention, too, uh, the way he spoke about Eternals as a summary in this, like, he's got nothing but, you know, shit to throw at it, and yet he gave it a 4. It's like, all right. No, I, and well, hmm. He also gives Thor 5.5. It's higher than yeah. Eternals. What the fuck? Thor the Dark War, or Thor <laughs> yeah, Love and Thunder is 5.5 out of Wait, 10. Wait, yeah. That, that means he thinks the <laughs> Thor 4 is better than Black Widow and Falcon the Winter Soldier. Uh, and Eternals. And Eternals, yeah. But yeah. if you'd gone from the, this video, you'd thought that he'd think Love and Thunder was one of the worst ones. Mm. Yeah. Maybe he still does. I don't fucking know. But the thing uh, is, as well, he described them all as mid. Uh, like combined, <laughs> yeah. so you would expect you'd expect twos and threes we'll see if and some seven and eight. We'll see if the numbers bear well, that we'll out. We'll see. Yeah, this is the average. IGN rating scale. Well, you could already tell uh, <laughs> the average is gonna be something like seven. We'll we'll see. We'll see. Six point five, uh, maybe. Werewolf by Night is an eight out of ten. I didn't I didn't watch this. I don't know anything about it. Um, okay. I like I've it. been told to see that. We need to check it out. Maybe it's only an hour. Yeah. I think I'll watch a yeah it, Werewolf by Night. It, it's better than fucking She Hulk. I what? It. <laughs> Insanity. Uh, let's see. Miss Marvel, he gave a 6 out of 10. Sure, I haven't uh, seen it, so. I don't know anything about it. Uh, she Hulk, he gave a 7 out of 10 to She Hulk. Oh, she Hulk is a 7, seven out of 10. Bro. Bro. Is, I'm very ooh, confused at this average, point geez. because this is about like how the MCU is falling apart, and yet. Seven out of ten for She Hulk. Okay, I'd say seven is a good movie. Surely, surely seven is a good. Surely movie. seven yeah. is that's seven recommendable. Is a good movie. Oh yeah, I'd I'd recommend a seven easily. Yeah. Um, let's see. Black Panther two. He gave an eight out of ten. Jeez. Eight. <laughs> Ooh. That's very high. Eight out of ten eight. for Black Panther two. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Like nothing worked in that movie. Um, and then Hawkeye. He gave a five. All right, so what's our average? Five out of ten. So, 
Let's see, I've got that. So, How many so we can judge everything else by Black Four Widow and six. Hawkeye, because they're <laughs> mid. <laughs> they're bang <Yeah>. average. <laughs> Divided by 15. So the average is 6.4. Mm. Not counting No Way Home. So we have an average of 6.4. That's, like, that's, that's pretty, pretty high. decent. Meanwhile, yeah. our average, I think, would equal out to being like 1.5 to 2. <laughs> <laughs> it would probably be a 2, yeah, like 2-ish, around 2. The only one that rose above a 3 was uh, No Way Home, and that was like a 5, really. Um, yeah. I even, so, um, yeah. It's, it's, it's amazing. Um, because like, I think this video is just incongruent with that <laughs> like, set of scores. Yeah. Something mm -hmm. went wrong along yeah. the way. It's, again, it's just weird that you can now look back and go, ah, oh, yeah, the MCU's big problems when, like, you gave, like, several projects there that are, like, really emblematic of what went wrong, well, the highest score. Remember what he said, because this really does make sense. He was like, you need to interconnect it, you need to make sure it uh, like has stakes that are bigger than Endgame. That's why Black Panther 2 is the best one. Well, and that's why She-Hulk, as well, is one of the best ones. Yeah, because both of those Wolf projects set up what Thanos, uh, sorry, Kang. Have to do with yeah, what does Werewolf by Night have to do with Kang? Isn't that like a one-off sort of side project? Like thing? That's, that's why this is fascinating. Yeah. His three top scorers have nothing to do with Kang, and they're all stakes that are lower than Endgame. But the problem is, we need to get bigger, and we have to have everything connect to Kang. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't, it doesn't work. He doesn't agree with yeah, himself. That needs, that needs well, to get yeah, bigger. that's him. That's, that's Cosmonaut. Like, Cosmonaut <laughs> was She-Hulk, which was probably one of the lowest... Well, the problem is, it depends on how seriously you want to take all the shit that happened in that show well look at these scores right i mean it, he describes the whole series as mid but there's only one that goes below a five there's only one bad one there's only there only eternals is bad everything is either line, yeah. Yeah. everything else is either average to good oh sorry fascinating someone just reminded me technically she hulk has the biggest stakes of all the mcu stories oh yeah technically oh, oh, shut shut the the fuck. Fuck. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh. forgot about that yeah she does break into the fucking real world <laughs> and toy with yeah. the stakes at a she whim coming after us <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. In, a, in, a, in a meta sense it's one of the lowest stakes ones in a meta sense no yeah it, depending on how you look at it it's the lowest and highest yeah <laughs> but do you think That's it's crazy. because like he gets uh, carried away in sort of a hype wave. So he, what he really enjoys is something new coming out, get it, getting excited for it. It comes out, and then he's experienced the thing, really enjoys it at the time, so it gives it a high score. And then over time, it's when he looks back and it sort of the hype's worn away, and you become more analytical. And so he's gone through it the same. Well, I think what's happened is he's gone through the same arc as a lot of viewers, but this is like his job. Like he's a movie reviewer, so there's almost like an expectation that he would be more on the ball when it comes to figuring out what's going on. He's just gone through the same arc as a lot of, like, Marvel fans have gone through. Like, oh shit, that wasn't very good. When I look back on it, it's like, yeah. But at the time, it's like, you get caught up in the hype cycle, like you said. Yeah, because I, I, I've done that with video games and stuff, so I, I know how it's easily done. You get really excited for it, it's like, yeah, this is a and then mm -hmm. about a weekend, you're like, hang on. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Okay, let's carry on, I suppose. I'll even roll him back <laughs> about it or bring it up and you know i kind of understand the problem to a certain degree how do you follow up the biggest blockbuster of all time well you go bigger original... like you said how can you make this point <laughs> after saying like you gotta go bigger why would you do this and then do this like a film about a dead person you fools mm. also yeah it's not hard to go bigger stakes than endgame they did three times possibly more yeah superhero line original superhero lineup is unavailable we got two dead people joe biden and a couple of guys who don't seem like they really want to be in these movies anymore but yeah but because the projects are shit that's why chris Hemsworth doesn't want to do thor it's like mm. he, he, he's playing a clown character now i'm pretty sure he said like the only way he's coming back is if they change the approach instead of it being the yep. way that it is but I think that the focus has been a little too much on world building and not as much <laughs> on character building <laughs> 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 How can, how can we say that it's focused on world building when he's said the problem is that they don't connect enough? Isn't like world building going to be mainly that? Maintaining continuity from how that we know the world to be and moving it forward? Like, not necessarily all of it, but w w focusing on world building is the problem? Really? Well, it's just, you know, the world building has been so fucking good. Like, That's right, I don't, what is... Yeah, like, I mean... In Black Panther is ape, and that doesn't have Kang, the, the taint of Kang in it. 
and one division is a seven. That's yeah. I, 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 I don't. That has that that just defeats the purpose of his world building argument, isn't it? Was like, the world building in Black Panther two really really good? I guess because of the... no <laughs> no. <laughs> we invented a new undersea kingdom. Yeah, that's that's good will building. I think just around. It's good will building when there's more things and in the also, world, it's, right? It's weird to have like images of what if when you're talking about the world building when what if is like alternate universes and it's mostly character based. On, as I understand it, maybe yeah. he's saying this got it right that it was more about the characters. Oh, no, it right? got it right, even though it got yeah. a six out of ten less yeah. than She Hulk and Multiverse <laughs> of Madness. And <laughs> <laughs> well, I the world building of Multiverse of Madness was fantastic for you. Yeah. And that was really character focused, that film. Yes, I learned a lot about Doctor Strange. Every character that's featured in one of the shows has the same exact character arc. Almost what? all of them. Uh, am I to believe that Miss <sighs> Marvel goes on the same character arc as Moon Knight? A man who has split personalities? I yeah. don't think so. Or, or similarly, that, like, uh, uh, I can't believe Sam Wilson went on the same arc as Wanda. Yeah, because I, I, I'm actually, I almost feel like defending the MCU on this one. It's like, they're not, well, they're not doing the same Hulk. story with all these characters. That's not what's happening. Yeah, it's no. just that all the stories are shit. That's, That's the, the connection, yeah. Yeah, exactly. But has but he let's... even talked about the qualities of anything yet? No, but let's see what he says oh, to justify well. it, because I'm very curious how they are yeah. the same. The shows has the same exact character arc. Almost all of them have been about the main character accepting who they are. And then getting their costume. You mean like the rest That's of the fucking old. movies? I mean, Werewolf by Night doesn't have that fucking problem also, well, and he gave that an 8. But you, can you argue that he's gone so broad, it's like Iron Man 1, it's, it's about a man, man accepting did, who yeah. he is. But he didn't yeah, accept like, who he is, was, he changed is, who he was. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. he changed. Well, but accepting who he this is, is why I'm saying it's, it's so broad that you could be like, by the end, he accepted who he truly is, Rags. Not, you know? so there oh, you go. Oh, yeah. Well, whatever. That's what I mean. Like, the, saying the stories are all about people accepting who they are is so... First of all, that's not a problem. Like, yeah. that... Like, but secondly, like, what? <laughs> yeah. It all depends on how you tell the story and how you execute it. And every fucking story so far that I've watched from Marvel right now is bad. Well, except for Werewolf by Night. Hell, I need to see that. Well, even the shows yeah, about the established do. characters have this same formula. Why this is you in Captain Superman's why... Fortress of Solitude? What? And why is that bad? Why would that be bad? Why are we Cause, saying? Because it relates to oh, everyone knows who they are, and that's not big enough. God damn it! It's I, too is that small. Argument? <laughs> it's too small. Characters is that have the, problem? the same formula. This is how Captain America accepts his role as a superhero and gets his costume. This is how She-Hulk accepts her role as a superhero and gets it's her costume. not a superhero. Well, why is this ba I don't understand why you can't say that about the Phase 1. All of them. How about well, the I'm almost, I'm almost feeling compelled to, like, actually... Because there's nuance to this. Mm -hmm. Like, when it comes to That's Sam Wilson, the video. that he was... You know, if we were doing the steel man in favor of the, of the show, like that his concern was that he didn't feel like he could live up to the mantle, both from the perspective of his interpersonal relationship with Steve, but also the world's expectations of Captain America, couched in the context of a post-blip world, as opposed to what was going on with She-Hulk, which was not that. Whereas, like, much more about whether or not she wanted to do something that she thought was going to disrupt the lifestyle that she wanted to cultivate for herself. Well, yeah, who's like, going to argue She-Hulk? Is like the same, pretty much the same story as Moon Knight, which is pretty much the same story as Hawkeye. Like, I, well, I don't know. That's just that's really that's stupid. His, thing that's to why say. his scores are so. And then know. if someone said, like, "Yeah, I agree," and it's just as bad as Phase One and Two, you know, Ant Man, he's just he's learning to become a hero and accept who he is as a hero. Thor is accepting what he is, who he is as a hero to Earth, and Iron Man is accepting that he's going to become a hero to. It's like it's all the same. I'd be like, "What? No, <laughs> it's not even." You know, you know, it, oh. it kind of sounds like he just has something against origin stories, which yeah. fair enough. There's a lot of them, and sometimes the, it gets to be a bit too much. But that's it's very surface level. Mm -hmm. yeah. They were all this good, you know. Well, yeah, that's the thing. Is this why can't they be good? What's are you saying that doing an origin story, or doing a story where someone learns to be, you're going to have one of them? These are all different Wonder people. Story was not about accepting herself. Was no. about accepting reality, yeah. refusing to accept changing, reality, changing, changing reality, accept reality to fit her. Yeah. yeah. The and idea that you wanted. could look at, like, Wanda's arc and go, yeah, it's the same as She-Hulk's. Like, holy shit. 
I, if he wanted to make this point, the better, I mean, it's, it's not Marvel, but the better thing he could do was to point out that we've now seen Batman's origin story, what, four or five times on the big screen in the past decade? Might be a bit what would too that much. have to do with this though? And that's the thing. Yeah, exactly. That's... It's not. It's not Marvel, but yeah. It's yeah. not even uh, relevant enough in that he's talking about different characters' origins. That would be the same characters, mm -hmm. same origin several times, which I can understand the argument for much more than I can. Being like, I don't want to see another character origin. You're like, okay. I, I mean, mm. I can see it from a point of view that, and to be fair, it was Spider Man that did it for me. I seeing Spider Man three origin stories of the same character. I'm like. I'm fed up. Yeah, no, I get you. <laughs> I'd rather I, I, we just like I said, skip that to the interesting bits from now on. I I understand that argument completely, but like, uh, when it's different, it, like the the idea of like I don't want to see Daredevil's origin because I've already seen Iron Man uh, and Thor's. It'd be like, uh, it, well, like I don't me, want to. See it depends how original Thor's. they are. Yeah, like, well, and, Blue Beetle coming out. Hmm. It's a guy who finds something and gets a new suit and has to learn powers. I've seen that. If it's if it's original and new enough, then yes, I agree. Yeah, um, because well, because that's the thing. I'm almost defending Phase Four as being like. <laughs> They're not all the same. They're just really bad. Mm -hmm. Gets her costume. This is how Wanda does domestic terrorism and gets her costume. And I gave. What did he give Wanda Vision? Uh, <laughs> he gave her uh, seven, 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 seven. Seven out of ten. Oh my god, it's that cosmonaut reduction shit again. Well, no, it's just kind of funny. It's like, damn, that doesn't sound like you thought that was like a seven out of ten show. Yeah. No, not at all. But also, did you think he probably got to the list and was like, oh, "I got to get one division in here. I can't possibly <laughs> fucking argue <laughs> that this is." And it's like, "Well, what are you going to say?" And it's like, uh, she got a costume. You know, that's like the rest of them." Hmm. Yeah, that's I, about right. I think you're giving him. Too, I think you're giving him too much credit. I think he just wrote it off the cuff and what he felt at the moment. For oh, for this rant thing. and for all his rants, do you think he yeah. actually thought that like they were all really similar? And when he got to WandaVision, he was like, "Yeah, it's so similar. Like how she gets her costume is much like the rest of them." Yeah, he he coped he, he coped, coped the logic in in his head. <laughs> Most of these shows acceptable scores, but almost ah, oh, our bonus 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 guest who hello uh, we haven't seen you in a while, hello. buddy. How you doing? Hi, how's everybody doing? I'm good. Out. Talking about Marvel of all things, can you believe it? <laughs> Why would you talk about that? God, this is cool. <laughs> Superheroes years and ago, stuff. We decided foolishly that this would be our job. This would be your thing, and now here you are, years later, and it's still your thing. I know. It's uh, it's like it's not going away for some reason. <laughs> it's not going away. It's just still here. <laughs> <laughs> we thought they would just stop making movies, but they really haven't. And yet, here we are, all mm. this time later. Um. But yeah, if you wanna if you wanna jump in with us, we're just kind of listening to someone's uh, perspective on this whole thing, and so far it's been. Would you call it insightful, everyone? I don't know. Uh, it's it incredible. Is, it's <laughs> it's un it's unsightful. Hmm. Unsightful, boy. It's unsightful. It means we're I'm winning. excited. I haven't done this in a while. I'm ready. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm ready to hear some really good arguments. The funny thing is, well, this is the less less oh. painful side of all of this because once once we're done with him we're going over to uh someone else who they mm. he's he's killed guests before the the friend of the, friend of the channel friend of the good friend of the channel <laughs> friend of the show <laughs> good <laughs> friend of the show whoever could it be mm -hmm. hmm. i guess we'll find out all righty roll him back a little bit if you Carry on. now you're a pussy I gave most of these shows acceptable scores but almost none oh. of them have left a lasting impression on me and oh, so maybe you should have thought of that. Uh, well, uh, the, 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 big, the, the relevant Miss question there is like, so what? What has that prompted in you in terms of like a reflection? What on, use on is your fucking coverage? It's like I said, well, you're grading candy, what are, and you never realized. Oh yeah, that's right. Learned. Next week, I'll feel shit. What are the Wait, lessons so you've learned that you're going to take forward in your future analysis of like Marvel films? Of hmm, it's kind of weird. Like I gave all of them pretty decent scores, but like I don't really like any of them much, or at least they haven't left a lasting impact. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, there's no retrospective going on here about like wow, like most of these maybe there really will be regs. Liked and thought were good. Oh, maybe that's true. there will that's be. Yeah, maybe it's, that's maybe it's true. coming up. Maybe we've jumped the gun here. Mm. You have to grade Me his scores like a car. The moment he says them, they've already de devalued about 50%. Once, it, <laughs> once his video drives off the lot, it's like 40% less than what it was five minutes ago. Yeah, I was going to say, like, he control he control ate all his reviews and deleted it, it feels like, with that statement. Yeah, a little bit. Uh... What, I'm, am I echoing? What, what? I think that was me. I think that was me. Uh, oh, okay. I'm, I'm sorry. 
I'm keeping an eye on the fine, levels fine. as well, chat. Let me know if anyone's too loud or too quiet. I'll keep moving them around. It's all good. These are all the same show except for Loki and I don't what <laughs> all the same show except but Loki. No, how is one division and fucking Falcon the Winter Soldier the same? How? Or is he or is he gonna say that one division wasn't the same as these? Is that what he's about he to say? He likes it. That's well no, he just said Loki wasn't the same. It. Oh, yeah, Loki's sure. Is highest, isn't it? Oh, hang on, I'll roll him back. But almost none of them have left a lasting impression on me. These are all the same show except for Loki and WandaVision, which yeah, are my favorite. But that's. Thought. We've already. That's a lot of them. <laughs> There's not that many shows. <laughs> like, So we're saying Hawkeye, Falcon the Winter Soldier, and She Hulk are the same. And even then, it's like, I think these suck, but I don't think they're the same show. They've How got the a lot of same, like, broad beats, but damn. Falcon the Winter Soldier, he gave a 5, but She-Hulk, he gave a 7, but they're the same. Yeah, does he think that She-Hulk, She-Hulk, he can't believe, like, has the same broad structure as, like, the six episode ones? That's what I mean. How how could you watch Falcon the Winter Soldier and be like, man, this is just like She-Hulk? <laughs> and what? the thing is, something that, something that I'm finding annoying is, like, there is something to expound upon when it comes to, like, the similarity, because it's like... You know, first episode, second, third, fourth, fifth, six. You can see, like, a lot of similar beats that are getting here, right? Like, by episode six, they get their costume. Gets teased usually in the episode before. They got their big final battle. Yeah. Um, the penultimate episode is usually some big revelation late in an episode, whether it's, like, flashbacks or, like, you know, some crazy, like, uh, good guy's a bad guy now. sequence. Like, yeah, something like that. Usually, like, the fourth episode ends with some, like, low point, like, the second act low point. Like, there's a lot of, like, similar beats that you can point out. But, like... It, it would be more useful to point out those similarities and the problems there if you weren't just saying that they were like the same show broadly. Well, she Fuck, I didn't even remember. A comedy. Moon Knight. Funny, but... How is Moon Knight the same as Falcon Winter Soldier, the same as She Hulk? What the fuck? Mm -hmm. I don't even like these shows. Yeah. <laughs> they don't <laughs> smell the same. No. He and WandaVision, which are my favorites. They're very fun and creative. And honestly, so the ones he liked. Are, fun are, and are totally yeah. different. Mm -hmm. yeah, it was that I like these two. They're totally different, unique, wonderful diamonds in the rough, but everything else. <laughs> I'll give it to, to him. Loki is pretty creative in how it fucking annihilated the MCU. So <laughs> I would never have guessed. Yeah, I would. I couldn't have ever come up with that. My heart and brain wouldn't have allowed me. Going but where no writers have gone before. Yeah. If I had to pick one thing from Phase 4, I think Loki overall stands as the best project. The Wait, but... Oh yeah, I guess it is according to his writings, yeah. 8.5 he gave Loki. I can't believe that. God damn. That's a 1. It literally <laughs> well, ruins it a one. It, it uh, ruins everything. Michael Waldron's output is well, among the highest rated stuff that he... I want to remind everyone that when... When Mr. Waldron was writing it, he wanted to get good guy Loki. The problem is he'd snatched evil, most evil Loki from Avengers. He was like, hmm, how do I do that? Well, I'll have evil Loki watch all of good guy Loki's history in the form of a literal fucking video, like the MCU. He just watches it, and that fast forwards him to being good guy Loki. Well, it wasn't just that. I mean, essentially, this guy's giving him a point for every time he got kicked in the balls. So every one of those was a teaching moment. <laughs> I see. So you got that plus him watching the MCU. That's called character growth. That'll work. It of course wouldn't <laughs> have actually resulted in him becoming incredibly angry that he would ever have like been so weak. That wouldn't have been a Loki reaction. Of course he would have instead been been crying while watching it. That that that's that's the Loki from Avengers. That's the guy I remember. It makes yep. total sense. He's just he's just one reel away from crying. Then you have. Girl Loki, who taught herself magic at the age of six and beat the TVA somehow. Remember that shit? Yep. She just gets away. I, uh, she's on the run forever. That's not even to mention all the crazy nonsense with how the TVA and the timelines work. And then, of course, what they did with the Infinity Stones. It's like, oh, what a disaster of a TV show. And they're making a second season. I mean, they'll never know what you sacrificed to them. That was the best <laughs> line. <I'm not> sure. <laughs> A thing that I think is legitimately good, and I've grown to appreciate more as time goes on. Because it's so weird how he says this one's legitimately good, and it's like, are you saying that the other ones you said were good aren't legitimately good? They're, They're just not, good. Yeah. Mm. Wait, wait. I might have he, rated he, them highly, but I was very wrong. Yeah, he gave One Division a seven, which he liked, and is screaming over. And he gave Shang Chi the same grade. And Why does he? And She Hulk. Yeah, yeah. yeah she -Hulk. She -Hulk. 
Yeah. Yeah, she helped and Doctor Strange. Yeah, she Doctor Strange is better in his in his weird grading system. You have to understand, he was so, talking just about the TV shows right now for some reason. Yeah, well, but oh, is is it okay, all recency fair. bias then? Right? Well, Loki's it, not I even saw this and I love that recent. Now, Loki's no, but ones. Loki's the only thing he's saying. He's saying Loki's the only thing that isn't that. So is right. all of his stuff just recency bias? No, um, um, the well, most but, recent one is Werewolf by Night, and that's an eight in his grade, and that's a TV show also. Like, like a right, but will he hate that one in a few years because it's not as good as Loki? Well, that's what Mario is saying, right? Is that the, the oh, okay. sweet, like Wakanda Forever? Right, that was one of the most recent ones, and that got super high rating. I think I think there is no sense to be made because Black Widow yeah. got a five on its release. <laughs> but but I'm trying. <laughs> but I'm trying. Yeah. And wasn't Thor after She Hulk? Uh, Thor by like a month or so. I yeah. think he's yeah. just yeah. retarded. Good, <laughs> and I've grown to appreciate more as time goes on because this is what I want more of. Flesh out a character. Please no more this of Loki. Flesh, please. This is fleshing out a character, and it's definitely not destroying basically the entirety of completely all the rewrote and the character that came before it. Remember, yeah. this is the show that took free will away from <laughs> everybody in the MCU, and that was before mm -hmm. She Hulk took it away from them and again. This was before She Hulk did it even more. <laughs> that we Jesus. actually care about. Give us creative concepts. Introduce new characters but that are really likable, and do. Th there's your what, advice, what MC Ryers. Introduce likeable. new characters that are likable. There you go. Solved. Something they struggle with. As though, as though their intention this whole time was to introduce characters everyone hates. <laughs> like, this might work. That says a lot about the writers, though. If <laughs> yeah. these are the people they like. <laughs> You're like, wow. Well, the, what are your friends like? What does it say about Cosmodor's view of the writers if his advice to them is like, make likable characters? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> write stories that are good. <laughs> right, write fun, creative <laughs> stories. That's oh, one-on-one -on -one so... stuff, man. To write a book. <laughs> this is some top-notch advice. All of that write a in book a way full that of words. matters in the overarching plot that you're trying to establish. I never thought in a million years that the Loki spin-off show would be one of my favorite MCU entries, but... Uh, or to die. I, I, I thought it had some potential. I never expected it to be what it was. Mm. The point where I would have enjoyed more if they made less movies and less shows and just worked extra hard on the ones that they put out. What you're trying to say is, if they were better, I'd like them more. <laughs> that, that's, not, that's what he just said. Yeah. I'm not, he's, he's acting as if, if you cut some of these off, the others would magically improve. Yeah, well, they but won't. <laughs> they're such a massive company. It's not the same people working on all of these things. So the writers of one aren't suddenly going to improve if you just fire them. <laughs> like the other one. Oh, yes, so yes, but, people, but, the, but if they were better, it. if they were better, they would be more liked. Don't you agree with that? We're going to get more talented because there's less people in the company <laughs> than before. <laughs> they aren't working on Black Widow anymore, therefore Shang-Chi will now be better. You're like, <laughs> what? Talent is zero sum across the universe. As long as some people aren't <laughs> using it, other people inherit it. Because not only has the storytelling taken... By the way, for the record, they I completely agree they should be taking more time on their projects, but what he's... What he seems to be highlighted is like balked in terms of like it automatically becomes better if they simply didn't have more projects. Mm. All of them could have like been good sliders. if they all had more time. Mm -hmm. Because not only has the storytelling taken a hit, but the movies and shows just look worse now too. They've been working their artists to the bone to He's going to show insane... the Thor clip. Of course. I think this is the volume rather than anything else. Well, it's it's a bad integration of it, right? A bad use of it. Like uh, no special effect is just automatically looking amazing. You have to like you know, use it like a tool. I'm sure there's some stuff you can automate and there'll be more things to automate as you go on that won't be noticed, but they th they seem to think volume can just be relied upon like that when it still needs to be integrated properly. What I mean I is if they were on a green screen and you put that same graphic on a green screen, I think the green screen would look better. I think there's something hmm. about the volume that doesn't look realistic. That, like, um, well, I don't know I, I don't, whether it's depth of field or something, there's something off that your brain rejects. I think um, the problem is you look at like Mandalorian season one that used the volume. It's like, damn, that's like a good looking show. Like a lot. It's all like, sand though. <laughs> Not uh, all of it. Well, <laughs> I'm okay, most of Mandalorian was sand. And I'm pretty sure they used it in season two, and season two was all right as well in terms of like a look. And uh, I'm not sure if this is like green screen or volume. Um, it is always going to be like down to the tool around right at the end of the day.
It's yeah, well, what it's worth, though. The use of the tool, sorry. Not like, the Mandalorian tool Season 3 is distinctly uglier than the first two, and it's oh, like, so what happened if they're using the same tools? It's like, well, it's likely they got rushed. That's that's the assumption. Yep. They didn't get enough time right, to integrate it. And properly. I actually agree with the argument here, right? Which is that that they do look worse. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Uh, but I don't think that if they suddenly had more time or more staff or or whatever to work on VFX, that somehow the writing would get better, which is what he's exactly. he's connected yeah. here. And I, I think that's not I, correct I, at all. I assume he's just he's doing not. a sidebar for, uh, for the effects in general. Like, uh, I, uh, this is a very common talking point at this point. Uh, yep. Deadlines, and it shows in the final product. Every aspect of these projects feels rushed. The storytelling is aimless and only works to set up individual sequels. The character development is in service of eventually shoving these characters. Wait, do you think this about all the ones, including the ones you gave 8.5? Right, what was he about to say? Gotta the same that the one future. back and let. And the visuals. I thought. Are dookie. I thought they, gonna... they weren't connected enough. But like what? Is... what... Oh, that looks <sighs> awful. So like he thinks that Loki is like doing a real good job of. Setting up everything, I guess. Like with Kang, you must think that, yeah. Oof. It only works to set up individual sequels. The character development is in service of eventually shoving these characters onto the same team in the future. I and the I thought the problem was that the stories were too isolated. Yeah, isn't yeah. that what he just said applies to like phase one? It's like all those movies did was set up the characters to join a team at the end of it. It's like, yeah. Please make up your mind. Is that bad? <laughs> like, I don't understand anymore. Visuals are dookie because we got to pump out seven projects. That looks awful. He really does. In a year. <laughs> I, I thought this was a joke movie of her show at first. It's a TV like, show, that one. Maybe yeah, that's, that's why it looks that it, way. I thought it was a joke movie. <laughs> I really did. When I first showed, a friend of me showed the, the scene where the rock is hitting everybody in the, the first like um the first episode. I, I thought it was absolutely just made up. <laughs> it's so bad looking. They released it on April 1st. Everyone's like, wait. <laughs> I just like this. They, they looked at this April scene. 1st, so they have a back door. That they they can looked at this scene and everyone hates it. They looked Seven at this scene and thought, well, she can carry the next Captain Marvel movie. <laughs> yep. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. In a year. I said back when Endgame came out that I wouldn't have been upset if the MCU took a break for a while. And I think most people would have been fine with that too. But it did. It took we... a whole, it was gone. Like there were no MCU films for like nearly two years. Well, it's not long enough. They should have taken a break okay. forever. Mm. Got the exact opposite. It is definitely a case of quantity over quality. And luckily- But you- You've given like, several quality like ratings. Ser yeah! Oh my god. Oh More my god. I, my, I don't guys, understand. This just, guys, this is just reinforcing my take that his takes are retarded, so... Just you don't... know, the nice thing about watching one of Cosmo's videos is that even though I'm coming in halfway through, I know he's just going to repeat everything for the next several minutes, so I'm yeah, still going to get fine. the full experience. <laughs> mm-hmm. I think Marvel knows that now. The lukewarm overall reception of Phase 4 has definitely caught their eye. They recently stated that they're going to be pushing back a lot of the shows and movies that were planned for- You know what caught their eye? It was the fucking box office numbers. That's what yeah. caught their eye. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This year. It's no surprise any... that- Wait, wait. I have a question, guys. Do you, do you know the numbers of Disney Plus people? Have people unsubscribed from Disney Plus? Like all of their numbers? No. What like you... What we do know, though, is that they rushed season two of Loki, and they've not said much of anything about the continuation of any of the other shows. So it's like, oh, so the rest um, of them did um, shit. Loki did well. I'm well, pretty sure we some of their Disney Plus subscribers. I'm, I'm sure they lost two million in one quarter at one point. They lost a lot, yeah. And they've lost a lot I'm of employees. Class, uh... They've lost a lot of money. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yikes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, they lost 2.4 million subscribers in one quarter when they That's planned to lay up to 7,000 employees. That's all. Holy shit. That, that, that is a lot, yeah. <laughs> Dude, you know what I want to see? I can't wait for February 16th of 2024 to see Untitled Movie. It's going to be so fucking cool. <laughs> <laughs> and ironically, if it's like a meta thing, <laughs> yeah. it's called Untitled, Untitled Movie. movie. <laughs> Uh, so looking at those, though, <laughs> are any of them even remotely exciting to you? I, like, I'm kind of interested in Blade, but I think maybe that's just like a fondness for Wesley Snipes, right? I just like, see how bad it is. So, yeah, the 2000 movie? Yeah. yeah. Like, being completely honest, it's Guardians. Uh, I don't even think Daredevil would pull me back in because I don't, I don't believe in that project. Like, mm. Me either. I'm, uh, it's Guardians, and that's it. <laughs> so I, I might be a boomer here, I guess, you but... Maybe you you recall like like Netflix of let's say ten years ago or fifteen years ago, 
where there wasn't this need to constantly push new shows to the front page all the time. And they're just like, hey, remember all the shows that you watch from like the 1950s till now? Well, they're all in one place. Yeah. That was a winning formula. Wow. That was, that so was a nice moment is, of history. It was brief. The thing yeah. is, though, like if Netflix didn't start doing original shows, like that, they probably wouldn't be around like anymore. Like they need those original shows because like they don't have a monopoly on the library of like third party streaming content anymore. Yeah, they lost a bunch of IPs, right? Because then the, the people well, that were you know, renting them out were like, like, we got our own fucking yeah, exactly. streaming services to do. So they actually, like, making a bunch of their own original stuff was probably the right call. Yeah, Stranger mm. Things was well, like I mean, a it, it was right call. It, it was the right call in the short term, I, I do think so. But I think now right look call. at it where... Well, I, I guess, I mean, maybe, maybe. It's just the, the, way, I'm, the way I'm looking at it is, like, there, there's a lot of these streaming services that are just, they're, they're kind of floundering right now. They're losing a lot of money. And they're saying, "Oh, we, we got to make content to put it on the to put on the streaming service. Someone, someone will, will uh, actually sign up for this." And that just means that they're just pumping shit, and no one's subscribing to you know, eighteen different streaming services. It it really just seems like the better option for everyone to to remain at least to, so that everyone gets some money rather than rather than everyone losing a bunch of money is you, you have Netflix and everyone licenses their shows to Netflix. And they want to okay. be Netflix, all and of them Disney, do. Disney wants yeah. their own proprietary, yeah, they want their own streaming oh, service yeah. to make a bunch of money. Yeah. Oh, I, I know that, but I think it's just a, it's a, it's a bad idea. It's going to blow up in their faces. I, I mean, uh, that's probably where you're going to end up eventually. I mean, that they are going face, anyway. to have to merge at some point. It's just going well, to yeah, But then budgets stay, will right? decline and everything. You'll end up with yeah, we overall. Rise of Netflix, and then copycats, and then people who are trying to actually give a, like Disney and Amazon and stuff, pushing real hard to get their successful, and all these different IPs being split all over the place, loads of original shows being poured out on all of them. Eventually, the battle will be over. Sure, At it's just point, a question of whether or not, somewhere. you know, Netflix is willing to pay more than the number of, of subscribers that you could potentially get. Disney, on the other hand, has, you know, quite a reach. <laughs> There's a reason well, why they're willing to keep doing yeah. this, right? Like, the, just from uh, a business standpoint, it makes sense. Yes. Yeah, like it's, Disney it's, and um, Amazon could both lose money for a while and just keep trying to make it work. Well, because so, they see, like, long-term growth. It's it's complicated because I'm pretty sure that like Netflix spends a lot of money on original programming, like a huge a amount, lot, huge amount, amount billions, is, like, insane, an insane amount of money. But I'm also pretty sure that Disney is like losing billions of dollars on like Disney Plus, um, and they they bought like a whole major studio for like seventy billion dollars. Mm. Like I don't know, if they, I don't know if they got like infinite amount of money that they can just spend forever, you know. But it's like Amazon. pretty close to infinite. If any company is mm. going to be close to infinite money, right? Are we like, sure the thing about is, that when it comes to Disney at the moment, it's like about it's like a, they'll have bean counters that can see the bleed and they can tell Disney like when this will become a problem, and that's already a problem. You know what I mean? Well, like, I mean they, they've had to lay off thousands of employees. Yeah, right? if they like, say like we'll go bankrupt if we continue this in 2028 or something, then they'd be like, "Fuck, we're in trouble. Like we need to do something now. We need to we need to change the whole thing now." Yeah, Disney's yeah. being supported by the parks. Amazon's being supported by the. Um, they've Deliveries. got Amazon Prime. If you buy Amazon well, Prime, you buy more the product yeah, and stuff. Exactly. So the, yeah. but they're all trying to spin the books in one way or another to yeah. make it seem more successful than they are. Well, that's another thing that I've heard recently is that they're probably going to be stopping Twitch Prime soon, right? Because it's just a fucking money sink. For, uh... People have said that for a few years. Not well, I've yet. heard it from a couple people yeah. more recently and more aggressively. I'm curious if it but, means anything. But, but they, with regards to Twitch, they did just have the CEO leave, and all of a sudden, instantly, everything started to have new policies. So I would, I would take anything that was, you know, more than a month old to be maybe bad news at this point. Because as soon as the CEO left, everything seems to have changed. They introduced a whole bunch of stuff that he said they would never do. Uh, it, it I mean, even, even the ad the... CPMs went up significantly from their $3 CPM. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Twitch is, Twitch is, yeah. Twitch is a no, weird also... situation because like, like you, could, you could take away Twitch Prime subs, but then Twitch is dead. That's the only mm. reason people still use that site. Twitch, yeah, and well, Twitch the, is the dying. Other issue, it is the other dying, issue yeah. they had was that they used to be like some kind of aspirational thing that smaller streamers had, that if you reached a certain point, you got a higher subs subscriber split, and now it's just 50%. Yeah, forever. that's gone. Doesn't matter yeah. how big you are. Yeah, that and was yeah, the big first step. That's got a think. lot of big people off. Yeah. Yeah, as soon as they I, were I, like, no, you're not getting you're not getting your 70, 80%. Oh, I'm going to well, get 50% it's... like I'm nothing, you know? It's not so many That's people I know somebody too. have moved from Twitch to YouTube or to the like Kick and Rumble or two of the new ones. Like, but there's also people who get forced to move from Twitch. It's like mm -hmm. Twitch, 
you need to really roll down on the amount of people you're pushing off the platform right now. You need to not be doing yeah. that. You can't afford to do that. <laughs> I, yeah. I, I, I don't know. If... No... I'm sorry. You... No, go ahead, they, go ahead. We also saw them no longer doing the, the talent acquisition stuff because for a few years there, we saw them paying huge bucks to people to keep them on the platform. And then they just, they just stopped doing that. And all of those people immediately left. Yep. Yep. I, uh, I knew somebody who worked at Twitch, maybe nine years ago or so he worked there for a few years and he moved on and i heard a bunch of stories from him um and some of it was that like they used to oh god there was there was a, a ninja turtles game that a ninja turtles sorry movie that came out like 10 years ago or so i, I forget exactly when but twitch was paying streamers like a thousand dollars two thousand dollars just to do a stream of turtles related content because they were paid by the movie studio that shit doesn't happen anymore there's no That's more brand back, deals on Twitch. Actually. Is it coming back now? Okay. Yeah, uh, it was gone they for had the time. bounty board, and they're now expanding the bounty board. Uh, it's, it's weird because there was a big uproar about it, as if you're stealing my money. It's like, no, they're now, they want to act more like an agency where they go out and get sponsors and then expand it so that they sort of get the terms for a load of streamers and you just sign up and do the stream and they deal with the agency right. and take a cut. So Okay, okay. Well, well it's good that I was going that back because there were some streamers that made some pretty good money off that. Mm -hmm. um, also, I know this isn't a political fat, but there is a political component to it where the insides of Twitch are definitely leaning in one direction politically, and they have no problem being biased in how they ban people. And for a while, I guess you can do that and maintain the healthier platform because if you're if you just you know if you have your your finger on the ban button, you're good. But eventually you get to a tipping point where you've banned so many people and so many pe and like even not people who aren't like political extremists, just people you don't like. When, when you get to that point, your the health of your platform starts to rapidly decline. At least as soon as the audience feels that it is that way. Right? Yeah, well, it, it'll come if down fast. If you're getting rid of people for political reasons and nobody notices, right? but as soon as that becomes the, the connotation amongst the audience, once we look at that and we go, oh, it's a political website. It, it's it's mm. not even that they're, they're going way too censorship heavy uh for anything they've started well, yeah, banning say... emotes with just like an an l because somebody could use your emote to go into another stream and say l and that might offend people and so they've just banned all well, you've got that on every channel and then you've got their incredibly lax and downright retarded uh things on copyright where they're letting streamers just stream tv shows that, that that's like a bomb <laughs> waiting to go off mm -hmm. yeah you think like, yeah, it and music down that's on, still there. that's actually something that'll kill you. Well, I mean, what else are you supposed to do when you're hungry, company. man? <laughs> <laughs> it's true. He's living. Some um, people they just live paycheck to paycheck. You know, they can't. Was, uh... I was watching a, a Chud Logic stream the other day, and I was so proud of him. He was like, "I need to go have some food," and he put on one of his own videos. I was like, "Ah, oh, you did it! You've done it! You've, yeah, you've beaten yeah. the." The algorithm <laughs> like you didn't have to put <laughs> yeah, on someone I, else's yeah like i i do that too I, I have a setup where whenever i go on break it just plays like like best of clips that, of stuff that i've done so it's not yeah. just stealing somebody else's stuff yeah that's, that's all you have to do you didn't even um, die still alive <laughs> I, <laughs> I guess um, any day now you know it'll kick in I, I i guess when it comes to twitch it's just that you know, I don't know if you guys recall you know the whole d live thing PewDiePie went over to d live for a year and it was a big deal then d live kind of died um yeah, I do remember. There, there, there really wasn't, and, and no one, no one over at Twitch took that seriously because they just thought, "Oh, we're the kings," and then D Live died. So they're like, "Yes, we are the kings." And I think there's actually a lot of false confidence at Twitch right now because Rumble is actually growing, unlike D Live, and Kick is actually growing, unlike D Live. And I think, I think the success of those platforms are going to uh, basically uh, like blindside them. Well, they care less about Kick because Kick is Twitch. Uh, it's using the Twitch service to just provide essentially a clone yeah, yeah, using the same yeah. service, AWS. That money, apart from what I've heard, um, goes to Twitch itself because hmm. it's IWS, so it doesn't go to does Amazon. That. So it's essentially subsidizing Twitch at the moment. So I'm not sure they'd, um, they'd even mind. But if every viewer went across, they'd just be raking in fees. So I, I'm not sure if that's the case because, from what I understand, um, Trainwreck. Well, I don't think he, I don't think he did, he did this knowingly, but somebody on Trainwreck's team made kick out of that. Uh, that Twitch leak from a couple of years ago. Do you recall that? That like a bunch of their no, the using 2000... the um, oh, I forgot. Sure? Is, is it IWS? Yeah, Twitch offers a service which basically lets you use Twitch code and Twitch servers, and it's AWS. It's essentially the same platform. It, this is um, because when Amazon bought Twitch, they bought it for this. They bought it for the back end for the um, like right. the structure of the servers and everything, which then they used into other platforms. 
but this has always okay. been a service they provide. Any like you could spin up your own Twitch now using that service. That's why See, it looks I so haven't similar. heard that before. I mean, it's possible. I, I don't know. I mean, it, it sounds actually like something that Amazon would do. What I heard is that there was that uh, that leak of Twitch's back end from like 2011 that came out a couple of years ago, and that basically they took that and then built a Twitch clone. That, that's the story I heard. But who knows? Well, we will. I, mean, I think. <laughs> I think we've sorry, seen sorry about that. that that mixer right proved that it doesn't matter how much money you have to throw at this though, right? Like there's there's more. Oh yeah, because mixer died. Uh, it died right. even and it had in, you know Microsoft <laughs> yeah, yeah, money. Ninja, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I like mixer because it gave Ninja a vacation from Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> it convinced him to go away. <laughs> it just, yeah, they just gave him money. Then he comes back to Twitch like even richer. So thirty million dollars richer. I'd do that yeah, too. Yes. Like yep. <laughs> Yep. That is fucking crazy. He got that back. And I can't believe there are videos like, has Ninja fallen off? No, he won. What are you he won. About? He doesn't care. Yeah. 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 <laughs> He's got Where $30 million dollars in the bank. He doesn't need to stream it. He won yeah. the game of playing games yeah. and making won. money. Yeah, yep. what do you mean he fell off? He fucking, he's just, he's just essentially gonna stream Like a something. golden mansion, like he fell off. It's like yeah. a MySpace guy who sold MySpace you know, for a gajillion dollars. Like, uh, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, he yeah. just tours the world. Is gone. <laughs> and she and he, 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 now he, he, he like, created a yeah. scratch and living in a golden house. <laughs> so you know you I know the, my, the, the, mines, the, the MySpace guy, like, boats around the world and, like, trolls Mark Zuckerberg. It's like, yeah, you won, but look what I'm doing. Right, yeah. Yeah, it's not even human though, so there's that's not no fair. joy there. Yeah, it's like he, you definitely won. <laughs> so, yeah. I could see your face and your meta Mark, stuff. Oh. Mark Zuckerberg is genuine. It feels like at this point, Mark Zuckerberg feels like there he has brain problems because he keeps pushing VR tech. When I think it it's chat AI thing that's going to take over, not not a headset that you have to put on to do stuff you do IRL already, so it's it, it feels stupid where he is right now. Well, we'll see how it all shake out, but he he obviously thinks that that is the future and that he's packing shit tons into it. Um, yeah, it's literally the future I, I think... though. Like I think fifty years from now, not not yes, not tomorrow future. Like I don't know, man. Anyway. I think we're like five years away from robot girlfriends. Oh hell yeah! I mean, <laughs> well, <laughs> robot <laughs> cells rise up. Oh. That was the Robo whole cells. strategy. It was cyber, cyber cells. Finally, the, the, the strategy was always find you something wanna, that's you guys expensive want some of that to do. Cybussy? Yes, I find something that's expensive support. to do now that you think will be popular in ten years, but will also be cheaper. And so you get all the market share, and then you become profitable in ten years. That's his aim. This is hope. Yeah, mm, let's hope so. But we'll see. Anyway, so I, I, I think. Oh. I was gonna keep going on the tangent. You want to the video? Yeah, that was, that was a fun tangent, though. So. Go ahead, Dev. What do you want to say? Okay, okay. So I think what ultimately killed D Live and killed Mixer is the fact that they spent their money on one big name. I'm I sure agree. It made Pot. No, yes. I super agree. A hundred percent. They paid all that money for for Ninja, a and they guy. paid all that money for PewDiePie when they could have got. 10,000 mid-level guys for the exactly. same price. And it would have been a livable wage for We're them, too. Mid, like, mid-mid yep. or cosmic. Yeah, well, mid. when you say mid... <laughs> <laughs> well, like, like, guys who have, like, like maybe, Damn. like, 50 to 500 viewers. So, like, guys who could take off, but they haven't yet. They're not just streaming to nobody. You get guys like that, pay them all, you know, maybe, like, $100,000 to stream on their, on their uh, platform for a year. They can now live comfortably for one year. And now you have an like an entire booming middle class of creators on your platform, rather than just one streamer. So you have like PewDiePie or you have Ninja. Everyone watches them. When they're done their stream, everyone leaves. They leave. Yeah, we saw that with exactly. Mixer, right? Like they did not keep yeah. the 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 viewership. Uh, people would come and they'd watch Ninja stream and then immediately leave, and there was no yeah. follow on because no one's like, wow, I wonder who else is on this crazy fucking platform. Oh yeah, that's yes. right, no one. Back to Twitch. Yeah. <laughs> You know, yeah. I mean, imagine if they gave you guys, you know, 120 grand to go stream for a year on there. That, you know, not a, a small amount of money that could convince you to leave YouTube but potentially for a competing platform. And if you had done that, right, you would have brought maybe viewers who would want to see other things. And we didn't see that at all. So, yeah, I 100% I agree. You're just right on the, the nail, man. Right on the nail. Yeah. Right I, on I, I think... I think Kick and Rumble are learning that lesson because they are going to mid-level people and offering them like smaller contracts. 
So hopefully we'll actually get some competition. You need that, and, and you need the first. destruction of the platforms that are currently. You need to offer better things, and you need you need Twitch to be bleeding at the time to really help take over. People need to be like disenfranchised almost. Um, I think that's in a permanent state of Twitch, though. Yeah, tw tw I Twitch's reputation is really bad. Um, People yeah, used to shit on been. YouTube and Twitch, <laughs> but is. yeah, people used to shit on YouTube and Twitch, but at this point, people are like, well, I mean, YouTube isn't anywhere near as fucking annoying as Twitch, so. It's kind of well, the interesting better. thing, if yeah, you talk YouTube, to YouTube Twitch is... streamers specifically, they they look at YouTube streaming as if it's some abhorrent thing, chat's awful, everything about it's terrible, and it's like, have you, do you actually watch any YouTube streams? Because you, you're not <laughs> describing the reality that I see, but they have that image in their mind of, I guess, maybe it's what YouTube used to be a few years ago. I'm telling you, I can't undervalue at all the ability to draw back the stream a little bit or to wherever you want and then go to live again. Like, that shit's great. Mm. Um, yeah, I can't things. imagine. I catch streams after they start sometimes. I'm like, oh, I, I want to watch it from the beginning. I don't mind if I'm off sync by Draw it back times two and eventually minutes, catch it up. Yeah. Yep. And like, huh. That's why um, I, was quite, I was quite interested by the uh, Adam and Stitch's rule of they don't watch videos on times two because there'll be people who are times twoing them in the future and that'll make the video times four which will be almost impossible to hear yeah. wow. i watch everything on youtube at times those two. are some smart yeah so do i so do i yeah. i think i said on adam and such ones that i i can watch times three but only if i hyper focus on it but uh, times two tough, is my default yeah, yeah. Yeah. We're planned for this year. It's no surprise that all of the shows that nobody cared about have been postponed to further notice, which I am so thankful for, because I really could not muster up any excitement for the Echo spin-off show. And the thing is, I complain so much. Yeah, yeah agreed. Mean, but uh, like, yeah. yeah. Much. But I wonder why <laughs> would I you like say that, right? Why would, why would you say that? <laughs> After that last 10 15 minutes of things to talk about, yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, we're probably good. Here we go. <laughs> Show. And the thing is, I complain so much because I like the MCU. I get that with each passing year, that is becoming an increasingly why? unpopular statement. Why, though? You know, yeah. why is that happening? Hmm. It's, it's just funny because I already know you like it. Like, that's why it's hard for you to make this video because you're like everyone hates it and it's bad. Hmm. <laughs> like, this vi he spent the last seven minutes saying it's bad. I know. He's yeah. he's got the the brain whims where it's like, but I yeah. enjoy the colors and the flying and the and the people doing the things. I loved Loki, but it is bad. And you're like, wait, you got some squaring away to do there. <laughs> <laughs> he's read but his I comment section and thinks maybe I, I should throw some red meat out there. Yeah. I think it's fine to enjoy these movies and enjoy other movies as well. What a, what a controversial what? statement. <laughs> like, what? <Nice> brown table. <laughs> I think it's fine to enjoy these movies. It and is to okay enjoy to other enjoy movies. Some Calm part. down, it's dude. He's <laughs> biting commentary hey, from What Cosmonaut. the fuck is that? Guys, what is happening? This is like, oh my god. <laughs> Maybe I could watch two movies a year. <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> Yeah, like, like, <laughs> slow down. There, there, there are time, there are times in which you can attach moral weight to consuming or not consuming a product based on other real life things happening. This is not one of those. No, times. this is not, the MCU. Oh, no. like, <laughs> you, I, I just find that statement. You can like this in other films. The f <laughs> you yeah, in a vacuum, right? We're really? saying something master. here. You wouldn't say that just in a vacuum. You wouldn't just say that. Yes. <laughs> Please, you wouldn't. Uh, I can only watch John Wick franchises from now until the end of the decade. It They're reminds me of... of okay, I don't even know how old this meme is, but you have the right to enjoy The Last Jedi. Like, that's you. Uh, it's built uh, into the concept right. of fucking two shit, okay? ...statement, but I think it's fine to enjoy these movies and enjoy other movies as well. But as such, <laughs> I kind of oh, also... Oh, oh, oh. Another I think I do, wow. <laughs> even the second time through. <laughs> yeah, I think this is the part of the... <laughs> this is the part of the video where he's like, it, I, I shat on everything you love, audience, but it's okay. You, you can like it. Well, but he shat yeah, on everything like, he I'm likes. Talking to his audience, like, like, yeah, what, yeah. Oh, oh, you, yeah, you yeah, find yeah, people right. where they're like, really big, massive fans of Harry Potter, yeah, like, right. can you please read another book? He's like, just, so, just, I want to talk about something else that isn't Marvel. Please go and watch another movie. <laughs> so, so he shat on it. And then he's swimming in it, basically. 
<laughs> he shot the smooth for the big my career. Please watch something else. <laughs> movies as well but as such i kind of also want the movies to be better too many people are like oh well they're just marvel movies they don't need what to does be that amazing. mean better uh, well i i, like, I am that? confident He's i am confident that he has said something similar to that before uh that well that the marvel movies they don't need to be like some great thing you know well basically they're marvel movies for everything that could be implied from that in terms of like, eh, well, I mean, yeah, maybe they're not like high art or whatever, but shut up. Like kind of that the kind of cosmonaut law, like if every makes a single statement, he's contradicted it before, 100%. Mm. But I mean, like, even when you talk about fast food, you, you, you could still go, well, yeah, but it could be better. Of even course, if you yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. The reason I don't like, yeah, go to could fast food this is burger. because it's shit. If it was good, I might actually go there. I might give them my money in exchange for delicious food if it was delicious. <laughs> I'll regret. Yeah. Oh my God. Also, Moriarty, you're right. He's just repeating himself. He's been repeating himself. This is what he did the last time I was on. <laughs> this is, I broke my brain it's, last time I was here. He's trying to get to 10 minutes. Only, Leave him alone. It's yeah. only 10 minutes. Only he only needs minutes. to get to 8. So really, there's like three <laughs> minutes of content in this video. Yes, every time. That's very generous of and you, And he's just going to say A, and then B, That's and me. then I'm B, generous. and then C, and then he's going to repeat it. And then he's going to contradict it. People are like, oh, well, they're just Marvel <laughs> movies. They don't need to be amazing. And I'm like, well, why not? Why can't they be amazing? I've seen superhero movies that are amazing. Movies that were labored over with love and care by everybody involved. Like Loki? Mm. <laughs> I take five out of ten. Like Loki. Wakanda forever. Yeah. Yeah. Wakanda like, forever. Like, you don't see how many yeah. times you got kicked on the balls. It was amazing. Why can't we get that with the MCU? They're the most popular movies that exist right now. Well, not what? anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's what he says right now. When this was made, like I guess on the release of uh, Ant Man, it's like have you been have you been paying attention to the box office lately? It's not. <laughs> <Not anymore. laughs> hmm. Why can't they also be great? And like the other day on Twitter, I saw that somebody posted that one scene from the first Captain America movie, the ending scene that I've praised a million times in the past. Like if you asked me, I'd probably say that that movie overall is mid too. But uh, I really like that one scene. Not in so, hell. So but like so imagine. Weird. So, so Phase Four is equivalent to Captain America, really? Yeah, like are we actually Captain really? America One is like a nice solid All story right. with like yeah. a good little hero's journey going on there, a central arc, kind of like a thematic uh, undertone. Plot stuff is kind of silly, but like <laughs> this film is way better than anything that's been in Phase Four. I guess what I'm trying to Hugely. say is, yeah, if someone wants to call this movie mid, it's like sure, I'll allow it, but like you know, where, where's Phase Four sitting? You go also mid. Like, no, yeah, no. like that's the thing. In in a in a better landscape, Captain America one is mid, but not not like right now. No, <laughs> compared to these, films. take a million of these over anything in Phase Four. Yeah, mm -hmm. I love Captain America's uh, the character journey. It's great. Yeah, and this yeah. ending scene is even enjoyable, right? Like it, it helps. Oh, I think it's pretty good. It's, pretty it's a good. It's a good scene. It's a good yeah. scene. But I really like that one scene. It's I like, like more than that one scene. There's a lot of really I good like scenes. Erskine. I like Erskine's speech. I like uh, the test scene where he jumps on the grenade. One, well, of course, I, like uh, I can do this all day with, uh, flashback. With Peggy uh, before he goes under the ice. Yeah, good, that, that's really scene. good, yeah. I like yeah. Tommy Lee Jones in that movie. He's fun. Yes, he is. It encapsulates the heart of that film really well in just a little moment. And it reminded me that we don't really get moments like that anymore. Moments like Cause the they're, capture. Because they're badly written. Oh my god. Is this what I mean? It's like, why do they, why do they always avoid saying that? Yeah, <laughs> they never do. They're really badly like written. They're, written bad. the they're inconsistent. Bad. They establish a whole bunch of shit that sits in opposition to everything they've said before. It's very simple. Even when I like one of the new movies or shows, they never have a moment or a scene or a Eve is that right? Even, Even when I like, <laughs> well, look at these scores. That's yeah. normally you normally like them. Yeah, exactly. Only oh my one God. of these also, was under five. Also, guys, he he said that Captain Marvel, Captain America was mid, and then he had a moment that shows it, and then he he tells us that the Phase Four is mid. But he doesn't have a moment that makes him go, oh, look at that. That's, that's kind of good encapsulation. That's essentially what he's trying to say right now is the it's the same quality, but they don't have any great moments. 
Man, it feels like they're not the same quality oh. then. <laughs> yeah, it feels, it feels like... <laughs> It's like he's, it's, he, he's like almost at the edge of enlightenment, but he doesn't want to jump. It, it feels like that. The or, I you watch a, a video like this, and you sort of wonder like, what is the central point you were trying to make in a video like this? I don't know that he could even tell you what it is because it's just <laughs> jumping all over the place, contradicting himself constantly. You like, know, I just realized it's like he sat down, got his Microsoft Word document, just started writing his stream of consciousness, and this then is recorded your first it. Time with the Cosmo. This well, no, is, I know, but it's, it's just a it. reminder. It's a variety of... Dude, I remember when um, we would pointed out a whole bunch of contradictions in like one video, and this one was like, well, yeah, it's the variety hour. The idea is that you get lots of different opinions. The idea of variety sense. hour is that he makes contradictory He just says statements. a whole bunch of things. <laughs> but I, I yeah, I just realized, right? Uh, if we're being generous and saying mid can be mid is five, but let's say mid is between four and six, even right. That's, that's like where your aim was. was where you randomly just say, you know, that's mid. That means She Hulk from him is a seven out of ten. That he does definitively believe She Hulk's better than Captain America. I mean, he would have to, right? Because seven out of ten ain't mid. Seven out of ten is like good. Amazing. Unless he is using the IGN scale, where <laughs> seven out of ten. The IGN like, scale, right? Yeah. Uh, it's true. It's true. Their average. Yeah. I did the math. Their average is seven point five, right? So like that's the average thing they do, mm -hmm. and, and like sixty percent of their stuff is over a six. Sixty percent of it is six to to nine. So mm -hmm. like yeah, seven point five. IGN's six. media stuff is like particularly fascinating. Like the the high scores that they get to like Mando season three episodes. Yeah. Like I can't remember which one, but they I know that they gave at least one episode a ten a ten. Perfect. Wow. Well, not perfect, but masterpiece at the very least. Wow. Never have a moment or a scene or a line that sticks with me. They just lack that iconic quality of the movie. Why'd you give them before. like seven, sixes, and eights? Uh, I guess he is, is the, that's that's the difference between a seven and a nine or something. They know it's really to awkward the because behind the curtain. You know, I watched uh, for the first time No Country for Old Men a couple of days ago, and it's like. There's already a bunch of lines that even though I've only, you know, watched that film like a few days ago, it's like, yep, I know they're going to be memorable. I know I'm going to remember that scene. It's like, you can tell when something's going to be memorable because like the impact that it makes at the moment that you watch it. Like, why wasn't there anything that clicked of like, hmm, am I actually going to remember anything that I've seen here? Like, is there anything that I could really pinpoint as like the emotional core of the story that's going to, you know, that means something to me personally that will carry through forever or, you know, for a long time. What's the thing? Like, I don't know. Me? Where's the where's the reflection? It's so weird that like his point is basically just like there's nothing memorable in these films, but they're pretty good. Mm. Damn, yeah. it's weird. I, I feel like I stuff that's good. Then. I feel like stuff whatever. that's good will yeah <laughs> exactly. <laughs> whatever I said, whatever I said back then, it's right. <laughs> also this. Also this. Also, They're variety missing... hour. It's like the Hitler variety hour. Huh? No, the Jews are okay, I suppose. You know, it's the variety hour the heart i think the heart is something that we've taken for granted and even when the new movies are pretty good it we feels like the they're well granted. you you said lots of them are pretty good <laughs> <laughs> he, impossible he's also movie. just rephrasing what he said yes he like is. a memorable yeah. moment encapsulated mm -hmm. now it's the heart yeah you're right what's <laughs> so frustrating about him man <laughs> It feels like what am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> impossible to rewatch. If you guys have ever tried to watch No Way Home on your own on your TV, you'll realize that that movie is only meant to be watched in a packed theater, and that's nice. No, I, when you're oh, in no. surely no. I'd rather I would absolutely I rather watch No Way Home before like eighty percent of the other MCU stuff. Yeah, but I prefer movies at home. It's like I, I actually, yeah. I think things are taken away from stuff. <laughs> the the theater can be annoying. Like there's always so there's there was always somebody grazing next to you with a rattly bag that just distracts me. <laughs> and mm -hmm. It's on a it's on a way smaller screen in this. Like not not physically, obviously, but in relation to me, everything's set yeah, up yeah, perfectly yeah. for my mm. seat. I I find it a way. I like I can focus a lot more. I can piss on and I won't home. miss anything. I could. Yes. I oh I do number two. Oh my god, I can nice. pause it. You can pause it. You I can, can pause rewind. it. I can poop for however long I desire. <laughs> no stress it. whatsoever. You can rewind things. That's a huge deal. I can deal. rewind things. Did he really just say that? My he guess really did. is did he what really just my, said? So my guess is what he's going to be saying is, look at all of the scenes like in the film that are clearly meant to be, you know, for an audience to 
like be like, woo, yay, look at that, yeah, the character, woo, yeah. But the problem is it's like, those are small parts of the film. Like, those are specific scenes. There's a lot of other, like, scenes in this film. Do you mm -hmm. think, though, that's a cultural difference as well between, like, the UK and America? America's a lot more, yeah, yeah, much, yeah and cheering yeah, in movies, yeah. and you don't really get that in the UK well, as much. I'm curious that here, um, right to go through his example, because I got, I got a couple of ideas about this one. Watched in a packed theater, and that's nice when you're in a packed theater. When you're at home alone watching it, it feels really weird. There are these big pauses that's... where you're supposed to get up and cheer and fucking scream. You can do that at home, bro. I would hate bro. that. And... Did that so right, so I'm here's the thing. Up. This is in all superhero movies. There's always gaps when things happen. Like I'm already thinking about Iron Man, right? When he first lands in, when he's first doing his shit, you know, and he like mm -hmm. funks yeah. into the floor, slowly mm -hmm. looks up, stands Second. up. It's like, yeah, why isn't he immediately doing all kinds of things? It's like, well, because we're we're letting that moment breathe for a second. That is Iron well, Man. Avengers He's just a wreck. Until Kamen Kamen Rock. learns about well, Lord so of the Rings. If someone said to me, like, yeah, that's bad. He should be, and I'd be like, well, you can make arguments. You can always make arguments in universe. The reason he's taken a second is because he just thunked into the floor and he needs to look around and fit. You know, you can do that. With this scene, for example, they're expecting Tom Holland, Peter Parker, not this fucking guy. So him going, you know, taking his thing off and being like, what world am I fucking in? I don't mind at all that there's a few seconds for everybody to just look at him and be like, what the hell? And you're like, it doubles up as a chance for audiences to go, blah, 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 and you don't have to miss dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's fine. That's fine. Um, it, it would Someone be... does that in the cinema, I'm called the penis. Is this not how your people say hello? <laughs> <laughs> is, this, is this something that he's going to carry through to other... Like, what was the moment in Eternals that was meant to be, like, everybody cheering? <laughs> what was the moment in that film, like Shang-Chi, that was meant to be, like, the big cheer moment? Yeah, <laughs> like when 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 <laughs> Marvel's Katie killed the dragon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now it just feels stunted and awkward. They're shocked. No. Mm-hmm. He, he what he's doing here, he's taking the Big Bang Theory argument as if you remove the laugh track, it's not interesting anymore. Well, so it doesn't work yeah. in this sense. Once again, by the way, this isn't even something he came up with. You see this on Twitter several times. People posted this scene and been like, "It looks real bad when you don't have an audience cheering." I've never understood it. This is a shocking moment for all three of these characters. So they if they it. built in the audience cheering into the movie, you could be like, okay, they're trying to prompt it <laughs> like a thing, it. but they're not. There's a little neon sign that says applause now. <laughs> <laughs> just in the subtitles, yeah. Maybe he's Audi just... Audience applauses. To, to give him some level of, of credit here, maybe right, he's just... It associating his experience in the theater and saying this isn't as powerful without the audience and, and but that's but that should act that can accent an experience not the experience shouldn't really i'm not saying him. he's right Rex. <laughs> i'm responding Stop to I'm, him, I'm responding to the character that you're playing which yeah. is hilarious I'm I'm trying to come we up like, with some reason like why that would make sense. We like the Cosmorari variety. <laughs> Cosmorari and watch that rather than this guy. And this is a problem with a lot of these movies. Marvel wants to recapture moments like this. You know, they could do well, that so then, with really good Oh, writing. no. But I would do that with setups and payoffs. But why isn't that oh, one bad, then? Any of that. Is that one bad because there's space and time for everyone to cheer? Uh, also, I think that's why he did not include Spider-Man in his review. Because that would... It's part of the phase that he says it's boring and people don't clap. I would imagine people were clapping and hollering when Black Panther came out. He just doesn't have a clip for it. And he's just going to go, and look, these movies don't have those moments in them. I don't I'm even think... Sure this, this is what I mean. It's so incoherent. He, he's mm -hmm. basically said part of what's a detriment to these films is that they'll have scenes that when you don't have an audience surrounding you are like awkward in, in the future. The films lose their power on rewatch. And it's like, okay, but what about the ones that don't have that? And what about the ones that maintain their power both in the cinema and at home? And he's like, hmm. -mm. And I don't think that's true also. I think the the powerful moments in the cinema, you can still have that at home. You just If you want to stand up for it, you, you're kind of cringe. But... but... <laughs> <laughs> You're a whole good yeah, yeah. 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 I, I think if if a moment needs other people around you to f hype you up, then it's not a real moment. It, like you're yeah, getting like the hype from other people, not the movie. Like, yeah, it's and, not that impactful. I'm you know I'm very critical of Endgame, but uh, this moment where Cap finally is worthy enough to pick up the hammer and actually like fuck with Thanos for a bit is like that's pretty great. But of course, it's also going to be a moment where everyone goes nuts. And Andrew Garfield arriving in the MCU is the exact same thing. 
Like, you know, it's going to be a huge moment for the audience, but it's also just, it's just a pretty big thing that's happening in the universe right now. Pretty, pretty I can give an example. At the same time. Wait, so he's going to be like, am I supposed to clap now when, when, when this yeah. happens on screen? He needs like, the audience near him to let him know. Yeah. So I can give an example of, of where the audience in all of these films, you know, or, or, or I guess in, in the one film, uh, went crazy. All the audiences went crazy. And it was not, I don't think, built in to be a silent clapping moment. Uh, and that would be the Hulk smash part, you know, the puny god. Everybody in the uh, theaters went crazy for that. And I don't think it was built in as a quiet moment of just clap, please. I'll give it to you because I actually think, I don't know if it's true, but I think I didn't know he said puny god in my first run through in that movie because everyone was cheering mm. and laughing and stuff. But this is a moment that was earned after years and years of buildup. How do you do that? Tell me more about it. Let's explore this concept. So you can't do it in a single movie. You can't have a moment that's built from just a single movie that does this. Yeah, I was going to say that. Mark. Two hours. It... We can't do it in that time. Can't do it in two hours. There are no, like, think of all the setups and payoffs and like, oh, is that? Well, the movie, well, fuck, the movie that we just watched, Mahler and Fringy. The movie that we just watched the other night. Tons of setups and payoffs. So many. Oh, we'll get back to this. Or, no, like, oh, I don't this even need to, you know, you don't even need specific films. This is storytelling. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. It's so alien to me, this whole, like, this one worked because it was built up over many movies and years. Like, well, I mean, it's just built up. It's, it's like yep. Alice in Borderland has a different game almost every episode, and it only oh. spends, like, maybe half the episode on it, and you care about every single new character, and they're all new in most of the games. So Imagine someone said, like, you know, the Boromir scene where he saves Merry and Pippin and, and dies for them, like, that may have actually had some impact if maybe that was the third movie. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> I think it's, it's just because, like, the, the things are so shallow that they put in these things that it takes so long to actually get to something of, like a normal person's depth before you actually care about them. Yeah, it's... Mm. Very strange. Um, and the, these all—it really feels like he's just scatter shot throwing in ideas that may or may not work and hoping for the best. You can't recapture that magic whenever you want. You, you can if you uh, if you're good at it. You can. <laughs> oh my god, uh, my head hurts. It's it's and 5 a.m. in my country, and this guy is just making. And you haven't even gotten to movie Bob yet. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> this is the first. <laughs> this is the first hurdle. That this is like poorest... super retarded arguments. <laughs> and it's like, he's on the edge. Maybe it's because the writing is bad, guys. No, he just... And it's so stupid. The movies he says has some fucking moments where <laughs> there are people in America that will clap and, and get, Woo! The Black Panty! And, and the whatever. Oh my god. Black Panty? You said the Black Panty? <laughs> the Black Panty? <laughs> yeah, she's a girl. We That's why it's Black that Panty. Name. Yeah. Maybe oh, the budget. oh, I'm just being respectful of the gender. Of course. Good. You I should. You should. That's mm -hmm. important. To yes. earn it. And I am hoping that with the poor reception of Ant-Man, they realize that they really need to get their shit together. How do you because do that? Because eventually... Wait, Come on, tell us, tell us. Well, you've given us all the clues on how. You got to build it up. You got to build up uh, okay. Kang. You got to <laughs> be bigger, bigger than before. Endgame. You got to focus what on characters. Right, good. Um, right, good. Be fun. Right, good. Be fun. Oh, uh, characters that are likable. People like. Oh, yeah. Yes, characters they're... people like. Um, yeah. Really, he's he's given them all the keys to the kingdom at this point. Work like, hard. Oh yeah. yeah uh, VFX be good. Yeah. Oh my god, he's repeating himself also. <laughs> Everyone. Yeah. Like, oh, Those are oh, not guaranteed to be in the seat anymore. And honestly, oh. I don't really I think where that was going. fatigue is kicking in. I think that's something people like to say, but I mm. don't really believe it myself. What is it? What is it? I don't believe what it. Is it? What is it? <laughs> say Let's it. Say it. Say it. Say it. I think you just have to have fatigue. a bit more respect for the audience. People still love superheroes, but when the market is flooded with superhero content, people are going to be more selective of what they go to see in a theater. Well, no, honestly, if it's all good. If it was all good, that, it, why is he always on the verge of fatigue. getting the point, it's which not, is the, the it's shitty films? It's just fatigue. <laughs> Come on. He's basically saying it without saying it. it it's yeah. not fatigue, but it's fatigue. Yeah. It's, just like, <laughs> it's, it's like he threw the puzzle pieces on the floor, and then he goes, audience, figure out what I'm trying to say. <laughs> yeah, and if you think I was correct, I was. <laughs> <laughs> Games 3 has a solid chance of being a good movie. James Gunn has Why? not made a bad superhero movie yep. yet. 
Okay. Why? Really, really, Why? Because, Why? Because, because James Gunn hasn't made a bad movie superhero movie. There you go. Say it. Say it, coward. Say it. <laughs> that's, that's, that's not, that's not even an argument. No. <laughs> made a bad movie. I'm that driving down the road and there's a million blue houses. <laughs> I mean, First one. You know. If that movie's good, I think it will remind people what a legitimately good Marvel movie feels like. But if it's... What, what, what about Black what Panther those, 2? Like, I thought Loki, I thought Loki was, an <laughs> was an 8 out of 10. Right. Right. Oh was my god. Out of 10. That was a good one. Why? Multiverse of Madness was a 7.5. That's pretty good. I mean, why didn't why that remind run? people of what good yeah, but superhero You know what, like? he called him good. He didn't call him legitimately good. Oh, uh, yeah, no. true. What's the difference between good and legitimately good? Only because um. we're not knows. <laughs> He's not going to tell you. If only we what could a, know. What a great. It, it's like you're playing an FPS. You call out someone who's one HP, and then you're like, no, they're actually one HP. Yeah, yeah. Actually, <laughs> yeah actually, legitimately, exactly. really. It sucks. Yeah. I think that that's going to kind of kill the MCU for a lot of people. And if the new fan. What, what a hot take. If the Guardians mm -hmm. movie yeah. is good, people will see what it's like to watch a good movie. And if it's bad, it might put people off the MCU. Hmm. I'm no, glad we damn. have this fucking pioneer here on YouTube. <laughs> He's managed to crack the code. <laughs> it's amazing. Fantastic Four movie is bad. I will rip my own head off. Well, okay. let's Just hope. Do it. Just do it. Okay. Oh, it's over. It's Thanks. over. You did it. You completed <laughs> chapter what? one. What a great story, Mark. Uh, All like, right. just... <laughs> did it. It's just unreal, like how rambly that shit is. And <laughs> useless. Yeah. What useless advice. Yeah. He ends up saying like, nothing, anything... right? Like, you, you go yep. through the whole thing and you, you figure out exactly what he's saying. 4K makes. likes. Oh my oh. God. <laughs> yeah. I'm, 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 so, so, so the, the thing about. <laughs> The thing about a Cosmo yeah. videos is like anybody who actually watches and enjoys them, as soon as they're done, be like, "What did he say?" They'll be like, "Uh." <laughs> um... <laughs> no, he, he that, was, gets... that was my first exposure to this guy, and um, I, I was listening. Uh, I didn't get anything. He's <laughs> <laughs> just nothing. Yeah. Empty calories. <laughs> yeah, I and they're all like this. I promise you. Yeah. Every single one of them. Like like you go through it, and you're like, <laughs> I, I don't understand what you said. Uh, he's like. He, He's like Mark Brown, right? Like, he oh. doesn't say anything. Marcus uh, Brown. I haven't seen Marcus and in I, ages. I feel like I Mark, Mark Brown right, deserves more credit than that. No. I, I, he, at least, he does. No, I he will better production. Mark Brown, he does, like, he does have production way values. better production. Okay, sure, but he still says nothing. Right? <laughs> oh, so yeah. Still, I, I'm, he I'm tells not... you, well, he says things that you already know. Do I? Um, <laughs> yeah, you know what? Is I actually, yeah, movement. that's that's a good point. Whereas, like, you know, Cosmonaut, it's just like, that was just... You are constantly contradicting yourself. At least Mark mm. Brown's like, you know, just explains what a Metroidvania is. It's like, all right, that's the video. <laughs> he can't like, contradict himself because you know, like, he's like a fucking manual. Yeah, I, at least it's like factual, even if it okay, is information fine. that you presume that you would know at that point. But um, I, I accept that he's better than than, than Cosmo. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's just kind of unreal. I, I don't know why you would like how you could watch that, walk away, and be like, I learned something today. I yeah, think no. I think I I think I figured it out, guys. I I found the formula because he he says like vague components of ideas people have in their head and the eight and the how many people like this the fifty four k people that pressed like went oh Cosmonaut said something I think oh he's right on the money oh I'm gonna so, press and you know the like, like it was it was pretty fast paced with that uh, Marvel vs Capcom two music getting you pretty upbeat oh yeah yeah you know? well, and, I, I genuinely I think that said, there's a lot of uh, people in the general audience who will listen to someone say, Black Widow, uh, yeah, okay, uh, you know, Loki, really good, Shang-Chi, good, uh, She-Hulk, good, Black Panther 2, really good, Phase 4, bad, yeah. Mm. <laughs> and you'll be like, did you not, it, you, you agree with well, that, yep. And I guess that's, hmm. you know, how, how evergreen is this kind of... Like who? Who in like even a month is gonna say, man? I that was loud. Man, I really want to watch the, uh, you know, cosmonaut video on the About... current state of Marvel Phase Four. I'm gonna mm. go rewatch that. Like, who's gonna do that? No, he's just throwing stuff out there. Um, I mean, his, his, said a his videos are as disposable this. as like yeah, the yeah, movies yeah. he was there. Like the fast food about. of video essays. Yeah. Well, I actually think that it's it's alphabet soup. Right. So like you look into it and maybe you make Where? your own words and you figure out your own things there, but there's no actual, you know, content inside of it. It's just a bunch of scrambled up letters. And that's very much what Cosmo is to me. Yeah. 
<laughs> I wonder if he'd take it as a compliment. Maybe he would. He'd be like, yeah. He might. <laughs> a lot of people can take a lot from my content. I agree. And you're like, uh, Yeah, I mean, yeah. you can absolutely, right? You can see all the different letters in there, and you can be like, oh, if I look at it this way, it says this word. And, you know, yeah, it does for you in that way. You know, about um, Mark Brown, by the way, uh, when the Myra movie came out, I saw a couple people in Discord talking about it, and someone said the big fuck up in the in the film, and they put it in the spoilers tag. And I was like, I'm curious, what is it? What, what did they fuck up? And they said uh, they didn't tell us the secret of Mario's jump. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> good references. Anyway, is everyone ready for Movie Bob oh. to answer the question oh, God, that... that was almost I was, I was have a segue. Muller, there was a perfect segue. Like, speaking of Mario jumps, you know who's the biggest Mario fan? He really is. He dressed up <laughs> oh, as I him. Thought, I thought you were going to say, speaking of Mario's jump, you know who can't jump? <laughs> yeah, I thought, I thought you were going to go that way too. That's what I was thinking. That works also, yeah. Uh, is, is this a bad he's time only to allowed be, to uh, jump also in the basement Mario? apartment where he lives. <laughs> is it a bad time to say what? Whether or not he's going to, <laughs> to reference on the genocide other in this one, right? See, this, is, this will be a good change of pace because it's like the mm. opposite. Well, mm. well, it's it's a change of pace because I really like long sentences. I love long sentences. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm like, just oh. curious who is okay. the first to say, can we please go back to Cosmo? I, I wonder. Okay, so uh, I think this is the video that that, that you invited me for, Mahler, because I'm I'm like a trove of movie Bob lore. I used to. I, I, I don't know if I don't know if you guys know, but I used to do a segment on my channel called Bob Review, where we would oh. just go over the latest terrible movie Bob takes because all he Why does. Why did you stop? Yeah, all he does <laughs> is amazing. do bad. Takes. He's still going, Dev. Listen, <laughs> listen, as somebody who knows bad Twitter takes, all right, an expert on them right now. I'd say you are an expert on them. Yeah, all movie Bob does is bad takes every take is bad every single one uh i i have i have his book you guys know he wrote a book I yeah, the Mario Mario one, one, right? yeah. i have a copy of it oh like, my God. A he's a true like, fan yeah, they wrote a book yes and there's a famous <laughs> quote about? in there what's it about, what's it about? Um, the the book <laughs> is like it's like a it's it's a combination um discussion of the game design of super mario brothers 3 on the nes Combined with a movie Bob coming of age story, where he finally moved out of his parents' house at 29 years old. Oh, hard. So that's a story combined with Super Mario Brothers three, like an analysis of Super Mario Brothers three. Yes, I know. and he kind of goes unique. back and forth. <laughs> he goes back and off. forth between like analyzing the level design and the worlds and the enemies, and then also talking about like his personal trauma. His personal journey Remember? was similar to that. Now he's Mario. inflicting that. This is a book of therapy. Remember, Trump Man, that's, stole that's his Halloween. Fascinating. That's fascinating, actually. Trump stole his Halloween, and right wingers stole his ability to go <laughs> to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh, oh Mars! Oh my I god! Live on the moon base by now, damn it! He blocked me because I was talking shit about him. Like he said something <laughs> about a. Well, you, you you shouldn't shoot pedophiles or some shit like this. Something something he was. It was very. Oh. You upset the semi the pro Bobbit. pedophile. Yeah, and then I, I, so movie Bob is all you're all for eugenics of like. Oh yeah, he's very the worst for of, that. He's destroying the worst of humanity, except pedophiles. Yep. And then he blocked me. <laughs> Dude, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he was like very pro cuties. I think so. Uh, I remember uh, that he was like, "How could uh, you say that this wasn't you know art or some bullshit?" I remember it. Oh my god. So anyway, we're off today to see uh, some new movie Bob. Also, tape. hi Jay. I didn't even hear you for the past two hours. You said gay. <laughs> yeah, you said that's what I heard. Yeah. I wasn't hi say Jay. Hey Gay. I was gonna <laughs> leave. Hey, Jay. Leave. Hey, Jay. We that's welcome to the stream hiding. today, Gay. <laughs> <laughs> gay Longbone. Yes. Big that's shout out to about. the Gay. Um, um, okay, before we start, before we start, all right. Mm -hmm. I, I I found the book off my bookshelf. I flipped open a random page, okay? Let's hear it. And oh, boy. I am right. on... This, this is the beginning of his analysis of World 8, the Dark Land. Okay? I won't read the whole thing. I'll just read a little bit. So, here's how his analysis of the Dark Land in Mario Brothers 3 starts. The past couple of weeks have been rough. Equal parts trying and, and semi-exhilarating. It's looking very much like I'm going to come out on top regarding that apartment. On the other hand... Things are deteriorating for my grandmother. 
She's been back in and out of doctor's care and now requires a rotating schedule of family members to keep an eye on her overnight. The failing health has taken most of her hearing. The inevitable and what comes with it is likely not far off. This is bizarre. What he needed was a diary, yeah. not a publisher. Yeah, yeah that is, is a bar. <laughs> Pretty and good that Mario book. That's, that's just thrown <laughs> into into there, huh? Okay. Yeah, and, and, and he says, uh, it will be taxing. I know this, and it dawns on me now that, though it wasn't my intent, if this apartment deal actually goes through, I'll be moving on at the precise moment when a family member sh- when family members should be pulling closer together. There's nothing I can do about that, but it feels unfortunately fitting that fate would make a callous-seeming man of me in this moment. As ever, Super Mario Brothers three is oh, no 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 <laughs> <laughs> Super Mario Brothers but... three. <laughs> so he could just not. He could also just not move yet. Uh, how is that like? That's so that stupid. Right. Jeez. Like, I'm not even understand. interested in my own rent negotiations, let alone everybody else's. Why? What Juxtap- do you think this this will make for a thrilling read? <laughs> Juxtaposing uh, as- like interpersonal problems with oh like my God. the level design of Super Mario Brothers three. <laughs> yeah, only move, Bob. Because, it, Oh my God! It, it, it's because he calls he he calls the, this level the point of no return, the last world, the final conflict. And he, does he mean Mario or, or moving home? Oh my God! He, he means both. He means both. Oh, that, oh this the feels like the plant that is my grandmother's cancer. This feels like the room where, where the mom says, I got the test results back, it's cancer, and then they talk about something else, and the cancer is never brought up again. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, the, the room, yeah. <laughs> it no it's like your mom. yeah. But Grandma, so, have you it, played Super Mario Bros. 3? Oh, it, oh. Yeah. it feels like, oh my god, it, Movie Bob is so smart. What he's saying is stupid. Like, like you have to be that intelligent to write something that dumb. It feels like that. Like, <laughs> so, like, it's uh... like... The, the the book is full of many incredible quotes, but the most famous one is when he described um, the console wars of the early '90s as his own personal Vietnam. No, <laughs> because he was constantly no, getting into wrong. like. No way! No, 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 I'm sorry. I don't he actually said that. Yes. Motherboard to speak in Japanese. I'm sorry. Where's the lie? That's just. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the the playground fights where he got beat up for liking Nintendo instead of Sega, or was, was his own personal oh. Vietnam. And he's still not I over own it. Vietnam. I he didn't actually though, right? Like this is this is just a big joke. You're memeing me. Uh, this is down the street holding this a like, game like a hundred grenade. Wait, is this like a pre pre Gamergate Gamergate? Like he was there before before the trench. For the console <laughs> wars, oh blood God, was like... spilled. Oh my god. So it, I, I have to do a, a, a video on this book someday because it's, it's truly an incredible read. Mm-hmm. Please do. There's so much nonsense. There's so I don't much nonsense. Pay for it, book. right? Like, I don't want to. Oh, well, you can't actually it. get it anymore. Like, this is okay. now this is now rare, this book. Oh my Ooh, that's god, a collector's, collector's item. item. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so that I can buy it in a used. museum. It should be. <laughs> it belongs yeah. in a museum. It sounds like you just need to re edit it. a very deep pit, but really. So do you, Bob. <laughs> just re edit it without all the Mario bits so you keep the good stuff. <laughs> That's what it is. I just want to learn about his personal tragedies growing up. <laughs> yeah. I want to do about his personal like, you know, That's video. That's what I want to know about. Shit. I want to I hear Bob reminisce about his suffering. <laughs> good old. I want to see what made him into Magneto. <laughs> oh, it's Diabeto. It's origin of story. Diabeto, of course. Deb, is this video game analysis any good though? <laughs> <laughs> um, it's okay. No. Actually. It's okay. He's actually talking <laughs> about the games. Oh, wow. he, he, like, when he's actually it's talking about game design, he he knows like he knows about like basic game design. It seems what what I'm makes it a level good or bad? He's devoted his life to. He's okay at. <laughs> um. Well, no, that'd be like. So... Mm-hmm. No, go go ahead. Go ahead. No, go, you go ahead. The, the thought's still forming. It's still it's in, in its embryonic phase. The, the most polite okay. EFAP so right there. I, I have... I, this book is incredible, but I, I can't find the, the actual page where he says it was my personal Vietnam. But he did say that it's his personal Vietnam. Um, mm-hmm. And as, as I said, I, I used to do Bob Review with all of his really bad takes. Uh, I don't, I don't know how much time you want to spend on this. How, how many bad takes do you want to see? We've got plenty I to have, see I in have, the video. <laughs> Yeah, because oh, yeah, <laughs> I have I have so many of them. Of all, sprinkle the them in, Dev. The sprinkle years. them in. Sprinkle, sprinkle them in. Find the okay. best ones, filter them through, and sprinkle them in. 
like a little well here. Hook. I'll, yeah, I'll give you yeah, this one for now. Area. Sure. I'll give you this yeah. one for now just because this is the overarching like TLDR thesis of his philosophy. So okay. just just look, just look at this. Just read that sentence. The world is just Ooh. full of people who shouldn't be. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's who he is. Yeah. Thanos. Dude, I'm he sorry, is, but he, the yeah, quote tweet. The quote tweet's even funnier. <laughs> Crawling in my skin. <laughs> <laughs> These words they will. <laughs> yeah, this so, probably should be on record that uh, we did a quote thing. Well, we had quotes from Hitler and Movie Bob, and we had to, we had to guess which was which, and we didn't score oh, that well. No. I tried. Quite, I couldn't do it. It was quite. We difficult. got loads of them wrong. And just to be clear, this wasn't like I shall now go to the bathroom. Who said it? Hitler's. Like, oh, I guess I guess it's a bit of a. Yeah, it wasn't up. that. But no, these were like, oh wow. Oh, we we fucking Jesus. labored over them. It would be it would be like you know this group of people needs to be expunged in order for the the right world to exist. Yeah, we were like, we're well, that's got to be Hitler, right? <laughs> it's got to be. And, and then the like, quiz was like, nope, that was movie buff. <laughs> Wait, so you you did an Adolf versus uh, Roberto, and yeah. you lost that? We, we, I don't think we... What was our score, Chad? Do you remember? I forget. I don't think we did particularly well. Because I don't remember as it doing turns well. out, um, I don't know how to phrase this, um, which direction I want to go with it, but it turns out um, Movie Bob's kind of a really bad person. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm been slowly <laughs> gathering that over time. Oh, you, like... want, you want to know a fun fact, guys? I want to know a fun fact. Adolf Hitler was idea. born uh, a couple of days ago on April 20, 1889. That's true. <laughs> that's true. Which was his birthday. <laughs> He's so young. Day. That's true. Yeah. yeah, that was like so young. <laughs> I just like uh, the only no, it reason really, it's not it really... in history books is because yeah, so he didn't it's... actually have the power to do anything. People say it we really got somewhere the... in the 60%. So this is where we yeah. were around Oof. there. That's it really not gives good. you a new perspective on Blaze It. Oh, shout outs to. <laughs> But sixty percent, which way? Oh, correct. Yeah. Oh my god, he did sixty percent yeah. correct. Thank I mean, fuck. either way, it's shit. Yeah, it's pretty the bad. Fact that, like, if you're only getting sixty percent correct <laughs> between Hitler and just really anyone else, I mean, it's pretty. It's what we call a bad look. <laughs> yeah, it's like every other tweet is an Adolf tweet. <laughs> Well, hey, if you follow Movie Bob, you get all kinds of insights about how we should deal with modern problems, all right? That's, uh, somehow he's still on Twitter, going to this day. I don't even know if he's ever had a temp ban, even, for the stuff that he says. Oh yeah. my god, let okay. me check his... Anyway, so I, now, I up... it's just funny that oh, we've I... got all that history where like, we're about to listen to him talk about some Marvel movies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I, I dug up his worst takes. I can give them to you in, like, 30 seconds, all right? Okay. So, these are... Just in case someone clips this, these aren't my takes, okay? Jesus Christ. Dev is really happy Bob's. that him Just having say, movie this book Bob is says off. before he draws. Yeah, okay, okay. Movie Bob says there are days when my fondest wish is that eugenics hadn't been tainted as a science by racists and Nazis. Oof. That's a that's a bit of an oof right there. Kind of um, mm -hmm. Morality is what turned eugenics destructive, though. Too much mythology about uh, too much mythology about culture. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, eugenics would probably make a popular comeback if it was renamed to shorten your commuteism. Oh. Oh. Ooh, wow. That's <laughs> um, what the fuck? There are times when I really hate that Jim Crow era racists pretty much ruined the idea of IQ tests for voting. <laughs> But what he's essentially saying is like, oh, those cheap, never mind, carry on. <laughs> oh, it's never like, mind. Listen, listen, the Nazis' methods weren't the problem. It's just who they targeted. That's what he's saying here. No, I 100% I, I, I <laughs> believe that he's like, yeah, we need to get those Republicans and we need to put them into those camps. Yeah, yeah. He, he's basically saying that he, he, would, he would have done it right if he were the, the Fuhrer. Okay. Absolutely. <laughs> oh god oh my god so i just posted a uh, tweet yeah. into our, our little thing and i'm gonna read it for the audience here but i wanted you guys to all to see it first uh Classic. i'm the bad guy when i suggest these people are something less than appreciably human oh my god he's um he's a special lad like i'm fighting his demons right now um 
Well, so what does he what does he have to say about uh, Marvel about fatigue? Marvel movies. Oh. <laughs> I, I did find. What, does what he just really to. empathize with? Okay, that one. That one I movie. love. Donald like, Trump stole losing. my Halloween, <laughs> my oh, summer, yeah, my ability to enjoy life itself. Actually, to, to it movie Bob, the problem with Marvel is the good guys lose in every movie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, is everyone ready? Sure. Let's do it. <sighs> yes. Not quite the intro you'd expect with everything we've said, but hey, different, <laughs> no, it's, different it's, format. It's like a detective show from the 1950s. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you showed one of Hitler's paintings, you know. As of whenever I managed to pick this one up, I've really kind of get this. Jeez, you already like the 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 voice, the audio quality. It's the audio jarring, quality for You've somebody been doing... who's been doing this for like ages, like yeah, it should be better than that. You couldn't, just, well, you couldn't buy a good microphone for your YouTube career, jeez. Ugh. And yet he sounds exactly like you knew he would if you hadn't heard him before this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not to believe that yeah. he to exterminate yeah. half you know, the like, human race. Let's say you don't know anything about audio. All right, you, just, you have no clue. It's not your wheelhouse. You have no talent in it. You can literally just buy a Blue Yeti and be okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just plug it in. Just USB yeah. mic. Yep. You just plug them in. You and they work just fine. In. That's what I use. I've been using this whole time is a USB mic. But it, mm -hmm. it's even worse than that. Like, even from just a video, the, one of the biggest ways it's to lose people in your videos is the first 30 seconds. And we're 20 seconds in, and he's not even spoken about the video yet. Mm hmm. So most people have already gone by this point. Well, his audience at this time, I think, was all the uh, the escapist, right? Like he was the side thing on the escapist for a lot of years. Like that's a where tumor came from. <laughs> yes, yes, actually. There was like a weird back and forth at the escape. I think he got fired twice over the over yeah. the years. Like he said something dumb during Gamergate, which is like nine years ago at this point. But he got fired for the first time. Then after like that smoke blew over, he got hired back. Then he got refired for something. He's gone through a lot of different dramas. To be fair, anyone who's been on the internet for like ten or more years, they have like their history, right? So that's just just how it is. But I don't yeah. know if he's still there. As of whenever I managed to pick this one up, I've really kind of get this back on some kind of track before October, he said, knowing the best way to do that is to stop letting the fucking things run longer than 10 minutes just because you no longer have an editor forcing the issue. We will be about a week out from D23, oh, no. which is basically a trade convention for all things Disney fandom that's Yay. been going on for a long time but never really got super well covered until Disney also came to mean Marvel and Star Wars, so now it's basically Comic-Con slash CinemaCon part two every year, and this is the world we- Oh, fuck, the way oh, that he wait. told- That's still one yeah. sentence! Audio. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and, and the audio cut again. Those, those harsh, oh, okay. those harsh fucking yeah. cuts in the audio. Yeah, well, because it started you long, he needed to breathe in it. Like he needed to get a yeah. breath in because that sentence uh, was so long. That's labor real. Said, that was like really that was twenty tough. seconds. That was like a twenty <laughs> seconds, and it was sped up. It's, it's, it's someone in chat like he's not even. Ended it. It's not even over yet. If if someone said like let him cook, it's like we'll be here forever. <laughs> no, I'll, no, also, I, I'm not an expert on like audio mixing and what or audio clipping and whatever. You could just like slightly move your audio clip for the previous one and it will be smoother. And it, it, he, what he did was like he took a breath, he cut the part where he took the breath and just pasted the next section. <laughs> this problem is I can't judge that. I you do can, that all the time. You can resolve <laughs> the, the pops resolved. though, you can get them out. No, but, Wait, this yeah. part. What you yeah. do though? You're you're. It's like a live segment where you have a video. So I I, I can't even give Movie Bob that that level of excuse. Or, or you, you cut, and I see what? you cut. Like, but Movie Old Bob time. doesn't have that thing. He could have put more effort into his audio. No. Is what I'm saying. Well, I think the audio. It sounds like he's at the bottom of a bucket. That's the problem. <laughs> like he's a long way away from the mic, and you hear everything, like the entire oh. room. Mm. Mm. Okay. He also came to mean Marvel and Star Wars, so now it's basically Comic-Con slash CinemaCon part two every year, and this is the world we live in now. It also means here comes He's the next big wave of Marvel announcements exclusively, them. since no one really expects any big Star Wars news, since we've all accepted that the franchise is in a Baby Yoda-shaped holding pattern, until someone figures out whether it's actually possible for that property to be anything <laughs> other than <a> Stop! <laughs> I beg you to stop! <laughs> Oh, it's the same okay. tone. Like I, I deliberately when I cut my stuff, I go up and then I finish a and then I finish a sentence like this. So everybody well, knows where the thing is at the end of the sentence, and he just goes. Yeah. 
It doesn't he's, end. He's trying to be like Yahtzee, but he, he can't do Yahtzee. No. Because Yahtzee's also in the escapist, right? So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, so, uh, someone in chat actually just said, like, uh, they unsubs from escapist because having Movie Bob on their feet is not worth having Yahtzee. Like, it's not. Well, I guess it was, <laughs> you know, it's. Uh, that's totally fair. No, it is. But it's imagine totally... that. You get an unsub because they fucking put this shit on, <laughs> on the channel you're shared with. You're like, stop. Oh, I can't believe how long, like, these sentences are. I think it's still one sentence. It is. It's right. unclear, it okay? Right. It is unclear. Yet. ...out whether it's actually possible for that property to be anything other than recycling and remixing stuff from the older movies without causing an international crybaby incident. See, the cut. The cut that, in between. Yeah. Yeah. It's like he cut the in, between the in between the words. That's the end of the sentence. In between the words. I think he had a cut yeah. in the word. It felt horrible uh, to listen to. The, the funny thing is, what he just said was like, Star Wars is fucked because it'll just c continue to be in a baby Yoda shaped hole. Whenever they try something new, people complain like man babies. And he's talking about TLJ, which is funny because loads of shit was uh, recycled in TLJ even. Um, you know, I'm, I'm trying to even understand his points, but the way that he fucking delivers them makes it almost impossible. Oh, it's really hard. Like, like, wait for the end of the sentence uh, to process what sentence was. Yeah. And it never go, kind of goes. How, yeah, exactly. Like, I mean, you need the sentence to end to kind of understand what the fuck it is. Dude, my brain is bobophobic, right? Like, he just kind of <laughs> floats across it. <laughs> Well, what did he just say in a minute? Um, Marvel, like, new announcements for Marvel movies. Um, something about Star Wars. Like, I don't know. He doesn't like how people talk about yeah, Star it's, Wars. The announcements will regard Disney's products, and it's not really anything for Star Wars, because Star Wars is currently stuck. You know, that, that's that's what he's trying yeah. to say. Because anytime they do something new, like The Last Jedi, everyone goes man-baby mode. That was his overall point, I think. I Am do I... feel that Star Wars tends to be a whole lot of the same thing, right? You can't have anything new. I don't even disagree with that. R2-D2 is the only droid in the universe. I, I, I don't even think that's a, a wrong point, but the, the, the presentation is so bad. It's just rancid. It's kind of hard to listen to. ...without causing an international crybaby incident again. So get ready for another round of new project drops, new titles, new casting reveals, trailers, and by now... Oh, right, that wasn't trailers, a finished these... sentence. That wasn't, it wasn't no, a finished sentence. Uh, <laughs> okay, going. so... Like, okay, okay. So, so, so my content is, is political, and sometimes I have to, like, read very long quotes from a book. I have to explain a very complicated idea every once in a while. So I have long sentences, too. And I know this. And sometimes, sometimes... When you're trying to get a long sentence out and you're recording it and you're stumbling over it right at the end and it's like, fuck, it's a 30 fucking second sentence and I can't do it. What you can do is you can say the words exactly the same way and then like cut on a certain vowel sound so it blends nicely. There's there's like audio tricks you can do to make this work. That's he true. seems to be doing none of them. Mm hmm. Yes, he's very lazy. Well, very true. I mean, a lot of these, a lot of these problems are solved if he doesn't write his scripts like legislation. Like, why are these sentences so long? <laughs> Would you think that he would want to? Yeah, he he really. <laughs> it's funny that legislation is a concept of. He's like, this is. I write this like I'll write one of the laws I use to exterminate. Bob. <laughs> Oh, it's in, his uh, in, <laughs> in the chat, a guy named Giga Chad, great name by the way. Uh, he said Bob is still living in YouTube 2006 when you weren't allowed to post anything past 10 minutes, so he used to speed up his videos. So one thing I do know is that if you oh. for for a while the rule was you don't get full monetization if you don't make a video that's longer than 10 minutes. Yeah. If it's shorter than that, you get only like one ad and not two at the start of the end. But I think they lowered that to eight minutes now, so it's not even a, yeah. a point anymore. I think I think Bob is just living in like a, a previous YouTube. Well, paradigm. this is a sixteen-minute video as well. So well, you said yeah, at the beginning. You would only get ads the, after ten. For yeah, he said at the beginning. Be yeah, yeah, yeah. Under ten because he had yeah. an editor. Mm -hmm. I guess the editor chopped out a whole bunch of bullshit. Usually, like or he's <laughs> Aiden. <laughs> yeah, what happened to his editor? Where did that guy go? He goes consumed. Don't ask right, about you know, the editor. He, he didn't pass the test. Yeah. No, you know what happened? He he was marinated in Mountain Dew and then cooked. <laughs> oh no! Mm. He he the went, best the way. Once expressed uh, the the thought that maybe Republicans are human beings, and it was summarily cooked and marinated <laughs> in Mountain Dew. It's bad enough that you would do that to a turkey or whatever, but but to show it to everyone proudly, wow! Proudly, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look That's at my step delicious step too concoction. Yeah. Here, here, <laughs> Mahler, if you want to pull it up. There, like there's, an Instagram there's the picture of Movie Bob's Mountain Dew chicken. <laughs> Check that out. Uh, <laughs> why did you do it, Bob? <laughs> why? It just looks like fungus. I don't know. <laughs> also, 
kiwi on chicken kiwi that feels weird right like that <laughs> that's your problem <laughs> that's what he's kiwi. focused oh, with the in kiwi yeah but kiwi feels weird right like that's <laughs> a strange on a chicken right yeah, yeah, lemon weird. lime salt Mountain pepper Doom. okay <laughs> <laughs> so get ready for another round of new project drops, new titles, new casting reveals, trailers, and by now the welcome spectacle of the internet declaring it no longer cares about anything from Phase 4 onward juxtaposed with the even greater spectacle of was how he doing, much like, the was... British accent there? I don't know what the fuck all of that was, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, I, I am genuinely so trying to listen to him, but it's so hard, because <laughs> there's so much stuff that he's saying that it's... You have to, like, fucking... Because people saying slow him down... I really don't think that's the solution right now. <laughs> it's going to take way longer. No, I have to listen no. to it for longer, just to be clear. Okay, okay. It's still not going to make any sense. Before we <laughs> move isn't... past the whole food thing, I, I'm going to post this one too. I don't know if you guys have seen this, but the oh, average yeah. amount oh, yeah. of food... Oh, that's definitely we've something we've yeah. seen. This is a, yeah. like a, the yeah. best meme. Now, you know what? I'm I'm a fat guy. It's mm -hmm. fat. Fat's in my name. You know, mm -hmm. I should probably lose about 100 pounds or so. I have lost some, but I need to lose more. Um... And even that looks like way too much fucking food. Like, <laughs> the thing that struck is, me about this immediately is... Like, like, even for a self fat, fat, like, like, for me, a self fat man, I'm like, no, I, I, I could maybe eat, like, two of those burgers, you know? Maybe, and two, yeah, I could eat, like, two of those meals, not yeah. fucking four. You get to two There's burgers. There's also the drinks. drinks. I'm, so sure. I'm never going to be able to yeah. do the drinks. drinks. It's impossible. Yeah. Just, like, Just oh, the sheer fuck. volume. You're imagining that, like, inside of you. Yeah. And you're like, four yeah. of those drinks in my body. And 90 minutes right is the maximum now. you've got. Mm -hmm. God, Not happening. Dude, that is. That's like. Okay, hold on. Yeah. Somebody you offers you $3,500. $3,500 to finish everything on this train in 90 minutes. I could do it, but it would hurt really bad. I think I, don't I, think don't, I, I could. Do it. It. So it's I'd just, need to starve would, myself for I'd a while, vomit. and then I think I'd vomit after it's done. If that doesn't yeah, break the rules, I'd then. I'd vomit the way through. Yeah. I, I, I need if to. If that like, doesn't like, break the rules, if you're allowed to vomit. Like, you It'd be tough to do that over a day. Salt alone. It's, 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 salt, yeah. it's oh, just yeah, yeah, right. That's that's got to be. Does everyone sees it? Worth of sodium. They see all these like horrible like results or move I was like, yeah, it's a snack, I guess. You'd have to sign a <laughs> waiver. <laughs> it's a stall. Yeah, you can tell report did, yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah, I, I think with this, I think with this video, it. can we take this back like fifteen seconds? We can. <laughs> You're just gonna like, have to let him like, do his yeah. thing, I guess. Let, let, let him words. cook. Let, let him, him cook. cook. New project drops, new titles, new casting reveals, trailers, and by now the welcome spectacle of the internet declaring it no longer cares about anything from Phase Four onward, juxtaposed with the even greater spectacle of how much they very clearly care about not caring. I mean, not to belabor the point, but what? look at some of these runtimes. Hey. Is that the end there? Hey. 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 <laughs> The, those two things uh, aren't hey. comparable. Yeah. No, they're two completely like, different things. <laughs> like, yeah, one is a load so, of people saying, I don't like these movies, they bore me. And another one is going, I find entertainment out of people making entertainment from this terrible thing. Like, you've now so repackaged like, that into an entirely different product. So it, it's not that they mm -hmm. care so much about not caring, they're just finding entertainment in any way they and, can because you're not providing it. And, and here's the thing, Movie Bob is from that old era of the angry reviewer of the late 2000s. So he knows, he, he knows all about taking a bad movie or a bad whatever and making it into a video. He knows why that's funny. But yeah, it's like he, he doesn't, he doesn't like you, right? Well, so the, the, the criticism he's levying right now at people like me slash us is the, you claim not to care and yet look at this insanity. And I'm like, I do care. What do you mean? Um, yeah, it's it's not that complicated. In terms of, like, genuine investment in, like, the MCU at this point, yeah, like, it's over. But, like, it's still relevant in terms of, like, a cultural, like, a big I aspect of, like, popular storytelling right yeah, now. Yeah, I was about to say, we, our primary, like, almost mission statement is to care about storytelling in our culture at its highest levels, and that usually correlates with what is seen the most, what is listened to and watched to the most, which right now, unfortunately, is stuff like the MCU and Star Wars. But, things are changing. I would love to be wrong. I would love for a good Star Wars to come out. I'd love for all of those Marvel films to be excellent. Hell yeah. Oh, that would man, be Can you imagine super... if they were good? I mean, Andor was all right, wasn't it? Like, it was yes. Andor was good. Andor was pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, yeah. I enjoyed all, 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 all the prison stuff was great. You know? That's the like, weird one. The little heist show was great. Like, it, yeah, was we're good. just we're hoping season about, two can bring it, it home and then it can, it can hide. It can just be that thing that happened. We have to get <laughs> Sleep ruined. and rest well, hero. Yeah, that's part of the problem I, I with anything good in the universes of the MCU or Star Wars. As soon as it comes out, you're like, so how's this going to get fucked? 
mm-hmm. like as soon as it gets a yeah. sequel or whatever. And I yeah. didn't used to be that way, right? Like I didn't used to to come into it when when uh, Iron Man and and uh, Captain America were new, right? And I was like, oh, maybe this next one will be good. But um, yeah, it feels weird that I got t- two. Well, me and then us. Like, what? Where's everyone else? <laughs> like, where is it just us? What are we doing, Boobie Bob? <laughs> It's over five hours. There's only one thing I'd enjoy doing for more than five hours at a time, and uh, it ain't going up on you. What's this accent? <laughs> Nigga, please. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, please. Is that, what's, what's up with this accent? Him, him going like hours. Hours. Yeah. Where's, 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 he's, like, where's he from? He's from, he he from Brooklyn. It randomly, yeah. like, uh, fades into it every once in a while. I don't know if he plays his, into you it. You cut or off not. his really good joke, though. He's about to, he's setting up that joke. So, oh, we'll all see. right, we'll roll him back so everyone can see this glorious joke. I'm and uh, it ain't going up on you. Oh, wait, hang on. Not far enough. I'm sorry. These run times over five hours. There's only one thing I'd enjoy doing for more than five hours at a time, and uh, it ain't going up on YouTube. <whistles> <whistles> You, never nobody believes that hours? that's a thing for the you. <laughs> he's he's, a drop he's off. eating in the dark. What's the deal? <laughs> <laughs> it's a McDonald's meal. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give me five. Yeah. <laughs> he's, got Actually, the, he's got the tiny McDonald's meal in front of him. He's like, turn the lights off. Do it. Turn the lights off. I don't, I don't wish to be seen while this is happening. It tastes better when it's dark. <laughs> it's going to be a good day. <laughs> Because this is probably the, that, this, this is the last fa- the last of the three famous movie Bob food takes. Here you go. Oh, oh, Check that out. yeah, I remember this one as well. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you guys ever wanted to look at what yeah. likes prison food? <laughs> God, why is Mountain it like... Dew marinated chicken? Why is it so? Why would you do that to, to Mountain Dew and chicken? Because that's, a, that's how Bob likes it. Why would you do that to those two innocent innocent why would items? You do this to food. Oh, like, shit. like I, I can enjoy Mountain Dew with wow. fried chicken separately, you know. But to cook it with Mountain <laughs> Dew, well, why would you do it looks that? Like you boiled like, it, and it's this way. Dude, the chicken had to die for this. Exactly. <laughs> Show a little bit of respect, <laughs> God damn it! Why aren't <laughs> vegans picketing his house? Seriously. <laughs> I mean, what the? No, At least, least he put a warning this. label this next to it. At least when stop Gordon Ramsay kills a cow, he does something with it. This is awful. This is a travesty. <laughs> Wait, you mean the video so or, the, or the image? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's also birth. It's a travesty. That's, um, it's a travesty. That is a shit ton of rice that he's about to consume. <laughs> yeah. Let's yeah, be clear. Lot. That is a lot of rice. That's a fairly yeah. small amount of food for, the for an average size rice. movie, Bob. That's true. Yes. <laughs> we need something for scale. That could be a massive chicken. <laughs> Everest. <laughs> This is Jeez. the Simpsons joke. It's not well, yours. Yeah, but time. yeah, but he's gonna have sex while I'm making my videos because he's cool and I'm I'm a he is it. <laughs> Someone got it right when they said he was stuck in 2006, where you could say like sex and everyone's going. Hey, sex. <laughs> <laughs> and also, anyway, now that we're supposed also, to, also, also, that's not true. Like, isn't a famous tweet of his like he was simping for this girl and he he got shut down. Lindsay Ellis, oh, yeah. Lindsay yeah. Ellis. Yeah, yeah. She basically just said, "Please leave me alone." <laughs> yeah. like, oh. so I'm sorry. Oh. Maybe maybe movie Bob does have someone who loves him, but I, I doubt that. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Maybe. You, okay, so video, you, yeah. I think Rags, you asked me why I stopped doing Bob review. Um, um, I think it's so. because it's because I started getting really sad. Oh, like it's it's fun oh. to laugh at him. And eventually, I was like, oh my god, I need something imagine, to screw me up. I'm gonna this go guy. into politics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean, but like, imagine being this guy. It's like, oh, oh Jesus, oh yeah, a little bit. I I I, I, had, I had to stop for a bit because I was getting like like life sad. You know, like depression sad. Well, I was like, oh my yeah, god. Yeah, right? Like people who watch gore all day. Yeah, I get it. Mm. He's like, uh, he spends this moment trying to be like, you're all fucking nerds and I'm the cool guy having sex. And he plays a clip where the guy gets punched at the end. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that, Maybe that a bit of projection. You about Mario fucking 3. <laughs> 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 anyway, now that we're supposed to at least be pretending that we're back in normal times, and thus reactions to the regular flow of movie releases are no longer supposed to be accompanied say, by concerns about thought, whether or not the oh, fuck he's still going. I, I was gonna say, 
I was going to say pretending to have sex, but okay, the, the moment has passed. So. <laughs> I was I was legit like, he'll stop any well, second, I'll, I'll there, stop, and then you can speak, but make sure it's still just, there. the sentence was still going, so I was like, oh shit, what do I do? ...and thus reactions to the regular flow of movie releases are no longer supposed to be accompanied by concerns about whether or not the medium itself has survived the recent troubles, unless you're a Warner Discovery shareholder, hey. in which case, hey, good luck out there. What the fuck's happening? I think he's talking about hell. Is the cut uh, between the burst where he has to take a breath because he yeah. just gets out of breath talking. Hon honestly, it's very impressive that a man made of pudding can talk for that long without <laughs> getting out of breath. Without well, he's cutting out all the breaths. It doesn't count. <laughs> Does he have? He doesn't even <laughs> breathe. He just takes more pudding in and it rejuvenates. <laughs> Does he, he doesn't have run the, on the oxygen whale? like we do. Does he have the whale thing where it's in his nose, where it breathes through his nose? <laughs> well, you see, here's the thing: it breathes all of us. His nose. You see, Weekend Warrior. I have to. I hate to break it to you, but no, no, we all have. We all breathe, breathe through our nose. Those little, those little holes in our nose. That air can come the dome. The dome. Nostril literally means no soul. <laughs> <laughs> I know your brain's you. deteriorating. We're not two minutes in yet. <laughs> just because you, just because movie Bob made you forget you have a nose. <laughs> is movie Bob one of those people who the, breathes the through thing, his nose? The tube thing. It's destroying no. my sense of self. I forgot I have body parts. Fail nose tube thing. Wait. I, oh yeah, I have to. <laughs> But I, th I think he's trying to do like the attention marketing strategy of you never leave them a, like a second to look at any other video because they have to focus on yours. Which is yeah. sort of the Mr. Beast style and everything. But he's he he's not making any points while it's happening and you can't process anything. And if you just watch this 16 minutes on and got to the end, you'd your brain would be fried. No way you could I retain any of this. <laughs> like, no, what the but fuck? I think that's the point. You get to the end and you're like, well, I, I, I guess I was interested because something happened. I, I wasn't bored. <laughs> Troubles, unless you're a Warner Discovery shareholder, in which case, hey, we can wear his post as a picture of the whale now. That's how he does it. Yeah, the he breathes through his nose, yeah. It's not yeah. air in those tubes, it's <laughs> It's like very concentrated oxygen, just so he can just mashed absorb potatoes. it in your time. Mashed potatoes, yes. No, that's the Mountain Jew. <laughs> <laughs> Mountain Dew. <laughs> Mountain Dew. <laughs> Marinates the chicken on the way down. Oh. If I uh, if I infuse this Mountain Dew with oxygen, I'll never have to breathe. I'll just drink and drink and drink. <laughs> yeah, you breathe through the bubbles. <laughs> Out there, you're gonna need it. One can also expect the discourse to swing belatedly back around to where it was pointed immediately post Endgame, but pre COVID, and the question of Marvel fatigue. I.e., is that a thing? Finally, I I understood all that. Yes. Okay, oh let's see what happens next. Yeah, I mean, after more than a decade, oh. dozens of movies and shows, tons of characters and story, a whole global culture redefining generational touchstone of storytelling, etc., has this whole thing finally managed to overstay some or even a lot of its welcome with fans, the general public, with critics, and the entertainment press within its own genre, even the industry itself? It's quite a question, one that requires careful consideration. Yes! Could we get what the it? fuck? Ah. Ah. Oh, ah. It wasn't just the visual, it was the noise. It's just like, oh my god. Oh. I mean, I understand the whole record scratch thing, but it had to be a little bit quieter. Bob yeah. yeah. has to learn how to do some sound mixing. Consideration. Yes. Fucking Jesus. Yes. How, what kind of Harvey stupid Weinstein. question is that? Of course. How is he more echoey? <laughs> you asked it, though. You're yeah, I was going to say. You're asking the question. Yes. That's the title of your video! Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but the title also says the internet is stupid. <laughs> he just likes oh, yeah, to ask my questions bad. and get find out in the comments. It's like, oh, that's interesting. No, he... Oh, oh, he's just stupid. Okay. Years <laughs> is a long fucking time. Time is a thing. Yes, people get tired of stuff. Of course... No, if it's good! If it's, if it's good, good, yeah. Mm -hmm. What's Why is this audio worse mean, here? Why is he I mean, so, like, I mean, belabored with this? Like, oh, yeah, people, people, for five hours. I mean, for instance, people aren't tired of films in general. Or, but like, video they, games in general. Those, like, or music in general. Or books in general. I think they're about to be tired of books. <laughs> they're about they're just on oh, the yeah, cusp yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've oh, seen a lot just, of I book fatigue. Have, note. I'm gone. have you guys seen all the tweets about book fatigue? They're everywhere. People are like, oh, fucking mm, books, yeah. pages, man. <laughs> oh, wow, Weird. more pages. Uh, yeah, really oh, the new one I got. Yeah, more pages. Again. Let like, me yeah. guess it's got a cover. Ooh, wow. <laughs> Anyone tired of words? 
Do you think he would say that he was tired of Super Mario World 3? <laughs> <laughs> He'd be like a fed did that you'd that. say that. You'd be like, what the fuck are you talking about? What the fucking same, Rag. For Marvel, for any kind of long running thing, is a What's thing. What's with a weird blurry background? What's up so with like, that? Yeah. <laughs> I just noticed that. Yeah, he's got like, <laughs> what? Like, what is that? happening? There's like a little bit of irony around him, but he then everything it. else is. He's got like an aura. Record... The... <laughs> yeah, yeah. aura of clarity, which so, is the opposite. I guess I'm, uh, like a man I think that's what's going on here. I think that's what's going on here. He doesn't want to show his background, but he doesn't know how to do like that NVIDIA auto snip thing oh. that, that's going around with newer but he, GPUs. No, he has a green oh. screen wall. We saw it. He painted his. He did. He green. painted his own room green. I think he's moving the handle of the door. This is a background that he chose out of anything. No, I think no, what happened on, is he, he has a Zoom app. He it's probably I'm, like a Zoom or Office app where you could record yourself and, it like and have the background zoomed out, blurred out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So it makes it look like shit, but yes. like yeah, the, oh, it, it's so, terrible. So hold on, Regs. I will. I will defend the green wall things. I did that too. It actually works pretty well. Having like, like a it green didn't door work very well, Dev. No, 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 no. I'm not <laughs> we, talking. We... I'm not talking about the green wall. I'm. I'm saying oh. why would he do this when he went through all the trouble to paint. Oof. Not only the right, wall right, green, yes. but it also but looked like the shit door rags, frame remember? green, the door and the door handle green. <laughs> he didn't have a piece of wall yeah. that was wide enough to uh, uh, frame himself, so we had to make sure that the door and the handle were also <laughs> painted green. I'll just leave the door handle there. <laughs> just wait for a comment. What on earth is that behind you? Because you can't just literally unscrew the handle with the screws then put like a piece of tape over it and then paint over that so it's flat. There we go. <laughs> oh, yep. He did there it. Is. He did the there thing. I mean, also, he could th just crop still... out that bit on the left. Yeah, there's still the line in the door where it's dark. So yeah. you'd, you'd still get some sort That's of screws it up. Yeah. Yeah. So, here's the thing. For for some projects I need a very big big green screen. So I did paint the door. I did the exact same thing that he did here. And it actually worked okay. Um but I realized yeah, just just get a big green screen. Just like buy buy the cloth. They hang it up. Cheap, right? Like, it's just the a, cloth is cheap. The cloth is like really cheap. And you get a stand. Well, I bet the money, most of the money is just the stand or the curtain. Um, I, I think the, the on, difficult part of having a cloth there is that you need to to not have any wrinkles or anything in it, right? So well, the Elgato yeah, one fixes that. So you can pull it taut because it's a cloth, right? Well, hold on, hold on. I'll I'll, gi I'll give you this green screen detail because I've I've done this for a while. Okay. Oh boy. So insider in yeah, yeah. You you, you can cloth. buy you know like like a twenty dollar piece of cloth or something. It's gonna have folds in it. It's gonna be like it'll, it'll flap in the wind to get a good quality what green wind? screen. Okay. Well, if you have like your window open or <laughs> someone wind. walks by it, like okay. <laughs> well, rags. If there's wind. <laughs> if, <okay>. Your wind. <laughs> I hope not. Okay. <laughs> okay. Listen. Listen. A good quality green screen is foam backed. And the reason is the foam won't wrinkle. Mm -hmm. Even if you bend it, it'll it'll like kind of spring back into shape, okay. and it it won't it won't uh, be easily moved. And also, it absorbs sound. So you, oh. if you're gonna do any, anything with a green screen, you want a foam back green screen, and those will run you in the three figure range, not the two figure range. So it was probably out of Movie Bob's price range, but like five hundred dollars will get you for... a very very good green screen. But that's like a business he, expense. He has a thousand yeah, is, patrons. Yeah. He has a thousand patrons. It shouldn't be outside of his his uh, uh, you know like like that's, for a business expense. Yeah, and that's got to be yeah, better than yeah. painting your like like if the option is <laughs> I could have something really nice for three hundred dollars, or I could go to Sherwin Williams and buy a bunch of lime ass green paint and then paint <laughs> over like the wall. In the door frame and the door and the handle, like surely there would be that part of you that says, "Just get the board. It's it's better and it saves you all the hassle of the the painting stuff." And then like the floor, and mm -hmm. I mean the fact that the room can't be like used for anything else. Like you've locked that <laughs> room in to be what it's for. Yeah, see, the reason that I did it is because I was just starting and I was much younger and I had no money and I had a friend who worked at a paint department at a Home Depot and I got free paint. It's like, okay, there we go. Yeah, but fate then, as decided soon as I... that you would paint your wall green, all of those things with a friend and everything. But Movie as Bob, he doesn't it... have, like, friends, but he has, like, money and <laughs> stuff. He's been doing this for so long. Yeah, He's like his audio, yeah. you know? As soon as I started making more money at, at YouTube, I bought, I, I, I put out the $500 and I bought the green screen and it's actually really nice. Again, this is his job, right? This is his livelihood. Mm -hmm. Theoretically, this is his business. 
Uh, but I can't imagine that spending money on something that would look good <laughs> would be a bad decision. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a tiny cost compared to his editor that he had. Like, sure, editor, yeah, editing yeah. wasn't a huge involvement. Yeah, yeah. Time exists. It's not an issue. Of <laughs> that was a pretty funny oh, answer. No. He's not wrong. To be fair. <laughs> that That's a, the shortest that sentence pause. we're going to hear today, too. <laughs> Whether or not like, fatigue for Marvel movies, for any kind of movies, exists. The question is whether or not it matters and to what degree so, it's there. Like, he included, like, the screenshot of us talking about, like, She-Hulk. Does he think that we think that there's, like, Marvel fatigue? Or, like, what does he think? Um, or was that just know. irrelevant? Well, he know. Was that, also, was that, like, that image came after saying, like, we're hypocritical for saying we don't care about Phase 4, and yet we talk all about it. Did we say that we don't? No. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, so that's that, that's, that's dead that? in the water. <laughs> the last okay, right, okay. Well, as far as I'm concerned, there's probably been eleven or twelve times over the course of these fifteen years that we've been doing this. Marvel okay, episode. but like, how do you account for like the fact that this like Ant Man lo like potentially lost money? Yeah, the the exactly general public are losing money. interest. Another way like, to put that is that they're fatiguing on this franchise. You're right. You know, people have been saying like, "Oh, yeah, there's too many superhero films." Back in like 2013 or like 2012. Yeah. But like, one of them yep. lost money. So like, how does that factor into the movie Bob? You know, like realm of of like, well, shit. How does this affect my opinion on it? Like, when did this video come out? Um, Seven months ago. How long? Sorry? Seven months ago. Seven months ago. I, oh, I, well then, I, I guess it's it's aged not great then. Well, oh well. <laughs> well, it depends on what his conclusions are. We're not even close. Well, <laughs> so well, don't well, you yeah, worry. Right. Cinematic universe time. thing that various chunks of the audience or the whole audience has gotten burned out on the whole business, but they keep releasing them. They run on TV all the time. And the general audience that oh, doesn't cuts, spend geez. all day of their lives, like people in film media and hardcore film fans talking on social media about only one thing. Fuck me, man. Like, the, these like, sentences like, are like horrible. Like, it's like he's mm -hmm. reporting from, like, the, like, the, like a war. <laughs> <laughs> like so much the same like, one. Wait, like the Vietnam the War. War. <laughs> I'm in downtown, like Berlin or whatever. That, well, that's going too far back. But like he's he's like in a war zone with CNN or Fox News or something. His own he's personal got... Vietnam, man. Yeah. Yep, it's true. His <laughs> kitchen is his own personal Vietnam. <laughs> and it's like, man, you've been doing this for so long, and I can't get over how bad the audio and the video is. Like, don't you give a shit? This is particularly poignant, though, because it sounded like what he was trying to say was like, oh, all the people who are obsessed with films and talk about it all the time, yeah, sure, they're fatiguing, but the general audiences are just fine. It's like, no, they're not. Yeah, wow. Well, I mean, we saw, <laughs> we saw what happened there, didn't we? Yeah. Talking on social media about only one thing. You know, they reprocess the fatigue over a week or a weekend or something. They well, get that's, past that's turned out not to be the case. It's just funny. Um, it's like after Abman's results, it's just like, oof. Well, yeah, because what we're seeing, general uh, audiences at this point are tired, and this mm. is we're talking about people who don't spend all their time talking about you know movies like he's saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it's yeah. not yeah. really something I, they. Were... I, I keep hearing people that like they're moving over to anime and they're moving over to manga, right? And I think um, part of that is. I mean, do you think cause... that that's like general audiences though, like the kind of people who go I... watch NCIS or something? Like, do you think like what those do you people know? I think like. Is? I think in terms of like younger people, it is going to be like a slow but steady trend over the next decade or so that anime anime will continue to grow and these things will continue to wane. And I, I, I just, think I just as well, think... the more likely to go to like Korean dramas and stuff first. And yeah, that's I, I think they'll get absorbed by stuff like Avatar, Top Gun, fucking things that they want to see or in the cinema Mario. that aren't Marvel anymore. Yeah. Mario, yeah. Mm, yeah, maybe, maybe. Because well, this is what was proven, supply, right? Yeah. Like, Marvel were like, oh, la, 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 our, our numbers are down because of COVID. Oh, and then movies came out that fucking smashed them. They were like, oh, shit. And then it's like, well, shit, those uh, excuses don't really... These explanations don't work anymore. You know, when you have, like, stuff like... Even Avatar, right? Like, yeah, yeah. making shit tons of money. It's like, mm. oh, shit, something's gone wrong. Which, um, I guess this is kind of interesting because, like, really, seven months ago, even, the writing was kind of on the wall. Um, because seven months ago would have been by the time that, like, Top Gun was, uh, eclipsing, like, Multiverse of Madness at the box office, which is interesting, since you didn't typically see that, of, like, you know, standard action films 
like outperforming superhero films. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure why that didn't factor into his analysis, but damn, I guess we'll have to throw that on the pile of aged pretty badly. Yeah. Let's see what else what he has to say. Because, yeah, was, Avatar 2 wouldn't have been out by now, right? No, ago? Avatar 2 was like December, so yeah. that's like four months ago. But Top Gun was definitely out by this point. Mm -hmm. To begin with. And then they go back, see a movie they enjoy, and then they're back on board. Like, there's no well, meeting. Why do people talk about that, things like fatigue, that, like oh my Marvel God. fatigue? Uh, well, that's under the I'm, assumption wait, that is he, is he saying a good. meeting yeah. is he saying like the people have a meeting to decide I don't know I, I need to hear that again that was you lost me a bit there's something they get past it it's not really something they were thinking about to begin with and then they go back see a movie they enjoy and then they're back on board like there's no oh, meeting saying... why do people talk about things like fatigue like Marvel fatigue superhero fatigue fantasy movie fatigue blockbuster fatigue sci-fi movie fatigue, romantic comedy fatigue at any point in time <laughs> no, 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 it the the romantic comedy <laughs> fatigue. Wow. Okay, well, well, let's, driving let's, it to the ground no also i think am i understanding him correctly he's just saying people will con people will whine about it but they'll consume it at some point again yeah, yeah i think he's trying like to say it's not real fatigue's it. not real yeah. you just say it is yeah, uh, yeah, but, but okay. he's saying that the, yeah, the, the fatigue doesn't, doesn't. I mean, it's such a dumb take because we know that long before Marvel movies were even a thing, we know that fatigue existed. Like, why did Star Trek disappear for the first time? Yeah. Because they made four shows over the course of like fifteen years, and people stopped watching. Mm. Yeah, and if well, you want to say, well, that's not fatigue; that's just people not tuning in. I'd be like, what the fuck? What do you think? Yeah, I don't know why. What is why fatigue he... other than that? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I guess I'm still confused by the part where he's like meeting. It's like you don't need people mm. to like meet and decide on whether they are fatigued on something. Like that's just a general trend. Yeah. Nope. Why would you compare it to like meeting? I, I think he really thinks that like everyone is a collective and they all have to like he's implying there has to be some kind of top down opinion given to people. And if you don't give them that opinion, they won't have it. What so is like, people won't just decide on their own. See, okay. th 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 that's the thing yeah, because maybe. this. This is the meeting right now because he po he posted you guys earlier. He thinks that this is the meeting. Like <laughs> we e meet here today. The, yeah, yeah. The efaps are the ones that are like directing audiences to not watch anymore. We are here today well, to I tell chat how, how to feel about the team. <laughs> well, I mean, this is this is his chance then, right? He can tell the truth finally to chat. They can finally oh know what's God, actually happening with fatigue. Yeah. And there is wait also there is romantic movie fatigue because I don't re remember a romantic comedy or a romantic movie that a trend it, it's like there is superhero there is there are like genre fatigues at some point of course uh, absolutely yeah yeah so so I don't know this feels like copium from Bob I mean, you can... westerns war movies uh, sword and sandals right well, yeah, like, yeah, yeah basically yeah. the opposite of the trend it's like what is what is what is fatigue it's like it's when the thing can't do well because audiences aren't that interested in it yeah like, okay <laughs> where's the, where's the new disaster well, movies there was one every week yep you see it, it's moment. that after after a prolonged period of people being really interested in it so like zombie zombies stuff yeah in the, yeah in the, in, the, in the 2010s right everyone loved that shit and then it kind of petered out and now there's mm. zombie fatigue, and no one cares about zombies anymore. Well, is that I, I guess the, the, the relevant part of the equation is it's like, it's usually saturation combined with the deterioration in the quality of, like, a lot mm. of the stories that you're getting, right? Like, I hear that The Walking Dead gets pretty shit, like, eventually, after a while. Yeah. Or maybe not even like after a while. Like, season three or right? four, it gets really bad, man. It gets like, if it was quick. amazing, yeah. all, if it was amazing all the time, it's like, well, damn, you probably wouldn't see as much fatigue. But even then, you know, it might. But but it's just like the way that things work, right? Something starts working, and then you get a bunch of shitty imitations, and then you know people start to lose interest. I don't know why he's like baffled by this. You can see these trends like throughout film yeah. history, video game history. I mean, you see it with video games, yeah, right? yeah, the different yeah. types of genres of games that are popular, different types of like multiplayer it's like, modes, whether it be battle royale. It's clear as fuck um, with video you know, games. Like, yeah, yeah, like, like open like world weird. games for a while, and like, you know, yeah, like shooters the back in the 2000s. Games. Just co-op games, remember yeah. that? Good times, we just get them co-op games in there. Yeah. Good times. Battle Royales, yeah, that kind of feels like the newest one, right? That's a good yeah, one, too, still, because it's like, a, that one. you had some really big uh, uh, entries from the Battle Royales, right? Where if it was, if it was just quality and not uh, genre fatigue, right, those would have potentially done better than they did but they failed because people were just tired of playing battle royales, right? Like if anything, video games will show you um, because, you know, you've got a, I guess a lower barrier to entry to a larger market there. 
um, it will show you that, that, that these these genre fatigues do exist. I remember all the mm -hmm. shitty MOBAs that came out when League and like Dota yeah. were doing really well. It would just be like, "This is my MOBA on mobile. Make sure to well, pick it same up." With, uh... <laughs> Same with like mobile games in general, right? Like when Angry Birds got popular, or like uh, Candy Crush. Yeah. Survival crafters, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's yeah. lots of these genres that I... come out after a big boy comes out, but, but, and then but you then just again, watch it. Maybe movie right, right now it's like, like I agree, but I have some other point to make. That's yeah, no, that's that could be true. Oh. Because the thing about it is, I used to be one of the people who was like, Marvel's not fatiguing, it's doing just fine. This, the second it changed was box office numbers. That's when I was like, oh, fuck, I don't think it's fine anymore. It doesn't look fine. Nope. If Ant-Man made a billion and a half, I'd be like, yeah, they're fine. They're doing just yeah, fine. but it made a lot less than that. A lot less. <laughs> Do you ever remember getting called to like a fucking meeting like, like man, that's a really, there are, there, that's really mm -hmm. stupid, man. What, what is he really saying? Like, to say. <laughs> Top down enforcement of opinion. People, no one comes up with an opinion on their own. You get it from everybody else. You all have these have meetings. These we go to. Opinion. Like first call to order. Marvel like, fatigue. Are we? Are we fatigued? Yes. All all fatigue. Say I. I. All right. Well, the eyes have it. We're fatigued. The fuck. <laughs> the next meeting, they're like, Those are we are still fatigued? Shall be destroyed. You have my boat. Uh, like at your HOA, or like brought down to the community <laughs> center, or like a town hall meeting, or some shit. And what the fuck are you talking about? What is you? Are you? I Where think are you the, going? The Mountain Dew Come back to his brain. <laughs> Stop <laughs> cooking. Come Stop. back. There's there's definitely a a section of the internet that that believes that any any kind of talking head online, like any kind of YouTuber or streamer or whatever, you know, they like control their audiences that you know top <laughs> down very, very directly. And so like like when you say something, the, you know, your audience jumps. Was that and like I his perspective he's... on himself? Or like his <laughs> re like relationship with his own audience? Like you I, know I what I mean? Like his a projection. Yeah, it is. It, it, he views that with his audience and he views it with everyone's audience, right? That's why a lot of his tweets are kind of really, really out there. It's like, oh shit, you know, the gamer gators are coming or something. Right? He says that a lot. There's a, a lot of <laughs> this view that, like, you, you, like, like if, if the if, British like, a coming. YouTuber has outsized influence in his view to control these sort of things. I'm just picturing like Resident Evil Full House defense, but it's Gamer Gators a movie plot. <laughs> <laughs> crawling through the windows, it's just like, like IGN, ah! and I was trying to defend it. Boarding up the windows <laughs> so that the game of goblins can't get in. Like, <laughs> <laughs> man, if, if you ever want to laugh, just search up Movie Bob's name on Twitter with Gamergate. Oh, no. he, like, he still talks about it 10 years on constantly. <laughs> He's fucking wild. Man. To your One point, my... though, uh, mm -hmm. I, I think that YouTubers can have kind of an outsized uh, impact on their audience with regards oh, sure, yeah. to, to smaller things, right? Like, if you want to go on and say that the forgotten Sonic game is bad and you're the only person who's ever made that video, then sure, I, I imagine that will become part of, you know, the conversation is, oh, this is a bad game. But we're talking about fucking Marvel, right? This isn't yeah. this isn't something where one YouTuber can go out there and be like, Marvel's exactly. bad, right? Like, that's not a thing. He's like, than any one person. He's talking about this, like, meeting shit, and it's just like, just look at the fucking numbers. They've been going down, even at the point of him making this video. I, it's not I looking good at that point. That. I'm baffled by the meeting thing, though. Like, what is this fixation with the notion that people will, like, get together to essentially decide and collaborate? Well, he's never on, been like... with other people, is the thing. Yeah. So, yeah. he's never... Yeah, I never get invited to these meetings. Like, Bob, there are no meetings. It's like, yes, <laughs> there are. <laughs> like... I guess that's his point. That's he's just bitter right? about it all this time. <laughs> that's his point. Wait, there Movie no Bob meetings. is imagining... Wait, wait. So, Movie Bob is imagining there is a conspiracy that controls everything? Well, just well, no. I I think he's saying like, what are the meetings? There are no meetings, right? That's bullshit. It's yeah. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, that thing that you made up. Yeah, that that doesn't happen. Yes. Uh, yeah. You, when uh, you like, try to dig in, because there's no like, meeting, no one has an opinion. Yeah. Like, he's, the he's, idea of an individual coming up to their own conclusion is beyond. Well, them. yeah. All of us come into the same conclusion, which is that Marvel's in trouble. And he's like, "Wow, was there some fucking meeting that I missed?" It's like, no, <laughs> we, we just think this. That's something yeah. we all think. He, he he basically doesn't believe in the concept of a spontaneous order. He thinks that if there's a pattern, someone set it there. So, well, yeah, well, like especially if he disagrees with it, like because he clearly does. Yes. The the reason why a lot of an audience of a YouTube channel think the same thing is because that's why they're there in the first place. They found mm. a channel who has an opinion. 
that like resonates with them in the first place. Yeah. Very few people will go and watch a channel that just is wrong about everything that they think. Like that would be annoying. I watch plenty of channels that I think are wrong right. about everything. <laughs> <laughs> There's entertainment you know, in it. But... You know what Movie Bob would say though? Sounds like someone who attended a meeting would say. Like, <laughs> oh my god. The things that the hurts. minutes was. By the way, how are we feeling Bob's about the Marvel movie. movies? Are we all still like the joke doesn't even work because we're just like, what the fuck are you doing? Where are you? <laughs> I'm bored with Star Wars. I want to table this. No, that's not a thing that happens. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're right. <laughs> Nobody said that. <laughs> Nobody you, said it. You said that. Your, your premise is stupid. No one does that. For Bob, all... there's no one in the room. They're with you. you said it. <laughs> Where are these meetings, Bob? Are they in the room with us? <laughs> Like, this, this is fascinating. It he's, is. He's, he's, he's refuting an argument that he brought up. <laughs> yeah. Like, look, I keep telling you, Saturn doesn't like, control I've your always mind. always loved Saturn. Like, no, nobody you know, do people think him, there are meetings to discuss Marvel fatigue? No, they don't do that. Yep. I always okay. love the uh, the visual that like he sets up this straw man and just goes to fucking hell on it and then looks around with pride like I did it and everyone's like what what the is that <laughs> this is the next twelve minutes <laughs> fatigue is a hypothetical bullshit academic thing that people what? no what why what? what it's very straightforward <laughs> this is the thing the one thing I would concede on is like you might have multiple definitions if someone said fatigue is when the movies are getting real bad and people are losing interest or some combination of things as opposed to just if someone said fatigue is in the box office numbers that's how you can tell if someone just said that I'd be like oh that's pretty straightforward yeah there may be people with different ideas of what exactly fatigue means but what do you mean it's like academic nonsense what are you talking about <laughs> yeah. the marvel like academia stuff. Dev, why, Dev, why have you just posted movie bob's greatest contribution to culture <laughs> <laughs> because because this is the kind of take made by someone made by the 38 year old consumer it, the, the this idea that fatigue doesn't exist and is just academic because he he seems to be the guy that the guy that's just constantly consuming all the time and it doesn't matter that, like, like the quality of the content that he consumes it doesn't matter like it just no a constant wave of content should be like, should be washing over his brain 24/7 does that mean that he thinks that your Multiverse of Madness video is academic? I don't- I don't- oh, oh. that's a great fucking question, I actually have no idea. At that point, I don't even know if that's a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's that's happening kinda, anymore. <laughs> it's kinda sad. People in film schools and movie media and, and other shit that most of the world doesn't give a shit about have time to think about. And yeah. How do you, like, what about videos that get millions and millions and millions of views of engagement? It's like, nobody cares. It's like... <laughs> Somebody cares. A few people. Mm -hmm. Never does truly happen, like when things do pass out of fashion for like, you know, five or ten whole years at a time, like westerns or disaster movies or whatnot. Uh -huh. It's not something that you can see until you're ten or twelve years out from when it happened. What? No. Uh, it's the year well, why would that, that, that doesn't change anything, though. He, well, is his claim that, like, you can't predict things... But that's retarded. Like, what, what do you mean? You, like, oh, you can't tell until it's like, what is everyone doing? Trying to predict it. What do you and think that film studios when we say try Marvel, to Marvel, film studios try to predict trends in the absolutely. industry? Absolutely. When we say Marvel fatigue is like, if, so, if I said Marvel fatigue is here and then he goes, oh, they're still making enough money to continue, I'd be like, oh, okay, fine, settling in then. And he's like, what does that mean? And I go, well, in five to ten years, there's a good chance that they will have ground to a halt or at least cycled it so far down that we're getting one per year and it's not even that successful. And then he says, yeah. You can't really say that until 10 years after it's happened. It's like, I guess, yeah, like, we don't know that it happens until it happens, but you can make predictions about things that might happen. Yeah, why can't I just say this about anything he's ever tried to predict ever in any way? Like, why, why can't I just say that about you thinking that there is no Marvel fatigue? Yeah, you can't know that until you've got 10 years ahead of there being no fatigue. Exactly. Yep. Stupid. Checkmate. Oh. <laughs> Checkmate, Bob. <laughs> you can see until you're 10 or 12 years out from when it happened and then they start coming back and then you realize oh hey you know i think there might have been western fatigue for a while and i know did westerns make a huge comeback 10 years after they West went out of fashion westerns did not make know. a huge comeback after nope. they they got out so his premise is wrong again and uh, as I mentioned i'm pretty sure that's about it like, eh? well, he was lazy kind of cowboys killed it, didn't it? like the genre is dead <laughs> well i don't think I just think things come I mean, and go, because remember there was that time in, like, between the... I mean, really, it was the 50s to 70s, when there was, like, seven trillion westerns, and they're, they're just... 
everything yeah, we, from we've guns never returned to that. That's never theory. happened again. That was their yeah, it hasn't. And if so, like if yeah, someone it... said, um, you know, zombies, they happen, they're gonna be happening any time now because it's been ten years or something. I was like, what? I don't think that's I, how that works. The thing is, is, I think he would point to the the exceptions, right? He'd be like, oh, there have been westerns, like I don't, I don't know, Tarantino made Django, right? Like <laughs> that's kind of westerny. Um, you had. Cowboys versus aliens, I guess. But like, the, I can't think of any other. Yeah, it's not like Western <laughs> like, stopped being was, made. There was Deadwood, but that's about it. Yeah, like Deadwood was really good, but it that was right. That was it, the, these were these were exceptions, and they kind of proved the rule, right? Because people go, "Oh, yeah. look, a Western." Yeah, yeah. Like the, one of the big initial appeals of of Deadwood is that it it is a Western in an era where not many West, Westerns are being made. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it kind of stood out just. Just in that alone. Well, when we covered, I mean, um, how, how many zombie movies and shows have there been? We, when we covered Train to Busan, minutes. I remember there was a distinct air of like a zombie movie. It was like, yeah, it's a good one. I remember these. <laughs> like, remember zombie <laughs> movies? It's like, yeah, yeah, I do. It was like, oh, okay. Know that because I noticed now they're westerns and there weren't for a while. But you know, yeah, but that doesn't mean. Oh my god, that could literally mean anything <laughs> on the scale. Like, there's some coming back. There's one coming back. There's lots coming back. <laughs> Yeah, but his, Why does his, the, premise, uh... his premise doesn't work because he's saying that after they come back, everything will come back. But it well, doesn't. Like what everyone has been saying, like there, there's one cool cowboy alien thing or one uh, other cowboy movie. and But the whole trend doesn't appear. Like the thing that he's saying doesn't happen is happening, right? Like there is superhero fatigue. Uh, no, not super. There's cowboy fatigue because after that one movie... The, the trend doesn't come back, right? That's, yeah, he's almost get, treating it like it's so hyper small scale that the second a movie gets any kind of approval or bo like like we hit the Top Gun trend recently and it's already fatigued. It's like what? Yeah. No. <laughs> I, I guess I'm I'm perplexed by like, does he not think that you can look at like the box office gross of a movie now, and and make an assessment based on that? Because studios will, and yeah, studios can. All the time. Why can't the audience be very correct? I remember people were calling it if Black Panther would or wouldn't make a billion. Mm. Yeah, I thought it was going to make a yeah. billion. It didn't. Yeah. Like, so. I, I think what he said is how he judges things. So it's like, I don't notice it until it's come back, and then I realize it's happened, and then it's just said, this applies to everyone else. Yeah, he's... he's mm. yeah, yeah, I think yeah. you're right. that He's not too great yeah. at it, and he's like, so no one is. <laughs> it's like, uh, okay. In the middle of it, how could you? Like anyone who asks, if you're in the middle of it, how could you possibly predict what it's going to end as? Like, well, well there's only do, so many ways it can studios... end, and everyone's predicting shit, so someone's well, going to be how right. Do film studios make decisions about the films that they do. The, like, boards. The reason why you don't see as many westerns is because studios don't want to make any more westerns. Why do they do that? What metrics are they using to make those decisions? Because there are similar metrics that, like, the general public has access to when it comes to box office gross or budget. Oh, yeah, when no, when Ant Man no, makes you're wrong, Fringy, it's just Ouija boards exclusive. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> when Ant Man it's spirit board. When Ant Man doesn't even make five hundred million, it's not just all of us going, "Whoa, that's interesting." Plenty of people in general audiences might be aware of that information if they have some like interest in it. But you know, who's really interested in it? It's fucking Disney. They're gonna be yeah. like, "Oh, fuck. Disney's interested in it. Universal is interested in it. Um, like, um, I can't believe Paramount's interested in it." Well, it's so weird to have to explain this, but it's like, movie yeah. come out, make 10, next one come out, make 10, next one come out, make 11, next one come out, make 12, like, oh, wow, this is great, next one come out, make 8, ooh, oh no, put up another one, 7, oh, 6, oh shit, maybe yeah. we should start making these. And then maybe we should it, wait 12 years, and then we'll know. That's like, yeah, like, the simplest way you could put it, and he's like, yeah, but we're in the middle of that, you know, nine, eight, six, seven thing. Like, we can't know fatigue is set again. It's like, yeah, I guess we can't I know when... anything. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's exactly. the argument like... that no one knew it was World War One until World War Two happened. Yeah, that is, that is <laughs> like, an <laughs> Not until World War One was over did you know how long it lasted. You're like, what? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah I like, guess so. <laughs> <laughs> market, right? You don't know, like, when a crash, like, w you know, like, when a recession necessarily ends or begins or something like that, but, like, people are still going to be making decisions, like, in the midst of that and making predictions. Like, there people even are if there. certain information doesn't become clear until afterward, I mean, people can't make predictions about the future. You're forgetting the important thing that he laid out earlier, which is that time exists. Uh, no, yeah, that's, that's true. That's, that's, true. Yeah. that's true. I hadn't thought of that. Yes. Also, Actually, that that blur. Yeah. You could tell that, this motherfucker doesn't exercise. We'll have to do a time. Moves and the blur meanie. doesn't. 
<laughs> yeah, because like you can get fatigue depending on the intensity of the exercise, and that you, you just not if time isn't a thing. <laughs> but shit, he said it was. Fuck. Oh, mm. oh, oh he got the checkmate. Us, guys. He got us. Movie checkmate bomb stumbling into the correct opinion. Time exists. He was. He wasn't sure about it, but he went with it. It's about is there Marvel fatigue? What they're really asking is, it's always a film critic or a, a, a film person who wants to be a film critic. People who are interested in films. I'm sorry. about films. More at 11. So, is you, that brawler want to be movie critic? I don't just tell, <laughs> oh like, if, an, if a normal person, which you can talk to normal people in real life and they'll say stuff like this. If they say, man, I'm getting a little tired of those superhero movies. I feel like a lot of people are too. That's essentially paraphrasing the concept of m fatigue. Like, just because well, they didn't use the word doesn't mean that they're not, like, talking about the concept. Well, they must want the... to be movie critics, right? Like, that's, <laughs> you just said it. The only well, people... <laughs> no, because he included be everybody. Critics. He included movie critics or people that watch movies and talk about movies. <laughs> so the only people excluded are people who have don't watch movies. It's like mm -hmm. everybody else. Like, hey, Martha, yeah, do, do know, you have guys. an opinion on this? She's like, I don't even know what movies are. And you're like, aha! <laughs> See? <laughs> She's a normal <laughs> person. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> isn't getting paid to do it, but still bitches about movies online all day. Oh, that was you, you at one point. What do you mean? Actually, have God forbid an interest in something. That's a yeah, really like denigrating people with a hobby. Yeah. A weird thing to say. Well, that I mean, that to me just seems like pretty indicative of like, ah, oh, money's on your mind, movie Bob. Well, yeah, yeah, like yeah, you're, you're only legitimate if you're getting paid for it. it. If you're not getting paid yeah. for it. You're not doing anything. Well, I mean, value. that's pathetic, right? If you're not getting paid for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, doing something without getting paid for it, that's crazy. What a twat. Can't I mean, talk about <laughs> watching Marvel movies. People are there, like, aspiring to become, you know, creatives and uh, critical thinkers, or, or, like, breaking down all kinds of things. And you just said, they're like, if you're not being paid, fuck off. It's like, oh. <laughs> are you surprised that Movie Bob is espousing a elitist point of view here? Because. <laughs> uh, not, not really. when you do I, you I have. For it. I think Rude. I have the opposite impression you guys have. Can you can you wind it back like ten seconds? I might yeah. miss something. Film critic or someone who just isn't getting paid to do it, but still bitches about movies online all day. And what they're really okay, asking okay, is, okay, okay, okay. can I? Yeah, the only people who are who are complaining about this movie fatigue are people who are movie critics or want to be movie critics, or people who just like to talk about movies and watch movies. <laughs> right, right. So, see, <laughs> yep. when I first listened, I thought I thought he was making the argument that like people who get paid, their opinions have been tainted by money and it's not pure anymore. Yeah, no, that, that would be a good things. point. But wow. he's no, no. He, he's saying that like, oh, those of you who didn't make it to become professional movie critics, and you just you know complain on social media all day about movies. Like, okay, I get it now. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. no, this um, is an elitist right. point, and the thing is that it's not even meant to be right. Like, he's just kind of throwing out, oh, all these people who are stupid, but but he's he's exposing his internal beliefs here by saying, oh, and you're not even getting paid. Uh, this like his whole approach here has a huge air of like, all of you idiots are wrong. It's very well, I mean, simple. The video is called The Internet is Stupid, so. Yeah. Part one. Nailing yeah, it. Part... And what they're really part... asking is, can I please finally stop talking about this? The answer is what? usually, yes, please do. Nobody wants to hear what you have to so say. So there you go. There's this theory that well, in reality, she... you guys well, just want to really stop talking about it. But like, what yeah. does he it's make just... of like the wait, then huh? millions of views on the multiverse video? Wait, wait, this just confuse. Wait, this. Uh, I'm having a headache. This just confuses me. So <laughs> what he's saying is that everyone that is talking about movies are asking permission to not talk about it. Is that mm -hmm. what he's saying? They don't really want to talk that, about this well, anymore. He's, he's done the mental. He's figured it out, right? Like people who complain about oh. Marvel movie fatigue are just looking for any excuse to stop talking about Marvel movies, right? Exclusively, though. It, well, it backs up the, the whole thing you said earlier, right? That we claim not to care, and yet clearly we do. It's if a, any smart person, if they don't want to talk about it, they just won't talk about it. This is retarded. I mean, These aren't it, smart he could have been saying. These are Marvel fans. Oh my god. He, he could have been saying before that people that were talking about it before were like just grifting for money. And then there was a load of stupid people that listened to them and kind of got indoctrinated into their opinion. And now they're stupidly repeating that opinion without getting paid. And be oh. now he's saying that all the grifters really want to stop and he wants them to stop. But that wouldn't make sense if they were. Well, he wants no them one to was stop because, because nobody they wouldn't cares. be making any money out of it. So. Oh my God. Yeah, what? 
ultimately what he believes is happening, if I were to say Marvel 2 is set in, he believes what I'm thinking is, man, am I so fucking tired about talking about this, but I have to because that's what I get paid for. I'm just going to say, isn't everyone tired of this? Yeah, everybody? Yep. Yeah, the and, then, and then I have to realize, normies. oh no, they're not tired of it. And he's like, right. so why don't you just fuck off if you're tired of it? And I'm sitting here like, well, I'm, 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 and that's not... <laughs> It's it's such a weird like I'm not tired of discussing modern yeah. like movie releases. Ugh. Movie Bob's so stupid. But it should right. just be easy to prove, right? If if everyone actually loves these movies, he could just go, "Look, they're really successful." That that should be it. It's a two yeah. minute video, job done. No one's bored. Well, that's the thing, right? If Ant Man had come out and then you made this video, he might have amended a few of these points. <laughs> anyway. But of course, they can't stop talking suspected. about it because everyone else is, and they'll be left out of the conversation. So what they're really asking is, will everyone else please talk about something that I want to talk about? Of course, if you had anything interesting... <laughs> the this fuck is the internet? Does this feel like projection to you? Everything so much. The projection! Yeah, God. Yeah, the projection! God. Angry. Because it's, it's, it's like, <laughs> clearly, clearly he sure hates world. talking about this. He wants to talk about something else. It's like, okay, then do. Do it. It's your channel. Luckily, I mean, surely by now, Movie Bob, with all the years that you've put into this, you can talk about whatever you want, right? Well, People will, I get, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Movie Bob just wants to put the piano out Still and a sing. Slave Lin to the trend. I suppose the, uh, the the timing of this is really funny, considering that last week we talked about a Mario movie, which was pretty popular, the Tetris movie, and sixty five, a film nobody watched. Nope. Yeah. I mean, nobody really watched man? Tetris. I don't think either. Like, I just have no. Not I've many no one talking about Tetris it. Either, but well, that didn't stop us from. Out. Yeah, it did. And nobody watched. <laughs> well, I What's what I mean? It's so weird to be <laughs> singled out by him when I consider what we choose to talk about is strictly the stuff we, we care about. about. The menu, dude. Yeah, the what menu. Thing <laughs> to say, you could be directing that conversation, but you don't. But like, does it exist? Does even I, who loves a lot of these fucking movies, every once in a while, say it's like, you know, even I'm getting a little sick of talking about this once in a while. Yeah. Uh, oh, it, so it, there it we go. So now uh, we're starting to get is. some. Now we're starting to get a little bit of honesty here. Almost like he's upset some people enjoy <laughs> I mean, talking about this when he hates talking. I was going to exactly. say, that's a box tick for projection that. again. Like, that means that yeah, just confirmed it. That's a, yeah, that's You're actually point. annoyed of having to talk about these movies all the time. <laughs> yeah, you think everyone thinks the same way as you. It's like, no? It took me a second there because I was, I was focusing on his doesn't even I... Uh, a sentence which just felt wait did he actually say doesn't even i doesn't yeah, even well, i we need to, we need to that, like, then. you know even i'm getting a little sick of talking about oh is it earlier than that a little earlier yeah it just uh, i spent a lot of time thinking but about it you don't but like does it exist does even i who loves a lot of ah, yeah. <laughs> does even yeah. i uh, yeah, Does so even I and I, just, weird I, I got stuck there for a while i think it's going to catch on i think he's a he's a bit of a trailblazer so <laughs> yeah fucking movies every once in a while so he's like you know even i'm getting a little sick of talking about this once in a while yeah and it's it not funny to be like, like there is no marvel fatigue but even i'm getting tired of talking about marvel movies <laughs> Look, he's making a meeting so we can all talk about <laughs> yeah this is yeah, yeah we'll right. find out then <laughs> Like, uh, you know, a day or a couple hours. You know, if he actually stumbled across a meeting where all of the big movie critics were deciding whether or not Marvel TV exists, he would probably walk past and go, that's so stupid. Walk in, sit down, and be like, this is dumb. Um, yeah, maybe it is setting in, actually. Hmm. And he'd walk up to the board and start writing notes and stuff and be like, yeah, I think I think it, it kind of is, but also kind of isn't. Like, he just wants to be in these meetings, guys. All he's looking for. Mm. He just wants and to go I, to the meetings. Somebody invited him. It's, it's just um, the, the, the talking about like who's the real critics or not. It's like that matters to you a bit, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. 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 yeah he's like, again, elitism. But right? it keeps like, you're not a real other people. Yeah. Well, that's, you're not a real guess, reviewer. Yeah. Right. Like, oh, yeah. People who really want to be considered reviewers, but they don't get paid money to do it. It's like, I don't know, man. These are all things that you're choosing to bring up. They're mm. weird. They seem reflective of your I'm not bitter. attitude. I'm not this. bitter. No, I'm not. Yeah. Why would you even say that? I'm not, no, I'm not angry that I was never invited to meetings, but me meetings suck. But I'm not. <laughs> so I, I, I never wanted to be a part of them anyway. Meetings suck. They're dumb. They I don't mean, exist. But wouldn't mind an invitation. Yeah. So, so a lot of people think that the whole Lindsay Ellis thing was him like crushing on her, and she like she was kind of being polite, but then like rejected him, and it was a big public, you know. But I don't think it was that. I think what it was was that back in the day. Back when that guy with the glasses.com was the, the hub of the internet, mm. Lindsay Ellis was on there as the nostalgia chick, and Movie Bob wasn't on there, and he wanted to get on there. 
And I think that's kind of just hung over his head now for 15 you think, years. Do you think he thinks that she was running some meetings and he was like, ooh, if I can get in. <laughs> <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta get into those that guy with the glasses meetings, guys. <laughs> Eat the fucking meetings. I say, oh, hey, here's a new commercial for something. And then I'm back on board because I've got a million other things going on in my life. I don't have time. I don't know. So he when just admitted that he could see like a million of them get bored, but then he sees a commercial for the next one and he's in. Like, Consume. okay. Yeah, Bob, you've just highlighted a different thing. <laughs> I don't know if you realized. Yeah. Like, I think he's ranting now because that's his, what he's describing is his job. I've well, got yeah, so but... many other things I could be doing, you know? I've got so many things to do. <laughs> Fatigued enough by other things. To not be fatigued about the fucking Marvel movies. I don't yeah, even, man, like, somehow like he's managed to. That works. Like, yeah, he's argued all the way life, around huh? saying it would be sad to be fatigued by Marvel. Like, like how how much do you not have going on in your life in order to be that bored you by can superhero be movies? About a set of films. Like, if that's Jeremy, it is that so. Like, how did you get here? I could totally picture like just normal people being like, "Man, that I don't even tell the difference between Ant Man, Shazam, and all that other shit, Black Adam, whatever." I'm gonna, oh, Top Gun though, I know that I'm gonna go see it. And then Movie Bob's there, like, what "The fuck is wrong with you? What do you have going What's... on in your life that you think that Ant Man <laughs> is fatiguing you from seeing Shazam?" We'd be like, "Okay, why aren't you getting me to the moon?" <laughs> you, don't, you don't go to those do, meetings. Do you think do you? he thinks that about everyone's career though? He like walks up to parking attendants. Why do you care so much about the lines on a paper on the on the road? It, the I was thinking that... about regular jobs, right? Like, the notion that they can get bored because they're exhausted with other things in their life. That, like, everything is interesting when they get home. Because they're so tired from coming home from the store mill. Well, that's that's why a lot of people are angry. This is their entertainment. This is their escapism. And you've ruined it. And so it's mm -hmm. like, now I have to work, come back, and it's still crap. So they're after other entertainment elsewhere. Yeah, like, how, how does he account for, like audiences on like the watch youtube videos are in like the millions like how does he account for that like interest in like analysis of films on that scale that's that's got to be heaps of like normies who are watching no, those types of videos critics. everyone ah, yes of course and they Everyone's yeah they spend all their time screen. on the <laughs> <laughs> what's going on with you that you can be it kind of seems like you should have other things going on in your life. Oh my god! It's unbelievable. I, I can't get it. So it's amazing. It's he's so he's, boring, he's argued like, that if you feel oh, bored by superhero movies, you have no life. This, this is the perfect phrase. <laughs> Look, his blur is well, manually well, done. It's not tracked to him. As he moves away, it stays, and he's even leaning into the blur section. <laughs> I think now. you're right. Oh, he has manually do done. Oh, <laughs> he's just going to be in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now. <laughs> this is not even oh. his, 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 his argument seems to be that if you care enough about these movies to, to, to like complain online that you're getting fatigued by how there's too many of them you're kind of getting tired of it you've added too many things then you, no you didn't you, have, you didn't have those things in there he just said if you're oh, fatigued like by it oh. instead of, he, he was very very straightforward fatigued by okay. it when you should be fatigued by other more meaningful things in life then you're sad like to be fatigued by superior movies Jesus, that's was pretty the direction strict. I thought this would go, but here we are. Yeah, yeah, I mean, me either, actually. Quite the take. Yeah, yeah like, he, quite a he, it's like he's trying to say, like, you're doing your, you're fixing some stuff in the house, doing your regular job, you're talking to people, and you're like, fuck, is it boring to keep going to these parties? I guess I'll go watch a movie, and it's like, well, I haven't, I, I don't watch superhero movies all the time, so I'll never get bored of these. Woohoo. It's just like, do you know what humans are like? When, well, <laughs> when you go to the cinema and it's like, you know, what do you want to see? And it's like, oh, zombie movie, romantic comedy, action adventure, one of them Marvel movies are out, or maybe a comedy. And you're like, yeah, I don't really want to go see another superhero movie. I'll go. To... And he's like, what? What the fuck? Yeah, like, just, <laughs> the majority this... of people who watch these films are just normies. Like, do you think, like, you think, like, Marvel movies were making a billion dollars off of, like, film buffs? Like, regular just film goers watch these films. Yeah, but he... Regular film goers have stopped going to watch these films. Well, that's what the part of this video that's not in here. That information hasn't been accepted. Right, right. Yeah, then well... we, we tie it together with his whole, you know, uh, um, people who talk about this are elitist stuff. And I don't... I think maybe his whole argument is that you should care so little about what you put into your, your gullet that you just <laughs> shove it phrase. in. Yeah, that you shouldn't right? get bored of it. You you shouldn't be bored because you don't care enough because it's just is just content hashtag content just feed it into yourself. I at that I'm point, sure. shouldn't all movies just be successful? 
I right, just don't. exactly. Why, like, why does anybody sides? have any preferences, you know? Yeah, what does like, the audience say? Yeah, yeah. Well, and, and also, there's... The, the criticism that he's making is basically like a coat you can hang on anything. The whole, like, oh, you care enough to complain about this on the internet? You're like, well, I mean, you, you care you enough about to complain about me complaining living. about it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's going to let you down. His like, job is... Yeah. But to yeah, be fair, the internet is stupid, and maybe he'd say that includes him. on anything... That, 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 that you like on the internet it's like oh you're talking about this you care enough to talk about it? it's like well you cared enough to comment. come on man you care enough to care enough that the other people are talking about it let's just keep going <laughs> and then he'd be like yeah well you're even worse because you're caring about me caring about you caring about it and you're caring about me caring about you <laughs> caring about me caring about you caring about it all right <laughs> so true Bob, you know that meme where there's the guy in the corner at the party? That's Bob, and he's like, they don't even know I don't have Marvel <laughs> fatigue. <laughs> have other things going on in your life. That would be my thought there. <clears throat> but okay, hyperbole about the need for entertainment media to manufacture... You know, it's kind of a shame we're not still on that version of him because he was a little bit more normal speaking. Yes, he was. He was. Coherence, now we're back to one minute long sentences. Yep. <laughs> Actual conflict narratives where they don't exist because all the real conflict narratives in the industry these days. What you mean, like the one that one. you've created? Yeah, dude, how would you? Oh, all right, no. <laughs> <laughs> actual conflict going. narratives where they don't exist because all the real conflict narratives in the industry these days, according to ah, Comcast bigger than Disney in market cap. I didn't know that. Oh, this is old. This is before Fox. See. It's Disney, and then there's Fox. Mm, this is out yeah. of date, and also like, yeah, like, what? What are we? What is? What's meant to be done with this? This is the real what's... conflict. Oh. Disney. These companies. Disney makes a lot of money, therefore, like, it's they're indifferent to like potential lost revenue. I guess he's just saying this is the real fight, the ones that you guys are making. Oh, right, the, right, because it's the proletariat and the bourgeois or whatever. Probably, yeah. Corporate level. <laughs> and are thus, uh, well, perhaps more difficult to cover since they involve everybody's bosses. Him. Well, if we're playing along and acting like there's something here, it's the question of whether or not simply the Marvel cycle, but the whole shared universe, comic book, superhero, genre mashup, whatever we're calling it now, cycle has hit its peak as the centerpiece of blockbuster entertainment and is- We passed the peak. Does he think that it's, like, witty to just have the sentence be really long? It's also, yeah, because yeah. those are, like, useless words, and they're all redundant yeah. ones, anyway. Exactly. Wait a second. I, the fact that he admits that there is a peak in trends means that there has to be fatigue. That's the end of the trend. Yeah. Well, remember, he, he even said he feels fatigue. Like, he does, <laughs> yes. He threw a whole bunch of shit in you that just makes the whole video hard to follow. Well, he was already hard to follow, what am I saying? <laughs> is now on the predictable downward trend, that, and if so, is this observable in the reception of the various Phase 4 movies at the box office, which, outside the ones where we're adjusting based on COVID, still having been enacted? Oh, he's doing the COVID cope. Well, that's okay, because at this point, Thor Love and Thunder and uh, Multiverse would have been out, so, you know, like, I guess and he has other to try great and successes. Into account. In no, we'll talk about them. We're talking about, like, non-Marvel Marvel, non -Marvel movies. Oh, right. So, like, you can't use oh, the yeah, COVID excuse, is what I'm saying. Yeah. Even impediment have been putting up big but not Avengers big numbers. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> so, hit because the real question is was there an expectation that like Multiverse of Madness was going to make a billion dollars? I get the impression that the answer was yes, and it yeah. didn't. Made close to that, but it didn't make quite that. You know, and, and that good, matters. It does. Not Avengers good audience response, apart from that one that was Avengers All Spider Man's edition, and the streaming TV show releases, which now arrive at a regular pace and consistent caliber enough to have rapidly evolved from there's a new Marvel show and it's the only thing pop culture will talk about for the next month and a half to oh, heh, another one of these. Girl Hulk now? Um, it doesn't that. I'm sorry. How can you say that and then be like, yeah, but there's no fatigue? I mean, yeah. it sounds like, like that would be an element even, of fatigue, People don't right? even consider the, the, the stuff to be special yeah. anymore. Mm -hmm. They're just normal events. They're just, okay. Dude, it's come good. on. Yeah. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I mean, I'm letting him argue for us at this point. I mean, yeah, he's <laughs> yeah, taking care of a couple well. of the characters already. Hey, maybe. That sounds nifty. I'll probably watch that. Until the by now oh, no. reliable point, either at mid-season or the very last episode, where something really potentially huge maybe happens to set up other movies, characters, concepts, etc. that everyone has been hoping to see appear, return, or just get mentioned, which then leaks to social media and everyone loses their minds or has to run back and binge the whole sound. thing right away. So, 
it's just horrible. But he's also, I think, trying to say, like, you see the cycle is alive and well. A thing comes out, people are okay with it, but it hits its last episode, everyone gets super excited, and the cycle continues. And it's like, do you know anything about the state of these shows, their engagement, or obviously the box office slowly degrading for them? It's like, how is this not relevant information? Yep. The way, thus proving the entire premise of this whole discussion pointless, and also why... Well, just that's going... aged poorly. It's yep. just aged poorly. Yeah. It, yeah, it sounds so, like he changed mics in between the take there for, or something. So, like, something radically changed. It sounds like shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so it's like maybe, he's, yeah. maybe now he's finally swallowed whatever he was eating and now he's talking. Or, <laughs> know, that makes him sound <laughs> worse. But uh, just to, the, to, to, to sign, sort of summarize what he's saying here, because I'm having a real hard time with this video. <laughs> oh. um, really? So, so Marvel fatigue does not exist because the only people who are talking about it are people who watch movies, but uh, we know it doesn't exist because the average person, they get fatigued by it, and so do I, as movie bug, I also get fatigued by it, but it's okay because eventually I will see a new shiny thing and get obsessed with it again and come back into it, and, and, and that'll be why fatigue doesn't, though it does exist, of course, but it doesn't. Am I... Like well, one I part you missed is that point? we know it doesn't exist because by the time you can actually point to it having existed, it's already been it's already been that way for ten years. I kind okay. of agree with Moriarty. It's like a it's like a really retarded argument for just consume product. Well, yeah, th there's nothing coherent in here. It's all crazy. Yeah, yeah mm. people will just consume. <laughs> By the time people will get tired, the new shiny thing that connects the Marvel product is connecting it to the next Marvel product, so people will get excited again. Despite the fact that Movie Bob described fatigue, he did. and even For... said he gets fatigued. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So... Right. Oh. Right. Like I'm trying. What do you want really? me to think, I'm Movie willing. Bob? I've, a, I've I've signed hours of my time to try to hear you, you out. Learn from Movie you, Bob. Bob? Learn. Help me out here. Throw me a bone to run back and binge the whole thing right away, thus proving the entire premise of this whole discussion pointless, and also why they're just going to keep winning this game until the no. heat death of the actual goddamn universe. No, well, he's, they've already I mean, started losing. Just, I, they're I not winning the game anymore. They're not winning he, the game. Like, now I, it's, it's they're not at the top of the box office anymore. He's, no? simp he's simping for Disney. What he's saying is people will just eat the product anyway so shut up about fatigue it doesn't happen oh yeah which is like well. the most poorly timed time to say this in the <laughs> mcu's entire history yeah mm -hmm. you'd said this at any other point you'd be all right but now you now is the time you can't say this universe and meanwhile the movie theater comeback story of 2022 which heading in the whole industry had basically resigned itself to accepting as being the final opportunity for marvel and disney to swagger in and cement their dominion over the next 15 to 20 years of cinematic culture by being that chewed up audio, you know? That's I know, so right? Bad. Like, geez, don't like give a shit. Come on, man. Being the only box office force capable of showing a real resurgence after the pandemic instead became holy shit. Turns out people really wanted to see Top Gun Part Two, huh? Who knew? Which I mean, I knew. I knew the whole damn time. Did, did you know? Did you know it was? Did you know it was going to make know. like one and a half billion dollars? Nobody did knew that. Know that. Nobody. He knew the whole time. Nobody fucking do. Okay. Was a genius. <laughs> Nobody knew. Nobody why would you knew doubt? That. That's movie why. Bob. I don't. Why would you doubt him? Listen to Rex. Have faith in Movie Bob. Very well. Not know the whole Tam time? I mean, look. I'm... Tam time? Tam time? <laughs> What's a Tam time? <laughs> I'm as glad as anyone to see both that and stuff like Everything Everywhere All at Once come out and crush it this year so we can at least get some spark of variety going again. That's a good thing, he's, but I'm not he's sure He's describing what... fatigue! Yeah, but when, when a whole bunch of other stuff is doing really well and Marvel isn't, what do you think that's indicative of? Oh yeah, my god. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Very straightforward, Mr. Bobbitt. I don't understand. <laughs> Why it's being treated like someone discovering a secret mystery formula when I could have told you Top Gun 2 would have been the biggest. Movie oh, yeah, you could have told him about movie Bob. <laughs> you could have told like, him. Somehow, I doubt, somehow I'm pressing X to doubt. I'm pressing X to doubt on that shit. He knew. Come on, he knew. He knew. Here it came out immediately after Top Gun 1. Like, the only reason it took this long to get a Top Gun 2 is that back when Top Gun 1 came out, it wasn't necessarily the kind of movie you immediately did a sequel to, and Tom Cruise pivoted to drive. That's your, that's your insight? The original it Top wasn't Gun necessarily oh, oh, the kind oh, of movie you make a sequel oh. to. 
Top Gun was pretty successful, but it wasn't as successful relatively as Top Gun Maverick. I think I think it made like 60, 70 million, which, you know, in the 80s, right? But I uh I think oh no, wait, no, that that film it did make a lot of money, but like you know. not like 1.5 billion dollars. <laughs> like I'm pretty sure it didn't make that much money. It sounds like cope, all of it. Because this is actual information that kind of fucks with the narrative, right? So he's got to like try and shelf it he away. He has to find a way to like this is, Yeah, it. this is against oh, no, the very point he's making. Top Gun made $357 million in 1986. That's really good. Oh, On a budget shit. of $15 million, that's damn good. Oh, yeah. um, it's not $1.5 billion, though. Yeah. <laughs> Even adjusted for inflation, inflation, it's not $1.5 billion. Even adjusted for inflation, that's not $1.5, right? Surely. I don't know, maybe. I would uh, have could to be check, close to a billion, it. at least. Yeah, yeah, I could believe that. Awards, and after that, the Mission Impossible series became his big action franchise instead. Also, sidebar... Can but, you stop pretending there's this big meaningful difference between the Mission Impossible movies and Marvel, DC, whatever? Oh what? Oh Yo, my huh? God! Mission well, Impossible. You have, you have <laughs> to. Oh my God! You, oh my God. You, Shut you have up, to acknowledge that there's a oh. series are the same. You know, Ant Man: Quantum Media and Mission Impossible Fallout is basically the same. Damn, that's like really lame and reductive to like compare Mission Impossible with the amount of effort and craft no, that goes no, no, into the no. filmmaking. No, 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 Fringy. Fringy, no. it's not. If you just take it into account that what he thinks of a film is it's just fucking content with absolutely no purpose other than to be shoved into your eye brain and just, just fucking vomited. Ah! His attitude <laughs> towards film is oddly similar to his attitude towards food. Yeah. Ah! Oh, God, ah! I was going to make that joke and Rags beat me to it. Damn it. <laughs> Sidebar, can we stop pretending there's this big meaningful difference between the Mission Impossible movies and Marvel, DC, whatever superhero stuff? I mean, apart from the fact that I find most of that series to be kind of overrated installment to installment, you know, like strip off the superficialities and genre <laughs> pedigree, you know, the meaningful difference. What is these cuts? <laughs> what the strip out all the meaningful differences. Strip away all the meaningful differences. If you strip away everything that makes them different. the things that are different, they're kind of the same, really. I'm sorry, like, the fucking audio popping is driving me nuts. It's like, stop. <laughs> I did. The fact that I find most of that series to be kind of overrated installment to installment. You know, like, strip off the superficialities and genre pedigree. You know, the meaningful difference between the Mission Impossible movies and the Captain America Are you America doing this? Is that in between the sequels, Ethan Hunt the popping? doesn't team up with, like, no, I'm hearing it, too. it feels like it's skipping, it's like, like, nonsensically. It's not me, it's right? Meaningful it's difference his editing. between that, that's Mission his editing. Impossible yeah. and Captain that's America is that he doesn't team up with Sonic the Hedgehog, Robocop, <laughs> and <laughs> 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 Look, we've heard this argument a million Sonic times. Hedgehog, this, Robocop, this, this, I feel like that is He's on the money. That is isn't. You know, I'd say that is an appreciable difference, actually, that Ethan Hunt doesn't team up with Sonic the Hedgehog, <laughs> Robocop, or Maximus Decimus Meridius. That is... I don't know, man. That's just kind of... That's, okay, that's true. Yeah. That If they did that movie, I'd be like, you know, Mission Impossible's just like Captain that's America. It. The thing is, he'd be like, that's a joke. It's like, yeah, but it's, like, inaccurate. Which Dumb as fuck. I don't even get the analogy. <laughs> that's the point. Yeah, exactly. He's, he's the saying that the main sucks. thing that separates the Mission Impossible movies from like Marvel is the fact that he doesn't eventually every five years do a team up movie. Yeah, it's like that's an appreciable difference, my man. It's fucking stupid. It is really it's fucking how you really stupid. Feel. The difference between the Mission Impossible <laughs> movies and the Captain America movies is that in between the sequels, Ethan Hunt doesn't team up with like Gladiator, Robocop, and he calls him oh, Gladiator. Yeah, I mean, no, <laughs> Sonic His name is Gladiator. Like I said before, as far as I'm concerned, these culture oh. fatigue questions are usually the wrong question, or at least asked in the wrong way. Okay, what is the right question? What's the right question? What Give it to us, Bob. Did we just get Even to the actual point of this video Maybe. Now? Is okay. this, you can never really know. Is he about it. to hit us? Being the asked right in good faith, the answers that get the most attention are almost always going to be the ones that don't give you anything like a good faith or unbiased reading, but instead twist things up to serve the agenda of the person doing the answering. Ask someone who loves the Marvel Not Cinematic this Universe. Video, though. Yeah, see, so the problem with everyone else is that they'll give you a narrative that focuses on whatever, well, an answer that focuses on their narrative, you see, but he's going to give us the cold hard truth. I'm excited. I'm ready for it. To death would yeah, happily watch nine more movies and a dozen more shows a year and practically lives at Avengers Campus Disney and they'll tell you not only no, never, but they'll have an excuse for every single shortcoming so well practiced. Short. 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 <laughs> Where did Wait, that is, is short come from? Different people have different opinions. Because yeah. I think yeah, that's his lies. Right? lies. You went to the meeting and you absorbed the same thing I did. Yeah. I was too busy. I was at the, Na the secret NASA meeting on the moon base. Uh... <laughs> 
where we talk about the how we hide the flat earth from people. So I, I missed the meeting on how we decide artificially which movies and franchises do and do not get fatigue. Yes. I think it's the gas we put in the theaters mm-hmm. though. We, we pump in a little <laughs> gas, gas and it makes people like want more or want less. Only no, never, but they'll have an excuse for every single shortcoming. So well-practiced Kamala Khan would tell him to rein it in a bit. She blasted through Thanos' fleet like a flaming angel. What happened to the audio what? quality? Jesus. It's, it is so chewed up. The happened? video is yeah. just a mess. <laughs> it's it's like, very appropriate that movie Bob's editing is I think, he's, right? I think he's recording this off his mic. So it's like playing oh, through speakers oh into God. his mic. You, think, well, she abandoned you might be right. Earth, but like, look at and he's recording the Oh my the God, footage. you might be right. The Holy footage shit. doesn't look like just it's downloading the video. Mon, yeah, Mon like MCU doesn't need you to fuck it up, Bob, okay? Obviously, we Holy don't know exactly what she's been up to, but hey, maybe she just needed a break, you know? Uh, do, wait, do we, this is this is music, right? Do we need to, do we need to be talking Hopefully about that? Hopefully that's... Or? we're all right. And a woman just we're about to end. On the other hand, if you ask YouTube or adjacent social media loudmouths, Marvel Studios... What, what happened to the microphone? Changed. <laughs> <laughs> what? Did you hear that shit? Listen to that. On the other hand, if you ask YouTube or adjacent social media loudmouths, Marvel Studios... <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> It's like he walks in the room. It's like it's not He's recording while walking around. He's in the bathroom recording the bathroom. two different microphones and then blending them together. How did you fuck that up so bad? What what happened was he was recording with his USB mic and it wasn't plugged in. Yeah, somebody said it wasn't plugged in all the way. <laughs> and mid recording, he noticed, oh shit, it's not plugged but in. It, then, it, then mid, he went, mid words? Uh, mid words? He's fucking with the little okay. USB and it puts it in all the way. What? That's the only thing that makes sense, Mother. It suddenly became okay after he he noticed that it was a plug. All He's the just way like in. sitting there, not caring, playing with his plugs, and it's just like <laughs> one of them goes in. It's like, yeah, sounds and better now. Plan? On the other hand, if you ask YouTube or adjacent social media <laughs> loud mouths, Marvel Studios. <laughs> oh my so god! It's so funny to me. It's I, it's got to be like it's it's like a faulty microphone, and and it's <laughs> like the connection is bad. It's not plugged in all the way, or the USB port is just fucked. Yeah. It's like I've, sparking <laughs> while he's talking. <laughs> What's <laughs> really? annoying? Yeah, like, maybe maybe I think his head turned. Room? What's annoying no, is that no, the quality is different. Like like it's, it yeah. feels like it's increasing the bit rate. Yeah, and it's What's mid the... word, so it's not even a cut. It's yeah. No. What's annoying is that he didn't retake his whole fucking video. He he's a fucking professional, <laughs> right? He gets paid for this. Allegedly. Shit, and then suddenly, <laughs> oh, oh, the, my my mic isn't. Oh, I guess it's okay, right? I get how many pay how many people pay me for this shit. Does he even watch Bob. these back? Do you think he just does it that he just, just sends it out? <laughs> yeah. A lot of people yeah. don't. Back. They say they don't like their own voices, so they never. But really it can help you catch stuff angry. like this. this On the other hand, if you ask YouTube or a Jason, <laughs> not all Americans are like this. Mouth, Marvel promise. Studios has been over since 2019 and is now only getting more over because okay. there's an increase. Hold, hold on, can you play it once more, real quick? I can indeed. I'd love to hear it again. Okay. There we go. She just needed a break, you know? Can a woman just live? Hmm. On the other hand, if you ask YouTube or adjacent social media loudmouths, Marvel Studios has been over- I can observe okay. <laughs> so funny. It, it, where, where it switches, there's like a slight a click. mystery novel. There's a little click there, so it sounds like maybe he, like, changed his mic. It sounded more but echoey also, as well before it- Movie Bob is yeah. like an Agatha Christie character but... come to life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, the previous mic, it also sounds like there was some sort of heavy, um heavy Breathing. noise filtering on it that failed and like half of his half of his voice was like filtered out if you listen to it yeah i get you on the other hand if you ask youtube or adjacent social media loud mouths marvel studios has been over yeah. since 2019 and is now i don't know what's going on there, man. there's something weird oh yeah. do you think he was running distortion over the previous clip so it didn't get detected by copyright and then and he it included bled into it over his voice oh, at the end that could be it oh, that could be and it. he turned it back up. on yeah. after he started yeah, talking like again. It, he cut the but like the way that vegas works that's like that you'd have takes to be pretty dumb to do, yeah to you'd apply have to be pretty it to a stupid. different clip and only part of that different clip you'd have to be very lazy i guess what it, what you, to, to what fuck all that up strange guy i mean he he lost his he lost his editor right yes maybe he doesn't know how he to edit ate his editor. <laughs> <laughs> he ate there his editor um, the editor was consumed by the way he said like you know it's, it's so fucking dumb because there's people who have been calling the end of uh, the mcu in 2019 and it's like well there is an argument to, for that there's plenty. There's all kinds. It's funny because he says, like, oh, we've all got this, like, hive mind opinion about the end of the MCU, but people could call the end of it at Endgame or Loki, like kind of we did, or 
Um, maybe maybe She-Hulk was it for someone. It's like, no, it's dead now. But someone could also have said, like, I don't know, man, I thought fucking uh, Captain Marvel was the end of the MCU. That that moment, that was it. It was over from then on. Uh, this idea that he's like, see, you guys were wrong. But it's like, well, wait, what did they say? Did they say that it was going to stop making money? Or did they say that like, creatively it was dead as of 2019? There are arguments you can make. Because mm -hmm. there's an increase increasing number of loud women and uppity non-white peoples in the movies and as oh proof you need only look at the numbers which okay that's kind of dubious since now what we've got for the numbers in this case are box office numbers half of which still have pandemic recovery and stag he's still going with the oh, fucking covid know. shit oh, yeah. you just can't. Oh. So, so, so which is it though Ma, bob is, is it the racism and the sexism or is it covid i i don't know which one he was blaming here well, which virulent and, behavior are we going with you can try and stretch out the box office of mom by saying you know ah, if it wasn't covid it would have hit that billion okay it's like good luck trying to argue that with ant-man which like i said it came out right after this video so he doesn't get to have that a part of it well, it just gets to shit all over the video a few people out there wearing masks you know that's not stopping him from going to watch Mario, though. Nope. Well, um... <laughs> dead, dead, dead. Apparently those fucking theaters are packed with people. Because uh, yeah. they want to see the plumber jumping up and down. Bro, Puss in Boots made more money than uh That's Ant so, so oh, nice base, to hear. Yeah. I love hearing it yeah. every time. That makes Put me smile so my face. happy. Little cat got way so more than good. the ant. Yeah. And Back were not yet released in this or that stuff. large territory, asterisk smeared all over them, or streaming stats which are not independently tracked in a reliable fashion and only selectively available. Let me help you out with that movie, Bob. When Loki came out, they were like, Oh my god, records are breaking. Woo, yeah, this is going on. Oh, yep, yeah, season two is happening. Woohoo. All the other ones, yeah, they're doing fine. <laughs> That's what right. What are you talking about? They're fine. What do you mean? They're great. I think Moon Knight did pretty well, but everything else was uh, lower than Loki. I, I think Loki was the peak. Uh, in terms of viewership. Besides, I'm sorry, but, like, I just don't trust it anyway. Like, the amount of fudging they've done with, and what they've said, like, uh, Amazon about Rings of Power, for example, the idea that that kind of, like, shady shit isn't being done with Marvel 2. With... Well, yeah, compared to the box office, which is just, that is the number. You yeah, know, I like it. the box office stuff so reliable compared. I do trust them when they fire a bunch of people and say, <laughs> maybe we're not going to make this show anymore. I think that's pretty reliable. It's so successful. We don't need a season two. It's yeah. fine. Well, yeah, because because that's the thing, right? At this point, does he, when he looks at the slate right now, um, Ant Man lost money. Uh, the, the like Disney Plus's streaming service in general, uh, you know, mm -hmm. lots of these projects are getting delayed. Um, why is that? Why are they not like you know? If you think Echo or or like Ironheart is going to be a massive success, why aren't you like fast tracking that? Right, get it in the fiscal year, bump up the numbers. Mm, well, unless you know you're not. I so delay sure all about that free ones. money, dude. You remember the uh, the the comments made about Willow season two? Someone just yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, in chat yeah, Where yeah. they the basically try and talk around the fact that it's a complete like failure. They're like, oh, you know, actors have got some stuff they got to do that makes it so that we're maybe going to shelve it for a little while. That's oh, yeah, all. we're just gonna yeah, we we just don't want them on contract because they're so talented and we just want to let them do their own thing <laughs> like, and everything. The... And it's not canceled. There's just you know we're just not working on it currently. And we're this we'll adventure will later. continue. We've heard so many people say they hearts. love it. Meanwhile, like what a, a week after Mario. Miyamoto's like, oh yeah, there'll be there'll be more Nintendo movies. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I feel like, like it was like two or three days later. Look at like, like Donkey Kong, definitely. Actual successful shows. Stranger Things uh, launches its, its fourth yeah. season, and immediately this post about season five. These are the dates going to start getting written. Every time they write a fucking page, they upload a, a photo of it. They talk about like how this is going to be an emotional experience. This is the kind of thing we're looking to do. This white ball, all these announcements and coverage and interaction it's with with the shows it's the nature of this thing it's the same like with video games right like when a game does really well it'll be like here's how many copies we sold when a game doesn't do so well well here's the number that we shipped or well you know it cumulatively it had the highest like amount of money made you know in this period it's like oh, no man like it's usually matter of fact when something's a success i mean yeah, we saw I mean, with Avatar, they want right? to boast like, about there it will be four and five because or, two or, made so much money. Yeah, I guess a more contemporary kind of uh, uh, con uh, comparison here would be maybe The Last of Us, right? Where they announced The Last season of Us two. season two on episode one. Yeah, exactly. The numbers are good enough that it's like, all right, well, yeah, not, new season's happening. It's just if if She-Hulk was a massive success, like well and truly a massive success, 
they would have, you know, they probably would have confirmed a second season. They would have made a second season like, if it was a Like, success, it reflects yeah. in the fact that Loki got a second season and Moon Knight's getting a second season, I think. There are Those anomalies, were the most though. Best ones. Like Velma. No fucking way people yeah. are passionate enough about that that it's making shit tons of money and that's why it's getting a season two. <laughs> yeah. Like, it'll I, happen where, like, two seasons were already commissioned, sort of thing. Mm. Um, oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, yeah, if, or, look or, at Arcane, or, right? Like, that, that was actually so successful. They probably greenlit for, like, many seasons not just or, a second that's one. how it works sometimes rick and morty right they're, they're out till like season 10 they were purchased out same for south park they're they're south well ahead park of their schedule uh, well, rings of power like that's specials. got five seasons it's gotta so be great that's the thing that had five seasons before they even started filming season one so it's like yeah so those anomalies can be explained it's like fucking mess well, and we work. usually know what that is, right? Like, I bring up uh, the Rick and Morty thing. We knew that they were bought out until season 10 years ago, mm -hmm. right? Like, we knew that. Yeah, that was after season three, I think. So we know a lot of the reasons why these shows are, are still on the air, even if they're not necessarily super enjoyable anymore, right? Um, because that's part of the industry, and we know we know about it. When the, these things are, oh, it was, you know, signed up by Netflix for four seasons. It's like, we know that already. So if if these shows uh, aren't being brought on for another season or are being brought on through Disney for another season, right? We, we know, I guess, intellectually, uh, we, we can kind of figure out that it's because it's doing well, right? Loki's getting a season two. She-Hulk isn't, at least right now. Hawkeye isn't, at least for now. Miss Marvel isn't, at least for now. Uh... I think that one might be. Well, I was going to say, you could argue that she's got her sequel in the form of the movie anyway. So, you know. Right. But right. that one's going to be so fucking interesting. The box office on Miss Marvel. That's, that's the, the chungo. Everyone's waiting to see what'll uh, happen with that one. Ain't looking good. Guardians will tell us as well a little something. Because if that yeah. movie does noticeably worse than usual, the Marvels doesn't have a fucking chance. And then, of course, how does our movie Bob Square away like Shazam completely failing? Was that out by then? Yeah. It wasn't, right? Oh was... no, but I mean, I mean, I mean, now at this point, you know, like r where we're at now, he surely this would be a case of I need to re-examine this take. Oh yeah, well, it's movie Bob. He'd say, "No, I'm still right." He'd be like, okay. <laughs> no, that, I mean, that's a great attitude to have. That when like new information, you know, comes to you, that you don't change your mind. But hey, maybe he would. You maybe know? he would. Definitely tracked in a reliable fashion and only selectively available in a take our word for it fashion from the actual studios, but okay. Black Widow, Shang-Chi, and Eternals all did about as well as things could do during the pandemic and Is that uh, true? Uh, is that really true? Uh, this is hold up, this is a sixty This is a what let's see, uh, about a sixty million dollar difference between two of these at least. That's a pretty big that's a that's a decent size. Yeah. Game. Well, because mm -hmm. as itself. I understand it. Uh, Shang-Chi was alright for the budget that it had, Eternals was not. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's the one that was like, ooh, damn, didn't do, didn't do too great. And of course, Black Widow, you know. Not only did the Eternals not do that great, but, um, Cosmo only gave it a 4 out of 10. That's, oof. Yeah, oh, yeah. no. I'm assuming, by the way, what was, uh, No Way Home is going to be discounted because Spider-Man. Assuming this well, is because Eternals came out about a month before Spider Man, and Spider Man weighed two billion dollars. Well, right. So during the same time as Eternals, <laughs> that's right, how good Spider Man had, is. Apparently, <laughs> we had No Way Home. We had uh, um, Fast Nine. Yeah. We had No Time to Die. We had Venom, Fast which nine, I think made like, more. There's nine. Yeah, I think Venom made about five hundred million. Uh, right. Venom we had too. Godzilla. Godzilla. Right. Like there yeah. were there were other films that did. I remember Sing Two did better than Black Widow here. So like, yeah, it, he's that, he's know? wrong. Look, he's very wrong. And if he brings up Spider Man, the counter should be how much did uh, Amazing Spider Man Two gross? Right. Spider Man alone isn't enough all well, the yeah. time to to just generate Amazing that kind of money. Damn, now that I'm actually, because now that you've, yeah, No Time to Die made $774 million. That came out around the same time. Though I believe that that film wasn't quite a success because it was so expensive to it make. It was super expensive, Fast yeah. And, Someone Fast said uh, Venom 2 did better in the box office than, uh... Uh, yeah, Venom made $500 million, Shang-Chi made $432 million, and Venom, I think, came out around the same time. So, like, I don't know, man. Like, seems like that doesn't really explain it. No, mm -hmm. I don't. I'm sorry, but you're not going to be able to stop the populace from seeing a movie they really fucking want to see with the COVID stuff. We saw that this mm -hmm. happened. This played out. Yeah. 
And let's be honest here, getting any version of a movie about the fucking Eternals to 400 million global is about- Uh, what well, about Guardians? Make... Guardians? Yeah, you can't make that nice excuse. Obscure and it made $800 million. What about Ant-Man when that came out? Ant-Man made $600 million? It's like Ant-Man. How many people heard about Ant-Man? Yeah, you can't, you can't go with this. These excuses- This is nope. cope, Bobbit. Cope! All the evidence That's anyone cold. should need that a brand still works because nobody has ever cared about the Eternals. Spider-Man did great. Why? Yeah, because there was Why? just this huge contingent of people who desperately cared for Ant-Man before that came out. Yeah, we you. got in the Wasp. Mm. I love Ant-Man and the Wasp so, so much. Dude, it's, it's just Chomping Guardians, man. How many people yeah, Guardians, before really? Guardians no one knew about come Guardians. out knew about Have, Guardians? Everyone knew. When they said the Guardians is coming out, I was like, yes, the tree. Yes, and the Guardians of the Galaxy. I was like, Rocket yes, Rocket I always Rocket. wanted them to make a sequel to that Owl movie. Yes. I'm like, I remember people being like, I don't know what that is. That's going to be a bad film. Why is Marvel making this, right? I, like, yeah, I distinctly remember what I got announced. It's like a talking tree, <laughs> like in a raccoon. It was absurd. And, and it could have yeah. failed easily, but it uh, it was good. <laughs> that's, well, that's... I think, uh, wasn't it, Amanda Seyfried was up for Gamora, but she didn't want to do it because she didn't want to be part of Marvel's uh, first failure, I believe was what she said. Ooh. Hey, that, like, whoa, I mean, it was a risk. That one was yeah. a risk. Yeah, I'm not going to judge her too hard. I mean, look at all the things that um, Sean Connery ended up turning down, you Aww. know. So, I mean, sometimes <laughs> you just have no idea. Sometimes it's hard is to get a really shitty uh, agent. Is he gonna try and, he's going to try and glide past Spider-Man as fast as possible, isn't he? This was Spider-Man, that's why. Moving on. Doctor Strange 2 did better than... Oh, wait, what did he say about Spider-Man? Hang on. He said the brand still right, works because nobody has ever cared about the Eternals. Spider-Man did great. Doctor Strange 2 did better than Doctor Strange. Thor. Wait, Doctor Strange 2 made uh, 955 million? Yes. I didn't realize that. I thought it was like in the 700s. No, but but it declines over the year, which is the interesting thing. Um, I What did Black Panther end up at? Um, you mean Wakanda Forever or first one? Yeah, that made eight hundred fifty nine million, which you know that's that's like four hundred million less than the uh, the first film. And yeah, that's and less uh, than multiverse made. You know, something else that people like to track is that first weekend drop off. Like, yep. um, because it's really indicative of the state of Marvel because it keeps getting like, what was the worst one? Was it Thor: Love and Thunder? Or was uh, it? I think Ant -Man? Thor came in. Oh, well, I mean Ant Man. Oh, Ant Man had the biggest drop, I think, right. like of any Marvel film. Yeah. Well, because that's people going home and being like, yeah, you don't need to go see that. Yeah, compared much, yeah. to the 41 Wait a month can kill as well Mario. as um, promote, you know? But yep. also, oh. I think there's stuff like Doctor Strange, people went to see it because they liked the first movie, whereas things like The Eternals would ride off the um, like the reputation of Marvel itself the because health, no one would like know the them. So that's the, yeah, that's the kind of base level of your core audience and your core mm -hmm. fans. So if that's doing badly... And... The, these aren't proving a point. They're just showing that these are the numbers that you should be making when people They're actually showing the like decline. what you make. Because uh, the Guardians comparison is perfect. It's like Guardians was floated by the health of the MCU. Uh, Eternals was not. And, you know, something that's worth considering is like comparing Doctor Strange to Doctor Strange 2 that is being marketed as a big multiverse movie. There's that. There's also that, like, in 2019, every Marvel film made at least a billion dollars. Um, I think Captain Marvel made a billion, and like Far From Home made a billion. It's like it's less. It's still a lot of money, but it's less, and that matters to companies like Disney. Yeah, weren't they marketing Doctor Strange as like a tie-in to No Way Home at one point? I'm Kinda, sure that yeah. like they were trying to make so it a big well, deal. Like, oh well, this is a multiverse as well. The fun That's fact right, is deal. that originally they were the reverse order, right? They were. Yeah. In the timeline it was, it was supposed to be Doctor Strange first. Yeah, but then it all got shuffled around. Thor 4 did about on par with Thor 3, which... About, about on, par? on par? 100 there's million? A, over 100, there's over 100, 100 million, million dollars between them. My mm. dude. You count box office numbers like you count calories. I'd say <laughs> there's an obvious trend happening. Which is still listen, damn listen, impressive. Listen, for... listen, 7 and 8 are pretty close numbers, you know? That's true, that's right. <laughs> 7 and 8 are... Like, that's like one unit away. away. Yeah, it's just as one As long as you would more the many zeros behind them. <laughs> he saw the M and he got distracted thinking about McDonald's or something else. A part 4 and they moved it from November like part 3 to summer. So worst case read there is that the Thor franchise has a ceiling and it's more of a fall property. Next. Yes, the what? Thor so franchise funny. has a ceiling. <laughs> None of the others do. <laughs> yeah, like, Thor, is really, Thor is really a fall property. It's a fall thing. Yeah. <laughs> Without the yellows and oranges on the trees, I simply can't get in, immersed in this story. I, love I can't.
This has turned into like this ultimate don't... desperate video to try and explain away Marvel's yeah. failures. It's like, <laughs> no, the... it's actually doing great. The interesting thing is the omission of the nuance. Why aren't we talking about the second weekend drop? Ain't mm. that interesting? No. Compared to the films that succeeded long term, like mm -hmm. the significant drops. Like, um, I'm pretty sure Avatar had like a pretty low, I think it might have only been like 30%. Um, <laughs> so, of, of, like clearly, um, Top Gun had long legs. So was just said it. It's like, I guess he's just highlighted it. There is such a thing, at least, as Thor fatigue. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> How about that, Thor Bob? Is not interesting yeah. enough to fill in summer, you know? So, full. Yeah, thing. there's just. There's just some things you don't do. You don't wear white after Labor Day. You don't see Thor before fall. I mean, everyone knows these rules. <laughs> it holds our society together. When, when, when you oh. find out a Thor movie's coming out, you're like, oh, shit. It's that time oh, wow. of year. Nice. Wow, it's Thor. It's, it's, <laughs> it's season. Thor time. Thor season, Thor finally. <laughs> it's starting to get a little bit nippy outside. We better go and see Thor inside in the war movie theater. <laughs> Next one is Black Panther 2 in November, which, wow, that's going to be a whole other discussion. But also, it has a big holiday box. Is he implying racism? Is that what that is? Like the um, because I'd it, rather it, see aliens than minorities. I don't know. Well, well I, I'll roll it back. See if he says anything. Feeling, else. and it's more of a fall property. Next one is Black Panther two in November, which wow, that's going to be a whole other discussion. But also, it has a big holiday box office rival in Avatar two. In which case, the discourse is going to have to figure out how to talk about the epic showdown. Avatar between comes Disney out and... like no. Avatar came out like a month later. Yeah, that's not that much competition. Yeah, Black Panther came out on November 11th. Avatar, I think, came out like the 20th of December. What the hell is that? Competition. You're sneaky. You're being <laughs> sneaky. sneaky. I mean, that's that's way past Thor's season. Do you think he's doing cover for Wakanda Forever's failure? Oh, like what? hedging his bets? Failure like to uh, match to the previous perform. film, I guess, is what I'm saying. Match, he might fa be. Failure to reach what Marvel obviously wanted it to reach. He like, it, it doesn't count it, because yeah. it's competing with Avatar. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> and also Disney. And yeah, as for the stuff that's streaming on Disney Plus, yeah, the ones with better known actors or established characters from the movies do better wait, than the ones with. Wait, that's it. Look at that. Look, it's. Look. She Hulk and Miss Marvel were the newest ones. There is, there is a general, somewhat little trend there that I see, but. It's, oh, yeah, well, the thing the, is, is geez, that it, the Miss Marvel drop yeah. off is substantial. Ooh. Better known yeah, characters, Loki's, though, yeah. and there's Moon Knight up there. Yeah. yeah, like the idea that Loki is that high above everything else, and it came out first. No, um, it came out third. Oh, okay. This isn't chronological. Loki right was an outlier, but I, I mean, I feel like that's easy to explain, right? Tom Hiddleston as like Loki. That's like a big. Well, that's yeah. what he's saying. Has a particular appeal to it. That's his argument here, though, is that it's because, you know, yeah. It's, yeah, the, some, everything is normal. The fluctuations yeah. are ah. explained by popularity with characters. But the thing is, like... With characters and actors, right. But this, then you've got the right there. engagement floor is surely not supposed to be as low as what Miss Marvel's in. Hmm. And besides, the sentiment you always see is people being like, Moon Knight, that looks fucking cool and awesome. You watch it and you're like, hmm. Well. Damn. Yep. And uh, that, you know, people didn't even get into Miss Marvel, most people, like I said, I haven't seen it, I know plenty of people have, but nobody fucking talked about it, except the, the, the Captain Marvel showed up in it at the end or something. New people that ran at the same time on the same service as Obi-Wan, that pretty much tracks. <laughs> Wait, he's saying Miss Marvel's competing with Obi-Wan Kenobi. Yeah. yeah, that doesn't make sense. If, if they're watching on the same network, wouldn't that, like, improve the other I just, television shows? I don't know how much I buy it, like... Guy? What what one of these shows was coming out with uh, House of the Dragon coming out? It would have been She Hulk, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and like that's a competing platform, and then it's also got to compete with um, uh, what was the? What was, it? was coming out around about the same time too. Well, I Rings think. of Rings of Power is. I mean, you know, it's, as much Rings as it's a Power, dumbass show, yeah. like that's that's a lot of competition by your logic, Bob. Sure. Well, it's just you know there are a yeah. lot of shows running at the same time. Believe it or not. It just doesn't feel like he's applying this at all consistently. It's just to match his narrative, which whenever he has well, a hole in it, he has to just say like, oh, well, that's because it's recognized characters. Well, that's because it was released the at the right time. Well, he's the mixing Avatar. arguments. Yeah. Like, his argument makes sense if you have to pay every time to go to the cinema, but these are even on the same streaming service. So as long as you can watch more than one episode of television a week, then you can watch both. And it's not even going to cost you anymore. Yeah, and a lot of people watch a good episode with each meal or whatever, so... You know, it's it's hard to believe they couldn't make time. That explains how quickly he's able to get through this Marvel content. 
now, like I'm well aware that the people that most need to hear me on this part are well aware hear me of the because people. I'm someone who a is a fan of the Marvel stuff for the most part, going way back, and b doesn't generally dislike most of the movie. I think most of them are f most of the movie. <laughs> he said most of the movie. <laughs> How do you most do of the it? movie. How do you have such little care for your craft to where everything's bad? The the audio's bad. The visuals bad, and bad in ways that are just legitimately fascinatingly. Like so, shooting yourself um, in the foot with a lot of these. Like these, you could have just not done the thing you did, and it would have been better. Yeah. Do you really feel the need to get in front of the camera and like record your face? You, you could have just not made the video at all. Yeah. yeah that, it would have been great idea. If I hadn't done it. Yeah. Going way back, and B doesn't generally dislike most of the movie. I think most of them are fine. Several are honestly really good to great. A couple of them are excellent. I mean. They've been the biggest thing in the world What's for like 15 years now for a reason, and I'm not... Oh, so when they're not the biggest thing in the world, I guess that would also be for a reason, right? But, but also his thing is, you know, yeah, fine, really COVID. good, great, excellent. This is his his rating here. Well, he's like Cosmodol, it only ever goes Cosmo, as low as a five. Yeah. <laughs> really good, the great, excellent. One. <laughs> There's only one below a five. I'm gonna pretend that there's something conspiratorial going on with that to make myself look more artificially neutral on the matter. You don't have that kind of long-term success without putting out good product. Okay, so when it's uh, actually losing out on its success, uh, what does that, that mean? Position he wants to hold on to. Yeah, well, he he's now appealing to the box you're... office and the engagement through social media slash criticism or, or, or critical reception, which is amazing. Cause it's like cool. I like this uh, metric, Bob. Now, fast forward to when Ant-Man came out. What do you think? <laughs> Pretty much hated and slammed by everybody, and it's got low engagement in the box office. What does that mean? Well, uh, uh, COVID. Uh, people don't recognize the back. actor, Paul Rudd. Nobody uh, really knows variant him. Variant Omicron, or it's, whatever we're on. People are confused by the word quantum. They don't want to see a movie that has quantum in it. It's very scary. <laughs> Especially in the South, where those dumb Republicans are. They, they, don't, they don't know what quantum means. can't handle it. Oh, what does no. that mean? Kind of how it works. <sighs> anyway, the point is, looking at all that, that, do no I see a pattern that says there's a specific meaningful fatigue atmosphere setting in on the wider culture over this specific brand or set of properties? Oh, now he's over there. The audio. <laughs> 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 no, he moved. What the <laughs> fuck is right happening? Idea. How does His that happen? Ghost moved. The audio change. Fuck. Full fatigue it. atmosphere setting in on the wider culture over this specific brand. Or <laughs> <laughs> he barely he moved. He's on my right, right now. I'm thinking, okay, no, like, how but, do you manage? How did he do, do that? that? What happened? Uh, so, he if you look, his thing. his chair is also in a very different direct uh, position. So, I think he got up, went to the washroom or something, came back, and he had to like move his mic arm to get in and out. We like slipped over a wire, pushed it, kicked it a bit, and yeah, pulled something out. <laughs> and now, just the mic is somewhere else in like somewhere else slightly in relative to his to his mouth. And so now he but just the sounds mic very different. Be, the mic should be a mono signal that he just turns over to stereo. So nah. he just. Uh, you should still get it in both sides. He's panned it to the right. He's, he's It feels like he's fucked with it in post. Like, it can't possibly just be a... Do you think maybe he just is one of those people who doesn't know which side of his microphone to talk into? Could could it just be that? Could it just well, be that then he's it'd be talking consistent, into the back right? of his microphone? It, would, it oh. would be fixed that way, wouldn't it? Like, it so, wouldn't constantly change like it's revolving. Well, but he's, he's he doesn't know which side to talk into. Like, whenever he grabs so sometimes it, he's talking it into the front. Sometimes he's talking into the side. Sometimes that might he's actually back be part here. of it. Yeah, because right? if I take mine and I talk into the back of my microphone, it you sound like Movie Bob. It's, I mean, it's, I sound like Movie Bob. I can just talk to the back of my microphone, yeah, but... like I've interrupted someone else's live stream and I've just arrived here. <laughs> right, but you're still yeah, coming you, out of you know, both headphones. He's and then you, on you the right sounds. Side, yeah. I feel like that doesn't account for it fully. Mystery. Maybe he's just really dumb, everybody. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> right? Like, this is. The I don't remember potential. the meeting on whether or not Movie Bob is dumb. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to. Yeah, so that's on how microphones work. Ooh. The specific meaningful fatigue atmosphere setting in on the wider culture over this specific brand <laughs> of properties beyond more conventional explanation of when you do the biggest global movie event of all time, like Avengers Endgame, and don't immediately retire and go home after. Anything you do as a follow-up <laughs> theory after, he was out of breath. You, you heard that after he was getting it out. He was out of breath. He the finish line. <laughs> It's impressive in one way ah, or another. Sure. I like how, by the way, he's now contextualized the argument of fatigue down to, of course they're not going to be as successful as Endgame. Like, nobody fucking said that they're not making enough, like, they're not making as much as Endgame, therefore fatigue. It's, they're losing money now, potentially. Yeah. 
Yeah, poor fatigue. Which is just kind of logical common sense. I mean, no, not really. No, I, I, I don't. <sighs> now look. If we're talking about social media or ah. YouTube content or Hello, press everybody. coverage trends, then yes, absolutely. The overarching trend line of default reaction to the general concept of the Marvel movies between Iron Man... Marvel. Iron what is Man. the point of the, the, the footage in the background here? Is this... I guess it's to be like this... It's just well, like, it's editing. You well, know, no, but this is like, this is the do. evil assholes online clips yeah. from She-Hulk, and he's talking currently oh, about is. the evil assholes online. Yeah, yeah. He's talking about us, but we're, we're coming up. That. He's saying that yeah, we're running agree. the narrative and the trend that things are getting worse at Marvel. Well, he's already showed the picture of, you know, EFAP in your video. So he did. We're, 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 we're back on the menu. To, yep, we're closing that loop. And in 2008, and right off. now, 2022, has taken a complete 180. Like, as complete as a 180 can get in these cases. From this whole thing I, I love is taking over the world, and I am thrilled. How can I help boosterism back when? All the way to now, where it's more like, this thing took over the world, and it's an evil, woke illusion. Yeah, which is crazy, right? It's, it's almost like they thought it got worse. Hmm. Illuminati global homo dystopia. Please join my crusade to liberate us from Mickey's tyranny. But that's not fatigue. That's changes in cultural positioning across the chronological passage of... <laughs> Fucking <laughs> hell. Wow. That's not even the same... Oh, my God. That's not even the same. Oh my! It's not even in the same league. It's not in the same ballpark. What is he talking about? It, it's like two different friends, right? What was that? <laughs> Changes in chronological boxes, positioning just means happened at different times. Yeah, he said it in such a goofy way. <laughs> no, no, not no! Jump it's scares. like they're fear flashes. It's uh. like he's talking about <laughs> he's like fear flashes. <laughs> I want to hear it again. <laughs> Illuminati global homo dystopia. Please join my crusade to liberate us from Mickey's tyranny. But that's not fatigue. That's changes in cultural positioning across yeah, the no, chronological no shit. passage of time. <laughs> As they relate no to people's weariness. Oh my god. Related <laughs> to media. Yeah. Uh, uh, across the chronological... Across the chronological passages of time. What, what the fuck is time otherwise? <laughs> yeah, yeah, as opposed to the non-chronological <laughs> passage of yeah. time. Like, <laughs> oh my god. Man at the end? Oh my god. Am I am I understanding it right? He, he's saying that of course the political discourse and movie fatigue are not related, dummy. Who's saying that? And well, it's yeah. you were saying that, Bob. Yeah, he, he's 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 made it seem like the only complaints people have about uh, Marvel movies are the stuff like the woke versus not woke stuff, and as though there's there's nobody just saying no, the movies are just shit though. I mean, like the most of the world just doesn't really care about that. I mean, mild yeah, what, the, the box office numbers aren't it. like hordes of people uh, going to whether like I I don't understand like why would he's made the point that they don't care about online discussion. So well, then why are they leaving too? Hmm? But that's not fatigue, that's changes in cultural positioning across the chronological passage of time. In the One of my favorite quotes ever, it's so good. <laughs> you, have to, you have to be that smart to be so stupid. The chronological passage of time, you think you're so smart by saying that shit, oh my god. I think all the Mountain Dew's getting to his cerebellum there. <laughs> yeah. The, thousands, the big nerd culture blockbuster explosion that culminated in the birth of the MCU in the 2010s, the Disney buyout, and then the Avengers was for the whole generation of not only younger millennial audiences, but also elder millennial and Gen X writers and content creators in the entertainment press, largely viewed as kind of a pop culture insurgency. Had they were good. People liked them, yeah. and they were good. Yeah, it's that if easy. they weren't good, they wouldn't have like launched anything. Probably there was at least something there that a lot of people were able to like latch onto and enjoy. Formal B movie icons like Sam Raimi and Peter Jackson sweeping into A list Hollywood and taking over with big lavish production based on fucking Lord of the Rings and Spider Man comics, and however manufactured and. Yeah, he does I, know I, that like Lord of the Rings was like well, huge best selling book. Like, yeah. Spider-Man's yeah, pretty yeah, huge, before, too. Remember, Spider -Man before Peter too, Jackson, too. there was, there was, like, one, two, like, three different movies of it or shows of it. Same with Spider-Man. So, Spider-Man's been around since, like, the 60s. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't know why he's... What's, what, what point is he making? I'm not actually Based sure. Based on fucking Lord of the Rings and Spider-Man comics, and however manufactured and overstated and extremely problematic that whole we're like outsider rebels and we're taking over sentiment would turn out to be by mm. the time it was still getting waved around on behalf of the Buffy guy doing the first Avengers movie, yeah, it was a thing in the air. But a decade... What was any of that? Mm. I don't understand what he was saying. What? I'm a little bit lost myself. Oh, I, I don't well. know. <laughs> I'm not sure. Maybe more of it <laughs> will help? enough to... Yeah, no, no, more, I, I more of it will help. I am sure of this. <laughs> we'll become I numb. Avengers movie, yeah, it was a thing in the air. But a decade is a long time, and even when it doesn't also include two of the most historic, ideologically divergent, and socially fraught presidential administrations, multiple military oh. conflagrations, and a global <laughs> viral plague across... What? The what the beast has to do with movies, Bob? We just say the movie's <laughs> badly written, Bob. <laughs> He doesn't even realize that most of the world is outside of America. And or these movies are shown internationally. Well, wait, there are people like, outside well, of America? Are you sure? Th this is the movie Bob bread and butter, right? Like, everything is caused by everything else. Every minor issue in entertainment or, or video games or whatever, it all has to relate back to the larger geopolitical situation. Like, th this is what he does. Everything's about Trump or the war in Ukraine or about COVID or about you know climate change, whatever the fuck. This this is what he does. To be all fair, Trump did steal his Halloween. In his room yeah. somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just picturing yeah, Trump as the Grinch what? with a bag that has Halloween in it. <laughs> and the worst part about Trump ruining his Halloween was that just made the Thor movie that fall off <laughs> more words. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm actually waiting for him to mention Ga to mention Gamergate. I he did already. Well, oh, did he not? We have, like, this is two videos in a row where we just haven't talked about the quality of, of the, writing the writing, yeah. and the characters. They'll do anything they can, the but they'll talk about it. They will just never do it. For that and Cosmo decade, did yeah. talk about VFX for a brief second, at least. Like, the most substantive part of his video, it's not even his thoughts, it's just stuff he's grabbed online. Aspen shock, people's ages, views, and social standings change a lot more than the continuum of a fictional universe of movies everyone still regularly goes to see that whole time. That, that fight was so many years ago, I'm a completely Wait, what? what? Was, what? I'm, I'm was actually tempted to re-roll as well because I don't know what the fuck this is being played for, actually. I, I, I think he's saying because people's, like, uh, quality of living has <laughs> gone down because of the economy, you, you can't watch these movies because their situation hasn't changed? I, is, I think, what he's just... And remember, these are people that have gone through the snap and everything at this point, so, yes, it has, but... <laughs> well, you wouldn't know from some of the fucking Facebook projects, but yeah. <laughs> Over that decade, gasp and shock, people's ages, views, and social standings change a lot more than the continuum of a fictional universe of movies everyone still regularly goes to see that whole time. That, that fight was so many years ago. I'm okay, so... Yeah, so it sounds like he's saying that our world has changed, but the MCU hasn't. Right, yeah. and that's so we should expect some variation in, I guess, audience size. You could say that might cause fatigue. If yeah, that was you, you could. A good you could say that. Mm -hmm. hmm. Yeah. I'm a yeah. completely different person now. Literally. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, that was funny. But, um... Guys, that's the chronological So is he trying to argue time. that it should have changed? Like, whatever his opinions are that have changed that society, then Marvel should actually just follow that? Is that his argument? I'm not actually sure at all what, what he's trying to say here. <laughs> like, see, this is like, a different person ten years on. You're like, but I thought you were just saying that the MCU hasn't really moved on. And it's about politics and whatever. Yeah. He just put it Meaning in there. here specifically that the optimistic, nerdy, booster, insurgent, rebellion, new media voices at the start of the Marvel Age are now very much representative of the mainstream established media overview of popular culture. So of course the only version of an edgy contrarian position that can exist profitably is performing negativity in the other direction. What the fuck Why does that would you mean, say that? So what? if I'm if I'm gathering, did he just, like say like it started as a bit of a rebellion in terms of culture? It's it's introducing new stuff and it's a new thing, but it's now become so mainstream that it can't really be supported and instead has to be fought against. Like it, it has the counterculture has developed around it. Is that what he's trying to right, say? Right, because he's it is the mainstream now. I think that's absolutely yeah, what he's like saying. Yeah, that. So, yeah. Okay, so that so, that can like definitely the, account the, for some people's issues with the MCU, but it's actually right, it's becoming popular, less popular. Like yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah How do you explain like, that? The, the, the slacker culture that teenagers in the 90s and 2000s kind of like lived in and enjoyed, you know, the jackass kind of um, 
you know, that, that stuff, the prank culture and all that, that has now become mainstream because that generation, the millennials, they're now adults actually producing the content. And basically the next generation has a different cultural paradigm and they have a different way of viewing things. And so the next, the, so now, you know, these kids today that are coming up, basically they're rebelling against kind of what movie Bob thinks is normal. It, it's, it's like, he he's doing what his parents did, what all of our parents did, you know, twenty years ago, basically. And I, I think he doesn't quite get it. I don't even think he's right, though. I think Marvel movies have changed culturally over time. That's why they are getting rid of men. There are more females fronted stuff. You do have them talking about socialist ants and how we can learn from them. So they have moved <laughs> in the like the cultural perspective that he, well, like, as even far as I can tell, would Cap, agree with. Mm -hmm. Cap and Iron Man's legacies have been, they've been much more critical of them once they've left. Like, in the newer era, they've had, like, all of Falcon the Winter Soldier was talking about, like, what does that shield mean, and where does it, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, man, I thought he was, like, the yeah. guy who's helping people as best he can whenever he can. But he was. Yeah, and wasn't, yeah. the, wasn't the comments, like, you don't understand what it's like to be a black man holding this shield and yeah, stuff? There's... So, <laughs> they fully embrace that. Yeah, I mean, the, the movies have changed with, with the times that things have shifted. Because if, if you go back to, I think it was Iron Man 2, when Tony Stark says, I've privatized world peace, that's a very libertarian statement, and it was, it was, presented, it was presented positively. You wouldn't see that in the MCU now. Oh, fuck no. So I, th I think they have changed culturally, for sure. Duh. Lisa, what are you rebelling against? What do you got? <laughs> I like Simpsons. How's that? Other... See, this video's not worthless. <laughs> Actors, sure, but I'd hazard that that's the main one, and it's not really a puzzle to figure out. Fifteen years ago, the MCU oh. was, to a degree, any... Okay, okay, so he's saying that is the main reason. Right? He just said that. The counterculture there thing. There are other reasons, but that's the main reason. Is well, yeah, because not... it, uh, packed into his thing is that it's, it's as popular, if not more popular than ever, but that's wrong. Right, and the only reason that anybody's hating on it is because we're counterculture warriors? Pretty much, which, like I said, doesn't really work That's when not, yeah. the general populace are getting bored of it. The big expensive Hollywood movie thing can be. Yeah, but he'd rather admit something else than the idea that, oh, maybe the general population doesn't like a particular trend that I like, you know, and want to see in things. But well, isn't the whole guys. point of his video that there is no fatigue and all of this isn't happening? Well, so, there is fatigue he's arguing for him, that it of course. Is now. Right, there's fatigue for him, and for other people too. But 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 those people, they are just normies. So like, it's okay that they have fatigue because they're gonna come back on the next one. Yeah, they'll come back before they realize that the fatigue is set in, mm -hmm. or something. Oh, right. uh, after and so reason. really, all it is is just us hippie. We're, we're hippies here, right? Uh, us kind of trying to rail at the man. Yeah, we're like, boo! It's popular now. Boo! Right. When the whole point <laughs> is that we're like, hmm, it's not popular now be the weird new different nerdy outsider thing and now it's literally the disney channel it's mcdonald's the suburb i mean you say that as if disney didn't take over after their like third movie or it, during their third movie right like disney you got um disney took control post what iron man was it disney post bought marvel in 2009 yeah he's saying it like so... it's a new thing that this is disney like it's not new no it's always been Dis well it's, it's more or less always been disney Sucker moms and hybrid Especially SUVs. Especially since Space 2. I mean, shit, my mom knows that there are two people called Hawkeye and has differing but positive opinions about each of them. Because of you. <laughs> yeah. I have no idea. It's probably because it's probably because they're they're like inter they you, come you, back to the basement and they're just entertaining your you fucking so. you rant to your parents about the, the Hawkeyes. That's what that's why they know that. <laughs> hey, movie Bob at this point, he's forty two years old. What would that make his mother? Maybe seventy? Of course, it's because of him. Like, <laughs> no, she's reading about Hawkeye in a knitting Hawkeye? magazine. She's a Twitter warrior. <laughs> Home and garden in Hawkeye. There are two people called Hawkeye and has differing but positive opinions about each of them. In that context, sections of the pop commentariat either tuning out or turning aggressively against the most mainstream thing in the mainstream isn't evidence of cultural fatigue, but evidence of cultural entrenchment. It sounds oh my like God, just, he really is. He just wanted to talk about that. He didn't want to talk about. Marvel fatigue at all. Well, this is actually his argument, though. Like this, because <clears throat> this is the last minute of his video. This is his argument: Part is that one. the only reason we hate it, right? The only reason that I go, "Oh wow, this movie's kind of bad, guys," is because 
I'm railing against the the corporatocracy of Disney, which in his argument was actually created by the millennials not so long ago. And now, you know, it, here it is. It just happens to be the big boy now. And I just hate that thing, Dad. Pretty much. What the fuck, Bob? It's my <laughs> honor to introduce for the first time in Avengers Campus. Cap I don't know what the oh. copyright deal is going to be on this thing. Uh I guess we'll just try and be a little well, careful. Presumably, he didn't get struck with it, so. I don't know. Right. You never know. It might be the. It's like. It's streaming and videos, they can sometimes be a bit pick oh, okay. thingy with it. In America. I, we've had it on EFAP before. We'll be we'll watch a video and be like, it's gotta be safe. They have it. And then fucking video goes down. And I have to re upload with a copyright cover on it. It's like, how the fuck do they get away with it? They don't. It's kamikaze maneuvers. Yep. <laughs> They're just hoping that you'd. Yeah. They just want to get. <laughs> Fat bait. That's what it feels like. It's like this will get you. <laughs> da, 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 da. Come on, finish whatever clip this is. Yeah. He's... Is he recording? Is he recording this directly? Like you can see the lines. Oh, the yeah, lines. Well, yeah. but are, the, are yeah, those yeah, just yeah. a filter he's put on, or are they actually there? Oh, no, I, that sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> 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 Well, it, it might be, so this is something I've done before. It might be like on some some weird side website when it's not up on YouTube, you have to go to like a news site or something where they have their own player and you can't really download from them. So you just have to like screen cap it. Would be, oh, there but this would be like something that. Disney would put on YouTube or you'd something. You'd think. Yeah. Yeah, you'd think this would be on YouTube. It's also weirdly out of focus. It's Which, all very well, strange. Yeah, Movie Bob is fucked with it. It's being filmed with an iPhone or something. Movie Bob's fucked with it. What is this? Event? Captain America belongs in a. What, what was this event? Why is he? Why is he introducing himself? I yeah, guess because is, is it like is it like a theme park <laughs> thing or a Disney World I mean, I, thing? I think it's Avengers like Camp. some theme park thing. Yeah. Right, well, there you go. He hasn't even wow. been in an Avengers movie yet, as that guy. But okay. It's gonna be. It's gonna be amazing. Jeez. Was that Captain Marvel up there? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She's my favorite. This, this, is, yeah. uh, this is really yeah. extravagant, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> this really is. Oh, it's it's kind of embarrassing. Fireworks. Why? Because you've got Falcon. Wish, uh, like, do you want us to look at the fireworks, or do you want us to look at your cast? I, I wish. Cast I wish someone in the audience just held up a big side that had the box office gross for ad on it. <laughs> like this. <laughs> 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 just Kevin yeah, Feige, he's looking at it like, why are you doing that? What, why are you doing that? time machine to go back in <laughs> yeah. time. Put that up there. <laughs> the Ant-Man box office numbers, it'll be like the Tiananmen Square in China. You're not allowed to talk about it. Kevin will get you. The only thing I've got going through my head is Nerdrotic going, Miles Morales is Miles Morales. <laughs> over just... and over again in the audience. <laughs> with, a, with a fucking foghorn or something. <laughs> Whoa! Ah, what was oh, that? Wow! <laughs> wow. God. Oh, God. oh why would you do everywhere. that, Bob? <laughs> oh, now it's it's like getting. Oh, you, he's like he's hurt me personally now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh my God! God. <laughs> yes, jump scares. Part two coming soon. Oh. Wow! I can't wait for part two. <laughs> I can't hear uh, it. What? <laughs> loud. Oh Can my God! Oh, <laughs> oh fuck you, Bob. <laughs> It's the style, it's so unified. Here, what a, what a great t-shirt. Click on that link. Click, that, click look at that link. awesome t-shirt. Click on the link! <laughs> <laughs> I wait, I'm clicking on the wow. link, but nothing's happening. <laughs> How much is manually <laughs> into my... How, much How is fucking domain? annoying is that? Like Ten dollars? <laughs> he has the audacity Red to call, com call the internet stupid. People. <laughs> you Flash might be the first wait, person wait, ever to type that in. Or put Beto three one nine three into the big picture. That's so weird. <laughs> I'm pretty sure now links? nowadays on YouTube you can put merch links into like a, like a clickable thing, right? I thought you could. You didn't even put the merch yeah. link. Or it'd in just his be in the description. description. Oh my God, Bob! Wait, can you not actually click it from the description? He hasn't put it in there. No, he didn't put it in his description. It's not there. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you have to admit if you really want it. This is how you keep the riffraff out. If you really oh want that shirt, you gotta go to that yeah. URL and type in that <laughs> shit one for one. Uh, when he meets one in the wild, he can be like, "This is one of mine." <laughs> it's a true fun. Why would you but want that shirt? Money. It's so it's so shit. I mean, right? But also, a domain is ten dollars, right? You you could get movie think he's gonna sell enough to make that com slash merch or something, you know? No. Instead, yeah, you have to four five eight zero three one nine dash. <laughs> the dash big dash picture dash 
comics dash r dash weird that's um, stupid no i this see plenty of people bad. like okay so part two then it's like part two is 20 minutes guys i was gonna to I, 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 i'm saying we're not gonna do part two <laughs> I, went to I can't bear it i can't bear it i damn man, hold, on, like... hold on hold on i i went to the shirt I, I I googled it. Google's better uh, than just having to type that in manually. He should have just said Google Redbubble Movie Club, um, but that's not even that's not even the link that's there on his image. Is it not? No, look. Oh yeah, it's, it's different. Discord. It's a completely. Fucking oh my goodness. It has X Y Z at the end. <laughs> it's just it's just different. But does his link actually work then, or? Let me type it in manually and see, because I hate myself. All right, so um, I. But I just want to I want to try and OK, because this is this is part one of two. So uh, ostensibly in part two, he's going to elucidate further. Apparently right? more so than he did in this one. No. This is 16 <laughs> minutes. So what did he yeah, say took, in this it, video, though? He it said Marvel isn't real roll. and it's mostly just you oh, battling against more. something that's more popular now than it was before. Yeah. And we're doing that because we're raging against the, the machine. Yeah. Right? And Anything also mainstream. because we're not normies. Yes. Oh, yeah. If you like type it, it both. in manually, it is it, it is it is uh sort of interesting, right? Because the common theme of both videos is no discussion about the writing or like the storytelling, no, nope. or the production. We we didn't even talk about the films. To like, be fair, what... Osmond did say you need to have likable characters. It needs to be well, yeah. He, he yeah, like like said at least, at least he talked about the film. He didn't do it much or well, but he did. In this case, it was like all meta. It was all about the current landscape. We didn't even get to talk about the movies. Movie Bob didn't talk about the films themselves. Like, no, what he, does he, he have to about say about any of those films? What does he have to say about Multiverse of Madness? And I guess he'd be like, well, I probably did a review on him. It's like, it might be worthwhile to, like, encompass them in discussions about the nature of fatigue. Because how does it factor into your perception of fatigue if, if the films are considered good? Do good films suffer from fatigue? Why do people not like the films? And how about you, like, try to make a good faith inference as to why people don't like those films? Other than, like, they're evil or something. No. Well, yeah. <laughs> God damn, like, oh, like, one minute sentences. Holy crap. Yeah, fully a uh, minute long what is sentence. That? You saying you didn't learn much, or? Minute long <laughs> sentences that were sped up? And filled with superfluous words. Awesome. And superfluous cuts and editing because yeah, he well, should just. Bob needs to stop moving quality. his arms around when he talks because it's wearing him out. Well, it's just the changes in audio quality. What was that? And like a variety <laughs> of changes in audio. It wasn't even what just. The it keeps the viewer on their toes. Quality of, yes, because <laughs> you're Where's Bob going to be next? Back. Like, whoa, what, what just happened? What I missed? Because it could have just been the standard one of. When he was recording in front of the webcam, it's different audio quality from when he was sitting in front of his microphone. But it was like degrees within there. Like it was, it was like art. It was like an art performance. Yeah, there was one clip where he had just panned it to the right and not realized, which is why it flipped back immediately afterwards. And I don't think he even like, knew what that happened. How does he not notice that and post and go, shit, I should probably fix that? Let's well, take pride in your work, man. Absolutely, yeah. So, uh, weekend, you said you're going to have to jump cool. out. Yeah, it's 7 a.m. Well, before you do, why don't you tell people what you've been doing lately and where they can find you? Well, everyone, I chat, and everyone, I am Weekend Warrior. I usually do uh, movie reviews and video game reviews. And my last review was a few months ago about She-Hulk. And I'm working on a video about Hogwarts Legacy. And that ah. game is just... just mm. What does that mean? Oh. <laughs> Oh, you'll find out. <laughs> mm. I'm working on it, so Exciting. please be patient. So, thanks for having me, guys. It's been a it's been a minute, and it's been an enjoyable. Oh well, thank you for coming on, dude. I, Always appreciate it. Aside from mm -hmm. fucking movie Bob, and I can't believe I'm gonna say this. <laughs> well, I didn't but, know you did that to him. <laughs> I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but Cosmonaut is better than movie Bob. <laughs> I mean, like, anyone's better. Yeah, he is, I think. <laughs> it's, uh, there's a pain to Movie Bob that's so unique. You can't get that pain yeah. in many places. <laughs> so, yeah. So, okay, that's it, guys. Have a great day, evening, or night, wherever you are in the world. And if you are... And my last word for the day, night, evening, afternoon is 
exercise and don't drink Mountain Dew. That's it. <laughs> yeah, do not drink Mountain Dew. <laughs> <Don't> check in <laughs> with it. <laughs> Have a good one, guys. Bye. Don't do the do. See ya. Don't See do the do. Bye, bye. <laughs> Shut up, Jay. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I want to leave too. Well, before <laughs> you go, movie Bob, movie Bob ruined me. I want to go. Before you go, <laughs> tell people what you're up to, where they can find you, what you're doing. Uh, well, I just released a Gotham High review. That's mm. on my channel, and uh, I got something else coming out. This little fun video, but I'm not going to say anything about that. Um, yeah, working on. I mean, I'm doing some reviews here and there. We, we, you know, me and you guys uh, recorded something. I have to edit that and get. It. I'm not going to say what that is either. I'll let that be. A, but yeah, my channel's Jay Longbone. Check it out. More Post fun stuff, things to so, come, eh? Yeah, All kinds. Just post posting stuff semi regularly. I assume you like Gotham Knights. Like you think it's very strong as a sort of new series. Oh, it's the best. Mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. the best. It's the little sister of Batwoman, and we all know how much I love that. Oh yeah, it's a great show. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'll be excited then. Good stuff. Links are all in the description, so you can check out Jay Longbow's channel. And you should. I'd be surprised if anyone in chat hadn't at this point. But you know, some new people every once in a while. But of course, yeah, yeah thank you, you for joining us as well. It's been a ride. Yeah, you guys are great. And hello, Des Desperu. I didn't get a chance to to uh, introduce myself. Oh, no. I, that, that's the thing. I was watching your videos before I started making my own. Are, are your um, Batwoman stuff is uh, sublime. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sublime. Well, yeah. Thanks for having me, guys. Bye. Bye. Yeah, goodbye. See you later. Yeah. I'll say it. See ya. Yeah. Uh, we're. Plan is pretty much to wrap up here anyway, so we can continue Wait, this uh, train. Yes, actually. Uh, oh, I, I we don't always have to, to go for 12. What? I, <laughs> we don't... I was looking forward for the second movie Bob video. I no, fuck I, that. I, 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 <laughs> oh, I am I am good to go. Like we can when are you <laughs> this is your subconscious telling you that it's time for you to bring back the segment where you have your, your movie Bob watch or whatever oh it's God. called. <laughs> yeah, I love how Dev was like, Oh, you know, you, you, you take too much of it, you could feel kind of sad about it. Now he's like, more, more, <laughs> more, 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 more. <laughs> I haven't uh, I haven't hit my limit yet of Bob. I have Bob tolerance built up. Then well, you gotta start that enough, series up. That's that's more than enough Bob for a normal sized person. So <laughs> we're just like, oh, we are we can't do it. I have Bob fatigue. Bob fatigue. <laughs> Bob. There is something that's draining about Bob. Like something about oh, yeah. like he sucks yeah, the life force out of you. Uh, I think it's just because it takes effort to sort of watch his videos. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like you have to really get in there and be like, what the fuck did yeah. you mean? You have to <laughs> listen really carefully. It's presented horribly, so it's just annoying. And then you have to like go back and re-listen to parts of it because it's either just nonsensical or it doesn't have anything to do with what was being said before. Or you just couldn't hear because the words are going by too fast. Dude, fucking minute long sentences. Like yeah, I have to go intense. back a full minute to figure out what you were even saying. <laughs> Yeah, we we had to do a lot of like uh, running back, listening again and again and again. It's just like that's a real great sign for the the channel for him, isn't it? That people who desperately want to understand what he's saying have to fucking rewind over and over again. It's like, God, take it. Um, but going from left to right, Disparu, what have you been up to lately, and where can people find you? Uh, yeah, Disparu on YouTube. Uh, this week, Gotham Knights skipped a week, and uh, hey, it's weird. You start getting people go, Where, "Where's your Gotham Knights review?" I'm like, "Uh, I, it's I, not out." I was. Yeah, I was kind of glad I got to skip a week, but apparently, uh, not everyone else. Pe there are actually people going, I have a number fix this week. I need to see what happened. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, CW gets you in trouble because people just think you didn't make a video about it at the time. What, um, uh, what did you not... think of the Court of Owl masks? Uh, the, I'd not seen the originals. Once I'd seen the comics, I was like, okay, the design is at least a bit like the comics, but they should have been sized correctly. They were way too big. They hung down beneath each character's chin and just made them look like. Tiny we thought they looked like people. shit, and we were laughing weird. our heads off seeing them. They looked like yeah, chunky, I, gross. No, I thought they did. But then I, someone showed me a picture of the comics, and I'm like, they, they didn't look oh, great in the comics. Oh, they still look like <laughs> shit. Yeah, like the comic ones are better because they're much more minimalist. Like they're smaller, thinner, and just they kind of look creepier too. The the ones in the show, I just thought they looked embarrassing. I was like, it is. A... Why would you? Yeah, I I would have made them like more face fitting, like individually done. But it, it just looked like. 
whoever designed them got one size fits all, but to make sure it fitted all, it was five times bigger than anyone else's head. You would weird. think that the Court of Owls could afford to size their own, you know, owl masks. You know, Been that would probably be a point for a of while. pride. Yeah. Um, and there's just a bin, and they just take one out of the bin and put it on, and it's like, whatever. And that entire scene, it wasn't really very atmospheric. Somebody, because um, I'd seen Gotham, but I couldn't really remember it in particular. And there was a bit in that, and there was lots of, like, candles behind them. It had a very ominous kind of atmosphere. And in this, they just kind of walked in a room with a what was probably, like, a, a microphone tape recorder, because I doubt those were the actual heads of the Court of Owls kind of thing. Um, so, yeah, he just lacked any kind of... If these are meant to be your big villains, they should be scary, and they're not at all. Oh yeah, and and from memory, you've uh, you've co you've covered, fully covered Velma, right? So people can go check that if they really really want to. Oh. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, what, what, Velma what, was I'm Velma guessing was impressive. Gotham Knights is your current obsession, I just I assume. Did you do Mando? Yeah, Did you do all of Mando? I was going to do Gotham Knights and Mando, and then they came out on the same day because uh, one's like comes out at about sort of two a.m. here, and then Mando's at eight a.m. and I just can't do two videos on the same day. It takes me an entire day to do a review. Um, and the Mando stuff wasn't really uh, getting enough reviews that if I released it a day late, it, it would have died. Um, it's unfortunate, actually, that it didn't launch as bad as it ended, because then I, I would have been like, well, okay, this will at least get sort of the interest to keep on going through. Um, but no, I chose Gotham Knights Fair to, uh, to cover. Well, um, as I said, link in description, check it out. Plenty of... There's going to be something on Disbrew's channel you'd be interested in... Uh... In his opinion on, I'm sure. You got also got all of Willow, um, Wheel of Time, Rings of Power. You're still doing Rings of Power videos, right? Like uh, updates on different things. Oh, Amazon yeah, saying coming out. Yeah, there's a there's a few things that I've got coming. There's um, I want to do something about the the Writers Guild strike because I think that's probably the most stupid thing you can do right now. Like everyone's losing money and getting fired, so you decide to ask for a wage increase. It's not exactly the smartest thing to do. And then um. This weekend is Jordan Con, so if there's enough Wheel of Time stuff to do, then uh, I'll do a video on that what as well. Con? Jordan Con, as in Robert jo uh, Jordan. Hmm. I've never heard of it. It is the, the original author of Wheel of Time, hmm. but because makes... the TV series is coming out, there's got a lot of second series kind of info, casting, that kind of stuff. That makes total sense, but for some reason I was thinking of Wings of Redemption. <laughs> Jordy. Jordan Con. <laughs> Jordy Con. Yeah. Jordy Con. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why <laughs> that just came to mind. I can imagine started. him throwing Jordy Khan at his house and inviting nobody and just telling people it's Jordy Khan. <laughs> <laughs> I can like for a concert in Newcastle, so you just got a load of Geordies going around. Great. Uh, Mr. Moriarty, how you doing? It's been a while. Oh, what, are hey. you, what are you up to these days? Where are people finding you? Um, well, my, my YouTube is really cool. It's youtube.com slash really cool. And um, I make uh, like hour long videos about things that interest me. Um, mm. Most recently, I did a thing where I, I looked at IGN and their review scores and I, I broke down kind of um, how they work and all the problems with it. Um, I talked about Ubisoft and Wordle and game preservation. Um, I don't know, stuff. Lots of stuff. Fashion, hmm. high fashion in video games. And um, If you like the... intellectual dives into video games, Moriarty is the guy for you. Yeah, you know, like I, I do that kind of stuff. Where I'll, I'll talk about something that's just purely interesting to me hmm. for a long time. Uh, and sometimes it's interesting to other people. I talked uh, about Limited Run for a little while, and that one people seem to have enjoyed, uh, I guess. Oh, good stuff. Um, I'm being told the links in the channel, uh, the description aren't working. It's apparently, all of them are broken, like they always break metals ones. So, I will uh, fix that on the re-upload. I don't know what's going on there, so don't you worry. But obviously, uh, thank you, Thunder, for providing links, regardless. Um, and yeah, you can find uh, really cool. You said the channel is called, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just sounds really it cool. I, I wanted to be able to say my YouTube was really cool. <laughs> <laughs> It was That's worth the it. the kind of person I am. <laughs> um, uh, Deb, you still here, sir? 
Wait, of course I am. Yes, well, why don't you tell people what you do, where you are, what you're doing. Okay, what I'm doing right now is getting cancelled. <gasps> <laughs> no, no, I, I, well, yes, but also, no, I, I do a YouTube channel where I basically do whatever I want. Like, I've done politics stuff, I've done gaming stuff, I've done, like, movies, I've done watch-alongs, kind of like yours, with uh, with Arch and some other friends. I this is, my, my channel has kind of morphed into just, like, a, a dev channel. You know? Hmm. Well, that's that's neat. That's good. Uh, yeah. Like I, I, I did, I've done like TikTok reactions to like 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 really really low effort content. TikTok reactions where it's just like the most ridiculous people being being ridiculous in public. And then I also did like an hour and a half long no no about an hour and a half long video I think uh, talking about Antonio Gramsci, the Italian communist from the nineteen twenties and thirties, and how his his like his writing and how his writing influenced politics from then onward. So I have a very wide range of the things that I do. Well, that sounds tempting, everybody. Get in before he's cancelled and you can't watch anymore. <laughs> That's how that works. Thanks, thanks very much, guys. Well, and thanks for coming on, of course. Uh, there's of course. a couple of just, just memes here that are worth checking out. This is actually this, uh, this Kylo with... Um, with this dinosaur. This is what we were talking about, 65, which I, I'd be surprised if anyone would even remember now. It's already, like, been forgotten, but yes. Does it hurt? This is, uh... Well, this is like a forgotten movie already yeah. that is referencing a much older meme of ours. This is a classic meme. This is one of the, uh, this is an old Yeah, this is a good old, old Kylo uh, meme. Just, he keeps an eye on people when they go to the toilet. He's just making sure they're okay, really. Yeah. Find and, him. you know, the dinosaurs on the you know, on the loo, and he's yeah. just making sure uh, he just wants to know if things does are happen. Going okay. This is an, uh, another oh one. God. I don't remember if we showed it, but I was talking about how this a mission for the bitch in, in Resident Evil could be this just a giant clown running around the whole village, and he desperately wants to see him out. Creature I, comes, run away, stranger. This should be DLC for this. I think it would. It would be good. I like the little squeaks on the shoes too. Oh yeah, look at that. Cool. It's, it's a it's a perfectly rendered clown. I would say that is a good looking. looking All guy. clowns look like that, or mm -hmm. or better or worse. And we have a hot off the presses meme. <laughs> oh my god! War is <laughs> hell, and tonight I dine on turtle soup. Oh my god! Wow! Look at that! Because it's beauty. his own personal Vietnam, right? Yes. Like, I get it. That's beautiful. <laughs> and they've even got the canisters oh, of God. Mountain Dew that he's breathing in through the nose. There. Weekend Warrior would be proud. The hats, oh, Mountain Dew, oh, this is and, and the Dew is the bottles. It looks like bottles. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I oh, wonder if he could fly oh, with those. Just feels suitable, but um, that's yeah. beautiful. The and he got hats through it on all the Koopas and the Koopas. <laughs> Oh, movie Bob, you are just, you are magical. He oh, is, chicken really instead is. of bullets on the bandolier. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's so many details. It's the important what supplies. Is his, sorry, what does his uh, tattoo say? Grandma. Grandma. Yeah. Because remember, you know, in his book. What a devs. Your, your relationship has grown a lot closer ever since she lost her hearing. I wonder what's up with that, but they tend to get a lot, <laughs> they, they get along together a lot better now. Uh, um, that is beautiful. Rags, Fringy, anything you guys wanted to mention, talk about, or whatever? Fringy? Uh, Mando episode 7, I'm working on it. It's coming, boys. Yeah. Rags? Uh, for me, uh, just kind of working away in the background a little bit, here and there. Don't want to make promises, but things are in the works. Sweet. Uh, as for EFAP stuff, you, it pretty much consists of now you're going to be getting... Uh, Super chat catch-ups on Wednesdays um, for the foreseeable future. I, I think we're going to be able to keep that up now in terms of it's like scheduling it. So you can think of it as like first and second halves of, of episodes can come out in more bite-sized formats, and it gives us time to be able to recharge properly and maybe even sleep. Um, I know yeah, one of us is looking to do that soon. Yeah. Uh, and then, yeah, you got your Mandos are coming out, and uh, the Gotham Knights are being prepped. They're hopefully going to come out. But uh, there's no guarantees on like a certain consistent release for them. And then uh, in the meanwhile, just lots of other things I've been working on. You know, more announcements and fun adventures through all kinds of media to come. But for now, for tonight, we hope you all had a wonderfully fun time. 
we shall be seeing you in the in the future in a different place at a different time. Who knows what it'll be? But like I said, for now, remember we 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 were in the we were in relatively close proximity to Movie Bob for quite a while. So make sure you go outside, get some fresh air, mm-hmm. stretch your legs a little bit, maybe drink some water. Yeah. You know, eat a eat a vegetable. Just really make sure that you can uh, cleanse your system. Even if right? it's just the one vegetable, just go right in there. Even if it's Get just, in. even if you just gotta yank a yank a broccoli mm-hmm. out of the fridge and just chomp it down raw, man. Sometimes, uh, you yeah, know, sometimes that's what it takes. So thank you all for your kind messages and donations, and well, just the general company. But for now, Absolutely. we shall Thanks bid you adieu. Here. Good night, goodbye, and we shall see you next time. Have a good one, everybody. Bye-bye. Yeah.